Okay, da sind wir zu The Forgotten City nach einiger Zeit. Ich habe das Spiel von einer Weile gekauft und ich habe es noch länger auf meiner Liste. Falls ihr es nicht wisst, das hier basiert auf einer Skyrim-Mod. Einer absolut großartigen Skyrim-Mod, wohlgemerkt. Ich glaube, das war die erste Mod, die diesen BAFTA Award für ihre Story gewonnen hat. Der es kann sein, dass mir ein paar Sachen bekannt vorkommen werden, aber hier die Version ist... Da gehe ich komplett blind rein. Hier ist übrigens so eine freundliche ähm, Nachricht für Content Creator. Bitte, ja, hier jenseits eines weißen Ganges. Also, falls wir in einen weißen Gang kommen, wo wir durchgehen, dann sollten Leute, die äh, das Spiel noch selber erleben und vielleicht abschalten. Wie alt ist das Game? Ich glaube, 2021 kam das raus. Ich bin mal gespannt. Oh, wie nett. Stimmt, der Entwickler war vorher Anwalt. Hey, you're alive. When I dragged you out of the river, I thought you were never gonna wake up. I checked your pockets for ID, a phone, maybe. I hope you don't mind. But all I found was some loose change. So, wanna tell me who you are? Äh, uh, ach du Scheiße. Körpertyp, was? Hä? Soll ich jetzt helfen? Okay. Äh, Hautfarbenton, okay, ja. Ähm. Soll ich mich Ultimatus Prime nennen? Ich glaube, ich nenne mich so. Well, it's nice to meet you. And I'm sorry to pry, but any idea why you were floating down the river? What's the last thing you remember? Ach du. Äh, okay. Ja, dann das Studium der Geschichte gibt Einblick. Ach, das war das ist eine Klassenwahl? Du hast eine vom Militär ausgehende Schuss, aber nur 10 Kugeln. Du musst dir bedacht einsetzen, es gibt keine Möglichkeit, neu zu bekommen. Du bist 25% schneller beim Sprinten? Äh, ich würde mal sagen, Archäologe, oder? Also mit roher Gewalt will ich jetzt hier eigentlich auch nicht arbeiten. Weil ich, das wird uns nicht, das haben wir uns ja vorhin schon gesagt, das wird uns nicht weit bringen und ich weiß halt grob, wie es funktioniert. Es gibt nur englisches Audio, ja. Deswegen habe ich zumindest Wert auf die Untertitel gelegt. Dann wirst du definitiv das hören. Ich weiß nicht, ob es genau das ist, was du suchst, aber es gibt ein paar Ruinen, die hinter dir sind. Roman, ich denke. Ich brauche dich, dich da zu gehen und zu sehen, ob du einen Mann finden kannst, namens Al für mich. He went in there a few hours ago, and he hasn't come out. I've been freaking out, wondering if he's trapped, or injured, or worse. I would have gone in after him, but he made me promise to stay here, no matter what. There's no way I'm leaving without him. So I'm just kind of... stuck here, waiting. I need... what I mean is, I was hoping you wouldn't mind going in there to find him? If you can do that... I can get both of you back to civilization in my boat. Please? Oh, of course. Sorry, I don't mean to be pushy. I just... What do you want to know? Uh, hast du versucht, um Hilfe zu rufen? What am I, an idiot? You could hike a long, long way in any direction and never find another soul. Trust me. Not much, really. But imagine what you might find in there. Priceless ancient artifacts. Al... You really don't remember? We're in Italy. This river is the Tiber. He's the guy who washed up on the riverbank not long before you did. I thought maybe you two knew each other. I guess not. But maybe the two of you can piece together what you're doing here. 
In any case, you'll like him, I'm sure. Once you find him, that is. Oh, there's not much to tell. Feels like I've spent my whole life in a dead-end job with an endless commute. Know what I mean? Oh, uh, I'd rather not say if it's all the same to you. Warum verschweigst du mir deinen Namen? All right, fine. Sorry if I sounded cagey. <lacht> It's just that I don't always get the best reactions when I introduce myself. My name's Karen. All <lacht> diese Karen Memes haben den Namen wirklich ruiniert, oder? Uh, yeah, something like that. But right now, I have bigger problems, like finding Al. Great. So you're ready to go look for Al? Thank you. The entrance is just past those columns behind you. Please, hurry. Oh, and he left this here. But I think you'll need it more than I will. Warte, was? Nein. Ich wollte echt die... Okay, ich kann... Select, glaube ich, ein bisschen, oder? Ich meine, gut, ich habe OBS nochmal jetzt umgestellt, weil das jetzt alles halt über meine Grafikkarte läuft. Ich habe das Gefühl, OBS äh, chuckt gerade ein bisschen. Wie ist der Stream? Das. Hä? Was macht hier die Geräusche? Ist das ein U? Also mit dem Stream ist alles in Ordnung, weil ich sehe den Ausschlag bei mir auf, auf dem zweiten Monitor, der ist ein bisschen verzögert. Hä, äh, was war denn gestern gegen Ende? Okay, ich kann sprinten, ich kann springen. Kann ich mich ducken? Ja, kann ich. Ähm. Okay. Das ist zu hoch zum drüberlaufen. Ja, ich kann meine Taschen dann versenken, aber will ich nicht das. Okay, ich kann den nicht mitnehmen. Eins mit If you're reading this, it means I've discovered the entrance to an ancient Roman city hidden deep sogar underground. Übersetzt. Its existence is long forgotten. All knowledge of it lost, except in the Latin inscription here. It reads, "You who wish to enter the city, step forth and be judged. The virtuous shall be rewarded with eternal life in paradise. The wicked." shall find themselves showered in gold but in vain for this shall be their final resting place could an underground city have remained a secret for all this time the people have survived down there against the odds it seems there's only one way to find out if i'm not back in an hour i'm somewhere on the other side consider this an invitation Or a warning. Al Worth. Ist hier noch irgendwas zu finden? Nee. Wow. 
Okay. Ich muss vielleicht die Grafikeinstellungen vom, vom Game ein bisschen runterdrehen. Steht, glaube ich, gerade auf den höchsten Einstellungen. Und, äh... Ja, also, soweit ich das höre, ist tatsächlich die höchste Einstellung bei den meisten Spielen, also Ultra, in dem Fall episch, meistens ein Scam. Also es ist nicht mega, äh, mega viel besser, aber es erfordert halt viel mehr Leistung. Aber das hier ist schon mal, kommt schon mal vertraut vor, wenn man die Skyrim Mod gespielt hat. Oh je. Die Niederträchtigen werden mit Gold überschüttet. Aber was wird ihre letzte Ruhestätte sein? Was geht eigentlich in dem Spiel? Ähm, das sind wir gerade dabei rauszufinden. Ich meine, ich weiß grob, worum es geht. Eine junge Römerin in der Pose einer Wehklage. Gladiator und Laufhaltung. Was könnte ein Gladiator in die Frucht geschlagen haben? Vor allem steht er nicht auf einem Sockel. Das hat ganz fiese Implikationen. Okay, bei den Levelübergängen, da hat er ein Problem. Da geht's los. Dann hat er mal so einen kleinen Lagspike. Habe ich noch das Gefühl, oder? Sieht man das LOD-Popping ganz gut? Oder ist das eine... So, F5 zum Speichern und F9 zum schnell laden. Ein römischer Legionär in Todesangst. Was hat er gesehen? Das kommt mir bekannt vor. Alte Goldstadt statt eines Altmannes der moderne Perlung sein. Das muss L sein. Und whoever reads this, I'm sorry you had to find me like this. And worse, she'll suffer the same fate I did. I've spent a lifetime in this place. Going around and around in circles, searching for a way out. The inscription was right. There is no way back. And here there are only two options. Death, or that godforsaken doorway into the past. I made the mistake of stepping through it. I wanted to set things right. And I tried. I really tried. Whatever I did, it took me right back to the beginning. Don't make the same mistake. Better to end it all now. And find out what awaits you beyond that portal. Ja, das wirkt sehr vertraut. Auf den Knien 
liegt, als würde er seine Götter um Gnade anflehen. Warum brennt das hier noch? Was ist das? Das ist irgend... Das ist eine Lampe? Aber die brennt noch. Ich hoffe, die Ladezeiten sind nicht immer so lang. So nur, weil er einfach jetzt richtig viel laden muss, denke ich mal. Ein kreisförmiges Portal und zwei Frauen. Er muss das sein, der da vorhin gekniet hat. Äh, uh, salve, friend. I'm Galerius. Mind telling me who you are and what you were doing in the Shrine of Proserpina? Ich bin Ultimatus Prime und ich komme aus der Zukunft. Äh, uh, what? I'm speaking Latin. You are too, although your accent's a little strange. Oh, I see what you did there, changing the subject like that. Nice try. But I'll ask again, who are you and what were you doing in the shrine? Yeah, you know, agricultural goddess of springtime? You're not from around here, are you? And you've just done it again. You're a sly one, aren't you? One more time. Who are you and what were you doing in that shrine? Uh, no idea what you're talking about. Oh, wait. Are you a bit, you know, not right in the head? <sighs> That's all right, friend. Everyone's welcome here. We sort of lose track of the date down here, but it feels like the beginning of spring to me, so I'd say early March? It's 817 AUC. Sorry, you look confused. 817 years since the founding of Rome. Which part of the empire are you from exactly? Archäologischer Einblick 65 vor Christus, ne? CE ist, äh, ist äh, vor Christus, meine ich, ne? CE No idea what you're talking about. But listen, most folks seem a bit confused when they get here. But you, you seem very lost and in more ways than one. So let me make this nice and simple for you. Live by our law here and we'll all get along just fine. Not laws, law. There's just one, the golden rule. And the punishment for breaking it's well ah, it's BC, you know. horrific. But our magistrate insists we take all newcomers to see him, so I guess I'll let him fill you in. So then, are you coming? Look, you seem like you might need a little extra help, and I'd feel a lot more comfortable if I showed you the way. Follow me! Da müssen das Ceres und Proserpina sein und der Kreis stellt wahrscheinlich das, den Jahreszyklus dar. Only 23 of us at the moment, if you count the three who are missing. No idea how, since nobody knows a way out. But it's just big and dark enough to get lost in, if you're not careful. Aren't you going to introduce me to your pretty new friend, Galerius? Keep it in your loincloth, Aurelia. I'm taking her to see the magistrate. Ach, ich ah, ich habe vorhin anscheinend eine Frau ausgewählt. Anyone who helps vote him out today drinks at my bar for free tonight. Uh, 
politics. I'd stay clear of it and her, if I were you. She's... Uh, it's not my place to say. Down on your right is our farm, where I grow all the food you'll ever want. As long as all you want is leek, cabbage and wheat. Ah, that one usually gets a chuckle. The bloodless shadows wander without flesh or bone. Ah, don't mind Livia. She means well. She's just been in a bad place since... Well, you know, I don't know what happened to her. Übersetzen. Nichts stehe, niemand verletzen. Nicht. Wer immer dies schrieb, hat offensichtlich keine Chance, es fertigzustellen. Up here on your right is the chasm. If you've got a weapon, it belongs way down at the bottom. Up on your left is the forum, where you can visit the market or get yourself patched up in Lucretia's clinic in the Shrine of Apollo. Most of us have almost nothing. Just what we had on us when we arrived and what we've been able to make and scrounge up since. And this central plateau is where the Magistrate and the other patricians live. So, don't expect a warm welcome. Hilarious. You're meant to be working the farm, not trudging dirt into the villas. Take it easy, Horatius. I was just taking our new friend here to see the Magistrate. Well, he's asked me to escort the newcomer personally. The farm. Go. Now. You'd better go with him. But just remember, they're not like you and me. Don't let them use you. What was that? What did you just say? I said it'll take some getting used to. Yeah, I'm watching you, farm boy. Greetings, citizen. My name's Horatius. Magistrate Sentius asked me to escort you to him personally. Follow me, please. Follow me. Okay, die kommen ja schon mal gut miteinander klar. Stand right now is the golden rule. Let me see if I can explain it this way. When I was serving in the Legion. If there was a mutiny brewing in one cohort, the legate in charge wouldn't waste time finding the bad apples among hundreds. They just divided us into groups of ten, made us draw straws, and whoever drew the short straw had to be executed by the other nine. Didn't matter whether he'd done anything wrong. One of us in ten would die for the crimes of the Collective. We call it decimation. If that seems like rough justice to you, You're in for a rude shock. Because the golden rule is exactly ten times worse. The magistrate can explain the rest. He's up these stairs. Ich stelle mal kurz gerade die Musik ein bisschen leiser und die Stimmen dafür ein bisschen lauter. Gibt's hier irgendwas zu oh, sehen? Don't mind me. I just live here. Oh, I wish Horatius would stop letting barbarians in here. What do you want? I trust you can see yourself out. Okay, anscheinend wurde hier jemand adoptiert. Wir Dürfen wir die Truhe durchsuchen, wenn wir nichts mitnehmen? Zählt das dann schon als Stehlen? Okay, wir dürfen uns angucken, was da drin ist. We're finally alone. I assume you already know who I am. May I know your name? A curious name to match a curious accent. But I digress. I see you have the piercing and astute eyes of Athena. You must be a woman of great learning. We're always happy to welcome another scholar to our little community. Equitia will be delighted to meet you, I'm sure. Now, you're probably wondering why I summoned you, and I'll get to that. 
But first, take a look at this wondrous place, would you? A secret city built deep in the mountains many hundreds of years ago. Also ich weiß nicht, ob das so gut ist, dass die das mit der Geschlechterwahl dann mit dieser Münze, wo man den Kopf gerade so ausmachen konnte, gelöst haben. Indeed. More importantly, consider the miraculous community we've built here over the last seven months. 22 complete strangers brought together by the fates living and working together in our own little paradise. And in all that time, not a single sin has been committed. No fights, no theft, nothing. Have you ever witnessed something so extraordinary as a city without sin? Nor could I until I came here. But the reason for this, this miracle is as simple as it is terrifying. If even one person commits a sin here, every last one of us will die. You see, the builders of this place, whoever they were, left inscriptions warning, the many shall suffer for the sins of the one. From what we can gather, breaking the law here will anger the gods and provoke a terrible punishment. Like the curses of Medusa and Midas combined, turning us all to gold. We've come to call it the Golden Rule. It's extraordinary that we've survived as long as we have, and each day I grow more and more afraid that our time in the sun is almost up. And now it seems that day is finally here. All that matters is that somebody in this city is about to break the Golden Rule. Why else would Proserpina send you now? Unless you and I can stop them, our doom is assured. I know that's a lot to take in, and you look like you have questions. Please, ask away. Was zählt hier als Sünde? An intelligent question. There was a good deal of debate about that in our first weeks here. Does it refer to crimes, or to some other ill-defined wrong? Of course, everyone agrees on the basics. No theft, no assault, and certainly no murder. But beyond that, it was more difficult to reach a consensus. What about lying, insulting someone, blasphemy, trespass, trying to escape, bribery, infidelity, suicide? As magistrate, I had to exercise leadership, and so I made a decision. We must uphold the laws of the Empire to a standard never before seen. And we must honor the peace of the gods, the sacred accord between the gods and the people of Rome. It is only by offering the gods the proper respect that we may prosper, as Rome has for centuries. Weißt du, du hast halt eine so eine kurze Antwort und dann hast du halt hier so, so eine Riesengeschichte hier. Barbaric? Barbaric? What are you talking about? The Empire is the most civilizing force in the known world. Rome is a beacon of light in the darkness. For 800 years she has borne great statesmen, philosophers, poets, artists and engineers. We have comprehensive laws protecting the rights of our citizens, which have unified countless warring tribes all across the Mediterranean and beyond, from Gallia to Judea. All our citizens are treated the same, regardless of the color of their skin or their sexual preference. Can you say the same? When our people are starving, they are given food rations, and when they are wronged, they have the right to bring the guilty party before the magistrate. Our laws forbid treason, murder, assault and rape, as well as theft and arson and so on. No other civilization in the world is so advanced, and you have the, the hubris to call us barbaric? Oh, da können wir... I Sollen wir auf Konfrontation mit ihm gehen? Aber er wird da alles rechtfertigen können, also von daher. Ah, 
Are you talking about our practice of decimation? Of course. We could hardly unite all these warring tribes without a disciplined, formidable legion. Well, right now, you're a long, long way from home. I have made my pronouncement on the subject. Unfortunately, there are still those here who resist, whispering blasphemous and treasonous lies in the shadows. I would be keeping a close eye on them if I were you. You see, in my search for a way to save my people, I learned of an ancient ritual to Proserpina, the goddess of the cycle of life and renewal. It's said to open a doorway in time, so that if the unthinkable happens, one person can pass through it and travel back to the past. And when I saw you arrive in a flash of light from the goddess's shrine, I knew that person was you. You don't belong in our time, do you? Two thousand years? That is unfathomable. Please, tell me, in your time, what did you see? What had become of us, of this city? I have imagined it, our downfall a thousand times, but it still breaks my heart to hear the truth of it. Wie funktioniert das Ritual? All I can tell you is that it's a ritual sacrifice to Proserpina. I stumbled across instructions. I have to recite a prayer, and of course, as with all rituals, some sacrifice is involved. Usually that means wine or food, or in some cases a live animal. In this case, the sacrifice is rather more costly. The life of the person performing the ritual. I don't suppose you saw any sign of me in the future? Ah, I assume that was me. If I'm forced to perform the ritual, it's going to cost me everything. You'll try to make sure I don't need to use it, won't you? Well, I suppose that's all I can ask for. Uh, könnt ihr Sachen nicht selbst nachgehen? Gut, das, dann würde er nicht das. Uh oh, gibt es Ver Verdächtige? Do you ever stare at a problem for so long that you can't see it for what it is anymore? What's needed here is a fresh pair of eyes. The less I prejudice the independence of your investigation, the better. Me? Why would you suspect me? I've just told you. I'm about to sacrifice my own life to ensure these people have a second chance. What reason could you possibly have to suspect me of all people? Gutes Argument, aber ja. Wenn man das Original kennt. I'm glad you think so. Without trust, without each other. We won't be able to prevent what is about to happen. If I understand Proserpina's ritual correctly, that problem should take care of itself. Let me see if I can explain. If you manage to prevent the sin that breaks the golden rule, I won't need to bring you here. I won't create the portal, and you will never have been able to come here. Thus, you'll have created a paradox. If this occurs, you should be flung back to your own time, having changed the past for all of us. Makes sense? Ja, so viel Sinn ein Paradoxon machen kann. Ah, gut. So, are you with me? Can I count on you to figure out who's about to break the golden rule? Wonderful. Now, I need you to investigate the city, talk to everyone, help them if it'll win their trust. I authorize you to enter private homes and inspect possessions and documents, unless of course you're asked to leave. 
figure out who the culprit is, and as soon as you have a name, come back and tell me immediately. Oh, and one last thing. If I were you, I'd start my investigation by visiting Lucretia at the Shrine of Apollo in the Forum. I heard wailing from there not long ago. Seems like something's not right. Wolltest du mir nicht... Hast du mir nicht gerade noch gesagt, du willst nicht beeinflussen, was ich tue? So, dann gucken wir uns doch mal um. Whatever are you wearing? Oh, look, you're back. How lucky for me. Yes, die What is it now? I'm Sentia, eldest daughter of the Magistrate. But you'd know that if you'd been invited in here and introduced properly. What are you doing in here? And why are you dressed like that? Really? I'd never have noticed what with your flawless accent, appropriate attire and impressive mastery of our customs. Now, remind me, why are we having this conversation? You know, some people say it's the creation of an all-seeing god who's watching everything we do. But what kind of an awful, incompetent god would let my sister go missing on his or her watch? Gute Frage, aber das spricht immer dafür, dass Gotteslästerung nicht die goldene Regel verletzt. Did you hear that? Curse you, you coward! Where is my sister? What do you have to say for yourself? No response. Nothing. <laughs> That's what I thought. I'm telling you, this mysterious god of ours has to be asleep on the job. Either that, or like people are saying, it really is just a children's fable my father is exploiting to frighten us into behaving. Hmm, I suppose we will. Ugh, what is it with you people? You heard the rumor that my little sister escaped and figure I must know a way out too. Is that it? Well, that's just a stupid rumor. We have no idea what happened to Centilla. I wish you mouth breathers would just leave me alone. I don't know. Can you? Can you tell me how a person could have disappeared from a city with no exits and no crime? Was she snatched away by the harpies? Er hat nichts davon erwähnt. That doesn't surprise me. To him it was like a prize cow wandering off from its paddock. He's upset, of course. But he says he's too busy with the election to help look for her. So he's letting Horatius do the heavy lifting. Some good that's done. Okay, die Übersetzung ist echt uh, nicht flawless. Habt ihr so jetzt gesehen? It was three weeks ago. We ate our evening meal together and I remember she seemed happy. In love. We went into our rooms. I went to sleep. And when I woke up, she was gone. That's it. I think so, yes. But she was very careful about keeping his identity a secret, even from me. Because our father had plans to marry her off, eventually, and even a rumor about her attachment to some mystery man might have ruined those plans. Is it possible that Elie Papa was involved? I don't know. But it's been three weeks since she disappeared, and he hasn't come forward. That might speak to a guilty conscience. All I know is, whoever he is, he's still here in the city. So you'll help me find her? Oh, thank you. You should probably take a look through her room. It's the one just by the front door. Maybe you'll find something the rest of us missed. Thanks. I'd appreciate it. All right. Another time. So, er hat gesagt, hier beim Eingang. That's my room. Leave before I call Horatius. Sehr gut. Du hast gesagt, beim Eingang. Hier, dann ist das, muss das ja ihr Raum sein. Ein Tintenfass. Das hilft uns aber nicht. Ein Flakon mit einem rudimentären Parfüm. Ein Spiegel. Okay. 
Okay, ein bisschen Geld. Also hat sie doch einen Ausweg gefunden. Das hat natürlich auch niemand unter dem äh, Back, unter dem Kissen gesucht. What? Really? I swear, I searched her room top to bottom and never saw that. I wonder how I could have missed it. Strange, but well done, I suppose. But it's odd. It was only a few months ago that Santilla's friend Julia let slip she was planning an escape of her own. And yet, Julia's still here. You should go and speak with her. Find out if she knows anything. She lives in the villa next door. Girl. Es lag unter dem Kopfkissen. Das ist der erste Ort, wo man nach sowas sucht. Und du willst das nicht gefunden haben? Also entweder ist sie dümmer als sie aussieht oder es ist irgendwie sus. Citizen. Aber die Villa nebenan, das wird dann vielleicht noch nicht die sein. Wer bist du? What were you two talking about? Du bist ein Gladiator, würde ich mal behaupten. Don't play dumb. I saw you. Having a shady little chat with old man Sentius up on his balcony. If he's making a last ditch effort to pick up votes by talking to a woman, he's even more senile than I thought. Everyone knows women can't vote. Ah, okay, ich hätte... Also ich darf wahrscheinlich auch nicht an der Wahl teilnehmen. Was haben wir hier? Der Sentius oder... Maleolus? Der gleiche Mist, der lediglich anders riecht. Couldn't stay away, huh, lovely? Gladius, Gladius. Her name's Domitius. You want to get to Maliolus? You go through me. Why? Because I am a gladiator. That's why. You want to see me fight? Keep running your mouth, fatuous cunners. Okay, das äh, klingt schon mal so, als wäre Beleidigung auch mit der goldenen Riegel total okay. Too bad. He's busy. Unless... No. You don't look like you could afford it. I'm glad you asked. See, he's a busy man. And this is an important day. He'll be inside practicing his victory speech for tonight. Left me strict instructions he doesn't want to be disturbed. So if you want to see him, I'll need something valuable in return. Es ist nicht eine Sünde, Bestechungsgelder zu verlangen. Was will er? Bribe? That's such an ugly word. What I'm looking for is more of a... a tribute to me, your soon-to-be patron. Dunno. Something good. If you set one foot in that villa without permission, I'll skin you alive, you pusilus semitarius mocus. Okay, ist natürlich nice, dass er dann die Beleidigung nicht übersetzt. Aber dann ist das schon mal nicht die Villa, die wir suchen. Wenn sie mein Gewicht tragen könnten. Ähm, irgendwas stimmt hier mit dem Lighting gerade nicht, aber okay. Warte, welche ist denn jetzt seine Villa? Also welche ist jetzt die Villa von dem, von dem Dude? Weil siehst, die Villa nebenan ist von, äh, von Dings, von, äh, okay, die ist verschlossen. Also ich nehme mal an, wenn die Tür offen ist, darf ich wahrscheinlich rein, oder? Ich 
Darf sie lesen? Sie haben so noch der tiefen Höhlen hinter dem Theater. Okay. Also irgendwer betet an der Gottheit an, die hier verboten ist. Also zumindest zwei Leute. Hey, you're not thinking about going into the cistern, are you? Good. You be eaten alive, little runt like you. Nobody's told you about Hannibal. Ugh. Why do I have to do everything round here? So, there was this guy called Hannibal, right? Funny accent. We should go down into the cisterns looking for junk he could clean up and sell. One day, a few weeks back, he comes out and tells me the cisterns are haunted. Said he could hear spirits wailing. Of course, nobody believed him, because who trusts the Carthaginian, right? Anyway, a few days later, he goes back in. And hours go by, and he hasn't come back out, yeah? So I go down after him, and it's dark. But in the distance, I can just make out his body, sprawled out on the ground, and hunched over him was something that made my blood run cold. No word of a lie. I saw a creature. Like the corpse of a man who'd been flayed. And it was eating Hannibal. Das hätte, wenn es ein Mensch war, die goldene Regel brechen müssen. If it was a man, maybe. But I swear on my life, this was no man. More like a Strix. Or some Versipellus that feeds on human flesh. I didn't stick around to see which. What any sane person would have done. I legged it out of there. And put a sign at the door to warn the others. Good idea. Es ist nicht Rom, es ist eine vergessene Stadt. Rom hatte auch ein bisschen mehr Einwohner als 20. Aber wo... Wo sollen wir jetzt die Dings finden? Wir gehen erstmal einfach ohne die Questmarker. Ich will jetzt einfach erstmal generell ein paar Informationen sammeln. Sagt uns der Schrein was? Hm, nicht wirklich. Wo kommt das Wasser her? Das ist schon mal eine gute Frage. Das Ding ist, wie groß ist die Stadt in der Praxis? Also wie viel davon sehen wir nur und wie viel davon können wir wirklich betreten? Auf jeden Fall können wir uns ja halbwegs schnell bewegen. Das ist schon mal ganz gut. Okay, hier sind die Latrinen. Vergesst nie, dass sie alles beobachten. Aber wer beobachtet? Sind es die Statuen? Das ist das Einzige, was Sinn ergibt, oder? Salve. Ah, a new face. Salve. And welcome to a little community. My name's impossible to pronounce for most people. So you can just call me Virgil. You arrived on a sad day, friend. What with Julia's death? I wish we could have met under better circumstances. Well, I'm an architect. Or at least I was back in Rome. That's probably too grandiose a term to describe what I do here. Help out with repairs and try to stop old buildings from collapsing on people. That kind of thing. But you probably don't want to hear about the ingenious architecture or mysterious history of this place. Doch, erzähl mir mehr. Oh, I'm glad you asked. 
some of these shrines were constructed hundreds of years ago, which means Romans have been arriving here for at least that long. But there's one thing that puzzles me. The oldest shrine in this avenue isn't Roman at all. It's Greek. Well, yes, that could be the reason. Or it could mean that there were Greeks living and worshipping here before the Romans arrived. Which begs the interesting question, who really built this place? And could it be far older than any of us imagine? If only there was a way we could talk to the people who came here before us. The stories they could tell. Gladly. Personally, my favorite thing about this place is the aqueducts. Those series of adjoining arches. They're an ingenious feat of Roman engineering with a very practical purpose. They take fresh water coming from outside the city and distribute it all across Akzent? the chasm. It's funneled below the palace and into a cistern beneath the great temple. Some of it flows down into another cistern beneath the villas. And the rest is funneled to the shrine of Proserpina, where it fills the lake and allows us to fish and farm. Das klingt wie das Deutsche Bahn Spezial. Hey, not so loud. Just talking about that could anger the gods for all we know. I'm not saying it's impossible. But you'd have to find a way inside somehow. Just please try to be a bit more discreet about it. You mean the great temple? This one's a bit of a mystery. Given the way it's positioned so prominently, looking down on us, it's clear that whoever built it felt it was the most important temple in the city. Unfortunately, someone else went out of their way to keep its purpose a mystery. You see, usually a temple is dedicated to a particular god, like Proserpina or Diana or Apollo. Usually, that god is obvious. But in this case, it's unknown. There's an obelisk out the front, which probably used to bear the name of this unknown god. But it appears some barbarian defaced it. And of course we can't get inside because it's locked up tighter than the temple of Saturn in Rome. And that contains the treasury. So we're all left wondering, which god is that temple dedicated to? And could it be the one responsible for the golden rule? Unless somebody figures out a way inside, I suppose we'll never know. Of course. Some people say it's divine, the work of a god, but I'm not so sure. It just seems so flawed to me. Like it's distinctly human. I mean, once you've been here long enough, you'll notice people doing things that just seem so wrong to you. But the so-called god doesn't seem to care. Which means one of two things. Either you don't know the difference between right and wrong, or this unknown god doesn't. And I'm pretty sure I know the difference. Do you? Good. Then I hope you'll agree that there are only two ways of dealing with unfair rulers. The first is to leave. The second is to remove the ruler from power. And it seems leaving may not be an option. Wer ist safe kein echter Römer? Ja, das ist true. Wie stürzt man einen Gott? Good question. It's best if I say no more, but I hope you give it some thought. Oh, it means someone thinks I'm a sinner and that I'm going to break the golden rule. Look, I haven't done anything wrong, if that's what you're thinking. Somebody just has a problem with my preference for male company. Hey, nothing gets by you, huh? Sorry, that was mean. Yes, I like men. And when you grow up in the north as I did in the city of Novio Magus, you expect a bit of hostility. The Batavi are not known for their tolerance. I saw enough friends killed or driven away to know the cost of not keeping your personal affairs to yourself. So I hid who I was for... What was it? Nearly ten years? Watching what I said and where I looked. But that kind of fear eats away at you slowly until living 
isn't any better than the thing you were afraid of. Needless to say, since I'm now living underground, halfway across the known world with an assumed name, my openness didn't go down well among the enlightened folk of the Batavi. Nice of you to say, but not necessary. In any case, the Romans are far more accepting, and among them, I get to be who I am. Or at least, I thought that was the case. It seems I was wrong. Ah, uh, it's not just graffiti. I have quite the collection of handwritten notes too. The strange thing is, I keep my personal affairs to myself. I've never really been interested in any of the men here. Not my type. So I'm not sure what I could have done to upset this person. If I had to guess, I'd say it's probably one of those cultists. Strange Cultist? bunch. They insist there's only one God, and that he considers my nature a sin. Can you believe that? If there are any of them here, they won't admit it. Not since they supposedly burned down half of Rome last year and went into hiding. All I know is, if these threats keep escalating, eventually my secret admirer is going to cross a line and break the golden rule. Ich gehe der Sache nach. Scheint, als hätten wir ein paar Christen hier. What? Really? I... I didn't expect that. But thanks. It's always a pleasure to meet someone so selfless. I'm glad you arrived when you did. I'd start by figuring out who the cultists are. Or maybe ask around among the merchants here. Someone who lives or works in the forum must have seen something. But if you find them, please don't hurt or humiliate them. I suspect they're just confused. Well, Maliolis is talking about loosening some of the restrictions in this place. And while it's all a bit vague, at least he has a vision. My vote isn't for sale. If that's what you're asking. Nice to talk to you. Okay. Anschuldigende Nachricht. Und auch noch in all caps. Okay, da ist die Nachricht. Ich hätte jetzt gerade... Ich muss aufpassen, dass ich nicht so versehentlich was klaue. Hello traveler from a faraway land. Greetings, I'm Georgius. It gladdens me to see another foreigner in our midst. We must stick together, you and I. And I must say, my sartorial friend, your clothing is most extraordinary. Leather boots in place of sandals, trousers with precise stitching, and such a curious design. I have traveled distant trade routes from the markets of Damascus to the farms of India. And never have I seen anyone dressed quite like you. Tell me, I must know. From which exotic part of the world do you hail? Then you are an explorer like me. Wonderful. You must have many stories to share. I cannot wait to hear them. We will have much time here to get to know one another. But for now, do you require assistance? I know you do not require clothing, so information perhaps? Ja. Ist die Menü rausgekommen? Was haltet ihr von der goldenen Regel? Ah, yes. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. As a Greek, this is nothing new to me. It is how our gods operate. Have you not heard the tale of the god Hades? He was the first to learn this dreadful lesson when he abducted Persephone and imprisoned her in the underworld. When Demeter, the mother of Persephone, learned of this, she did not punish Hades, the guilty one. Instead, she changed the climate of Earth so that it became hot and dry. Nothing grew. The grain turned to empty husks and the rivers dried up. Innocent people died by the tens of thousands until at last the other gods were forced to act lest they have no worshippers left. So yes, we know this rule. This has always been the case. The golden rule has merely brought it into focus. If we are to survive, I say we must each keep the simple wisdom of Thales of Miletus 
first of the seven sages of Greece who said, avoid doing what you would blame others for doing. It does, doesn't it? But it is not enough for us to do this alone. For even if 99% of us adopt this principle, that will never be enough. Sadly, no matter how well we protect ourselves, the life's work of many good people can be undone in the blink of an eye by a single selfish act. Yeah. Ah, the voice of experience. I am sorry for your loss, my friend. But on a lighter note, I will say one thing for the golden rule. For all their grim and haunting poses, these golden statues do make magnificent models for my clothing. Do they not? <laughs> Wen werdet ihr wählen? That, my friend, is quite the dilemma. But after some reflection, I'm leaning toward voting for Maleolus. I do not enjoy the thought of another visit from Domitius if I voted the wrong way. Nothing comes to my mind, my friend. Ah, also wird unter Druck gesetzt. This is troubling, is it not? I am afraid I have no idea. It is ridiculous though, Virgil is a fine man. But my young friend Fabia confided in me that she saw someone leaving graffiti on his shop front last night. Perhaps you should ask her about it. I hope that our paths cross again soon, my friend. So, hat, hat er irgendwas hier drin? Herbemittel. Okay, nur Geld. You look well, my sartorial friend. Steht offenbar jedem zur Verfügung. Adjutor. Warum das geschrieben hat, ist nicht fertig geworden. Wer bist du? Salve, Stranger, and welcome to our idyllic little slice of the Empire. I'm Dacius. Terrible shame what happened to Julia. But we just have to carry on, don't we? It's terrible for inflation, is what it is. There's so much gold just lying around, it's practically worthless. At least down here. Of course, I have an idea for generating real wealth, but what I need is a bow. Just a simple composite bow. I've scoured this city from top to bottom with no luck. But if you happen to find one, bring it to me and we'll talk. Gibt es nicht ein Waffenverbot? Oh, well, technically yes, but that just means you'll need to be a little discreet. Thank you, friend. I don't, I'm afraid. But I did overhear Fabia telling Georgius she saw something. She was headed to the baths not long ago. Maliolus. I mean, Sentius couldn't even keep his daughter safe. What hope does he have of protecting us? Certainly. Very well. Another time. So, wir wollen jetzt nicht von jedem die Lebensgeschichte. Ja, sehr gut. Er will also fliehen. Dann hat er vielleicht auch einen Plan. Eine Statue der Minerva. So, so. How'd you do? Ah, oh, back again, I see. I'm afraid not. If you're desperate, I did hear that Aurelia down at the tavern claims to know of a way out, but I'm not sure I trust her. Some people here are a little shady for my liking. Very well. Another time. Viel Spaß mit dem Senat jetzt kaum. Am I going to die in here? 
I don't I did think not do so, it. my friend. It's election day today. Perhaps our new magistrate will be kinder than Sentius and let you out. I hope so. Galerius, what happens when you die? You're not going to die anytime soon, Dooley. My mother told me, when you die, a ferryman helps you cross a river and your spirit lives on in the underworld. Is that true? Well, yes, but... Is it true that if you were good, you get to go to Elysium, but if you were bad, you get punished forever and ever in Tartarus? Something like that, but... What if I die and go to Tartarus because they say I've been bad? I'm not going to let that happen to you, Dooley. I promise. Thank you, Galerius. Thank you. Now, I have more work to do, but I'll visit you again soon, all right? All right, Galerius. See you then. Ah, it's you again. Hope you're settling in, friend. Now, what's on your mind? Äh, wisst ihr, was hat die von der goldenen Regel? I don't give it much thought these days. I mean, everybody here's got their own view about what we need to do to survive. But I say, let's spend less time arguing about what it means to be good and just get on with it, you know? Äh, uh, I can't see how I could vote for either candidate. I don't like Sentius much, but Maliolus is almost as bad. Even I could do a better job. Me, a farmer. And I've never given a speech or put on a toga in my life. Well, it's a long one and kind of sad, but I don't mind telling it. Äh, ich hab Zeit. Ich glaube, bei ihm könnte es sich lohnen. I'm a farmer. Always happy. I grew up in a small village in Britannia, Camulodunum, with my parents and two little sisters. Lovely part of the world. One day, when I was about 20, my father and I were in the top paddock, loading our cart, when some Roman legionaries came along, demanding produce for their men. My father told me to run into the house for his axe, and so I did. I sprinted so fast I almost threw up, but by the time I got back, he was bleeding out on the ground, and our cart was empty. That was my first encounter with the legions. My mother died of a broken heart soon after, and things went downhill from there. I took over the farmstead, but I was young, and it was a struggle. More raiding started before too long. We'd come outside in the morning to find animals missing, our stores pillaged. These legion thugs just took whatever they wanted. One night, when my sisters and I had nothing left to steal, there was a knock at the door. I knew who they were, and what they wanted. I got my father's old axe, pulled the door open real quick, and before that soldier knew it, split his face right down the middle. But there were more of them. I never saw how many, because the next thing I knew, I was waking up with a mouth full of dirt and lungs full of smoke. My home was reduced to ash. My sisters, dead. And they left me alive to see what they'd done. It still burns whenever I think about it. Er hätte also einen Grund, den Soldaten zu hassen, den wir getroffen haben. Oh, I'm sorry to bore you, friend. Well, as much as I'd love to get out of here, the harvest's always more fruitful in another man's field, isn't it? But Centilla, Sentius' daughter, went missing a few weeks back. Could be she found a way out. If anyone knows for sure, it'll be her sister, Sentia. But she'd never tell the likes of me. All right, see you around. A new face. Ave, and may Vesta watch over you. I'm Equitia. To what do I owe the pleasure of this visit? Bist du die Priesterin? It must be completed by dusk, just the same as any other official business. It'll be between Sentius, the incumbent, and Maliolus, the challenger. Why do you ask? You can, assuming they're eligible and willing to accept the nomination. Okay. All of the male citizens who are willing and able to attend, unless they're running, of course. 
Hmm. That's just the way it's always been, I'm afraid. It never sat right with me, either. There are some women who can vote. Vestal priestesses like myself. But in this case, given my role overseeing the election, I've decided to abstain. I can't allow the perception that I'm being anything but fair and independent. But if it's any consolation, there are other ways to influence the outcome of an election. Zum Beispiel? By using whatever gifts the gods gave you. Nothing untoward, of course. I'm responsible for announcing it and making sure the procedures are followed. As I said, I'm planning to hold it before dusk, but I suppose I could hold it sooner, if there's a good reason. Okay. As you wish. Also, das ist eine Option, die wir Certainly. uns schon mal merken können. Was haltet ihr von der goldenen Regel? I'm quite sure it's the work of the gods, which is strange because they've never been particularly concerned with our misdeeds, as long as we've kept the peace of the gods. We ask for blessings, for good health, bountiful harvest, military victory, and in return, we offer praise, wine, incense, or animals. But here, it seems they require much more of us. I find myself reminded of an especially pertinent tale from our great poet Ovid in his epic Metamorphoses. Would you like to hear it? It is rather long. Äh, eher nicht. Es geht doch nichts über eine Person, die mit Wahlmechanismen vertraut ist und Tipps zur Wahlmanipulation gibt. Das stimmt. Stop the count. I suppose so. Jupiter and Mercury put a town to the test by disguising themselves as vagrants and asking for shelter there. Everyone turned them away and failed that test, except for an old couple named Borsis and Philemon, and so the gods gave them time to escape and granted them a wish, and then wiped that town off the map. Some say the moral of that story is that we must all honor the sacred rituals of guest friendship, the reciprocal obligations owed between hosts and guests. But I like to think it's that we should always show compassion for those less fortunate than ourselves. Hmm. philosopher might take that view but it's not entirely invalid I suppose see you again soon I hope so was ist mit ihm uh, hello my name's Dooley I live here now because I got in trouble and they they said they had to lock me up I don't know. I don't remember things so good. I think it's just because I was looking for treasure. Yes, but I wasn't. I was just looking. They said I did it more than once. But I can't remember things so good. Then they called me mean names. They called... They called me a liar, Billy. Yes. Okay, das war auch schlecht übersetzt. Die haben das Wort nicht verstanden. But I'm not good with words. Do you... Do you think you could read it for me? Does it say? Uh, my treasure. My friend Hannibal used to look after me. He said he always would. But then he died. It was very sad. He said 
if anything ever happened to him. I had to find something very precious hidden away. He gave me this key and made me promise to keep it safe until I found the treasure. But I couldn't find it. All I remember is he said something about the cisterns. But when I went up to the high one, they put me in here. Now nobody looks after me. Except my friend Galerius. And Ek. Ek. The priestess lady. She's a nice lady. Hannibal s s said I sh shouldn't give it to anyone I didn't trust. But maybe you could help me get out of here. Then I, I would trust you a lot. Galerius already tried that. He said the magistrate wouldn't listen. No matter what. Es ist vielleicht eine Zeit, dass wir einen neuen Magistrat bekommen. Like Galerius. He's nice. I like Galerius. He made me a doll and everything. If you help make him magistrate, he can get me out of here and I can give you the key to my treasure. Hannibal said it was in the cisterns. I can't remember what it was. Just that it was way up high and very precious. Fortune smile on you, sister. Go? You mean treasure? Bye bye. So, wer ist jetzt noch dazu gekommen? Okay, niemand. Okay, ich müsste Gal Galerius finden. Wo auch immer er jetzt rumläuft. Geht die Zeit automatisch weiter oder nur wenn bestimmte Sachen passieren? You have to do something. A man arrived in the baths, a real nasty sort, with his face all covered up, and he's got a weapon. You have to do something, or he's gonna break the golden rule. None of us do. The magistrate made us throw them all into the chasm. So now this man's bow is the only one in the city. You'll just have to improvise. Thank you. He's still in there. Somewhere. I have to hide. Find me in this empty shrine when it's over. Hear what? What? We don't have time for this. I have to go. What? Why? Uh, all right, um, fine. Come and find me in my bakery instead. Please be careful. Okay, wir können als einzige die Stimmen der Statuen hören und sie versuchen uns anscheinend zu helfen. Stadt sieht nice aus. Ja, das stimmt. Stop right there. I am looking for Tiberius Quinctius Crispus, otherwise known as Quinctius. Do you know where he is? Thank you. For your service to the Empire, I'll let you live for now. But you'd best make sure our paths don't cross again. Ich habe keine Möglichkeit, ihn anzugreifen, oder? Spielt das nach, Hero? Ja, sie haben vorhin auf äh, den äh, Brand Bezug genommen. Spielt, glaube ich, ein Jahr nach dem äh, großen Brand in Rom. Okay, das war jetzt aber Luck. Und es bricht nicht die goldene Regel, weil wir haben nichts getan. 
Schreien kann ich mit... Oh, das hätten wir vielleicht mal lesen sollen. Interessant. Das heißt, wir haben jetzt eine Waffe. Das ist schon mal ganz gut. Kopfgeld aushalten. Okay, wir haben ein, eine Person hier mit äh, Heterochromie. Kriegt für gewöhnlich kein Bad. Ist ein bekanntes Mitglied der Kultisten. Nehmen wir die Pfeile. So. Ist kein Stehlen, er ist schon tot. So, mal gucken, was das. Hier, ihn wollten wir vorhin. Kannst du dir vorstellen, Magistrat zu werden? Ah, it's you again. Hope you're settling in, friend. Now. I've bounced the idea around once or twice, mainly as a way of getting Dooley set free. God knows Sentius is never going to do it. But from what I hear, Maliolus has the election stitched up. Nobody's going to take him on and win. And maybe that's not such a bad thing. I mean, he talks a lot about freedom. So I'm hoping if he's elected, he'll release Dooley from his cell. And that's good enough for me. Hm, ich glaube, du bist richtig. Okay, see you. Okay, also das reicht nicht. Wir brauchen einen Weg, um ihn zu überzeugen. Okay, was willst du mir sagen? Mit den ganzen Statuen, dass, man da nicht, dass die Leute da nicht die ganze Zeit drüber stolpern. Oh ja, daran erinnere ich mich auch. So einen ähnlichen Text finden wir auch in der Mod, die die Vorlage für dieses Spiel ist. Lass uns einfach einmal fahren, ob die goldene Regel ich jetzt nämlich einen von euch mit meiner Faust schlage. Ja, wir können davon ausgehen, dass das schief gegangen ist. Nichts kaputt machen, das ist alles antik. Naja, wir sind in der Vergangenheit, also noch ist es nicht antik. Es wird erst noch antik. So. Gibt's eine Karte? Ich habe langsam keinen Überblick mehr, wo ich bin. Okay, Geld. Wartet gegen die Strömung. Das ist schon mal interessant. Also es gibt wohl eine Option im Spiel, dass man äh, durch das Flüstern Tipps bei manchen äh, Puzzeln bekommen kann. Aber noch sind wir eigentlich in keinem Puzzle. Deshalb hoffe ich mal, dass das noch die normalen äh, das Geflüster hat, dass das auch so passiert. Ist halt nicht gut, wenn alle sehen, dass ich eine Waffe habe. Theophilus verzog hier eine Orgie mit vier Frauen und enttäuschte alle gleichermaßen. 
Ooh. Whatever's in that great temple up there on the bluff, mm. I bet it's worth a fortune. Ever store? Name's Rufius. Better watch your step. Uh, okay, wir haben also noch einen Soldaten hier. Can't talk long. Got to stay sharp, but uh, families from Solutia and Tigris, Babylon province. But I've been Roman a long time now. Even joined the legions, the sixth, of one they call Ironclads. Warum tragt ihr immer noch eure Rüstung? Because we're all in grave danger. Is it not obvious? Same way as everyone else. If you were dealing with what I am, you wouldn't be either. None of your business. In Troy to hit some coming chula. If we have to. Hmm. I'll tell you this much. I hate the fact that my survival depends on the common sense of other people. Okay, ja, das, äh, ich kenne das Gefühl, ich habe eine Pandemie durchlebt. <lacht> ah, then you know what I'm talking about. I mean, all these people just bumble along like nothing's wrong. Well, we're one bad decision away from being wiped out. Like Fortune the last lot of people who sister. lived here. Seems like I'm the only one ready for what's coming. Whatever that is. And when it hits... It's everyone for themselves. You've been warned. Ja, die Übersetzung ist... Mm, die ist so 90% accurate. I don't know. Keep an eye out for But did you ever get the feeling some of these statues are watching us when we're not looking? Like they're waiting for something. I don't like it. Of course I am. Meliolus. Not sure I trust Sentius. Couldn't even protect his daughter in a city without sin. How's he going to protect us? No. Whatever. Okay, er ist nicht so hilfreich. I love your clothes. So ähm, exhausted. willst du dich nicht einfach zu mir drehen? He's one of the better commanders I've ever had. That's for sure. Good stoic. Lives by Seneca's words. Treat your inferior as you would wish your superior to treat you. Can't ask for much more than that. All right. Warte, wir drücken. Ich will schon. So What now? Exotic. Well, as I always say, it's kind of like a divine version of the practice of decimation in the Legion. By threatening to execute one in ten men. The idea is to ensure order and discipline among everyone. And it works. If you knew you could be executed because your brother in arms is planning a mutiny, well, you'd bloody well watch him like hundred-eyed Argus, wouldn't you? Because your only chance of saving yourself is to stop bad things before they happen. Makes us all responsible for keeping each other in check. It's brutal, of course, but effective. The Legion wouldn't be the most formidable force in the world without it. What's done is done. I was forced to execute my brothers in arms and those memories will always visit me in my sleep. But life is harsh and I've come to accept my lot. As with the Golden Rule, I don't have any control over it. So railing against it would be like trying to stop the seasons or the tides. As Seneca the Younger wrote, true happiness is to enjoy the present without anxious dependence upon the future. Not to amuse ourselves with either hopes or fears, but to rest satisfied with what we have, which is sufficient. For he that is so wants nothing. If you like. Not that it's any of your business, but my loyalty is and always will be with Sentius. Unfortunately, I don't think my vote is going to make any difference today. See, Domitius has been going around town, shoring up votes for Maliolus with lies, bribery and intimidation. 
The man's a savage. But he's a gladiator, so people fear and respect him more than they should. Sentius knows about it, of course, but he doesn't have the same rat cunning as Maliolis. This place will be different with that sleaze at the helm. But I try not to worry about things I can't change. Okay, jetzt müssen den Gladiator irgendwie loswerden. I appreciate the thought. But you're new here. And I just can't see how you could make an impact in the time between now and the election this afternoon. In any case, if you're interested in the election, go and have a chat with Equitia, the Vestal Priestess. She'll be overseeing proceedings. What business is that of yours? A lot of people have been looking for her. But it's been three weeks. We've found nothing. What makes you think you can do better? Hmm. I suppose that's true. Scintilla was always a kind, well-behaved young woman. I admit, her disappearance really caught me off guard. If anyone knows something, I'd expect it to be Sentia, Maliolis, Claudia, or Domitius. But none of them will tell me anything. You might fare better, though, I suppose. So, I can bluff him? Fine. But we have, we have nothing. Keep an eye out for anything that might lead us to Centilla. I mean, the jag there could be there, but. You stay away from my money. Yeah, it's that good. Horatius, looking a bit troubled. I'll do us all a favor and drink hemlock, Captain Murder. Okay, sie mag mich nicht. Don't be too hard on yourself. Severus lifts his triple head. Nobody saw it coming. And lets out his threefold braying. Livia, would you stop muttering like Medea over a cauldron? We'll scare away my customers. They follow their trades, imitating their previous lives. But they are ignorant. Aber ich nehme mal die an, die Status gemeint, oder? Get some rest. Tomorrow's a new day. Just as the ocean accepts the rivers of all the world, so this place accepts all the souls. But it does not notice the crowds that come. The bloodless shadows. This is their punishment. They never do. The newly arrived are ignorant of the road before them. You, Tantalus, cannot catch the drops of water, and the tree you grasp at eludes you. Ein Gedicht von Galerius. Ein Liebesgedicht einer nicht schneer spezifizierten Frau. Ist er der Ist er der Liebhaber gewesen? Okay, wir können es nicht mitnehmen. Wo oh, steht meine Seilrutsche? Ich glaube, es looten wir noch andere PCs in der Nähe. Ich loote ja nicht. Ich gucke nur. Dies ist eure letzte Warnung, Sünder. Wer ist es also? Rufius. Okay. Also wir könnten... Galerius? Horatius? Oh, you again. Still no sign of Centilla. And I haven't slept uh. in three weeks. I don't be too hard on yourself. From what I hear, nobody saw it coming. Ixian returns.
Also wir haben schon mal zumindest das rausgefunden. So, von hier kamen wir ja. Aber hier kommen wir, glaube ich, in dieser Zeit nicht rein. Äh. Ja, darf ich hier... Das Parfing ist ein bisschen weird in diesem Spiel. Rennen fließen durch die Stadt. Irgendwas muss hier in dem, in, dem, in, dem in dem See da sein. Hilfe. Ich will nicht darunter fallen. Okay, wir sind jetzt einmal praktisch rum. Sometimes I stare at the great temple on the bluff and I think any news about my secret admirer? Äh, wie komme ich hier wieder raus? You went snooping in his place? That was risky. We're lucky you didn't cross any lines. Have you spoken to him about it? I would talk to him myself. But I think that would just inflame the situation. It's probably best if you do it, if you don't mind. Nice to talk to you. Okay, also das You look well, my sartorial friend. Äh, er hat zwischendurch mal gesagt, woher er kommt, aber ich hab's schon wieder vergessen. wir nicht vorhin? Jetzt sind wir nämlich wieder hier. Aber ja, sein Akzent, wie klingt wie das Deutsche Bahn Spezial, das, das stimmt schon. Muss ich meine Taschenlampe unter Wasser? Ein bisschen awkward, aber ja. Was ist das? Haben die, haben die Schmetterlinge oder Motten oder was das mit irgendwas zu bedeuten? Bei dem Bataban, okay, ja, ja, man, okay, weil so. <lacht> Klingt halt auch wirklich nach, wie gesagt, nach diesem typisch deutschen Akzent. So, es hieß, soll Fluss aufwärts. Wir könnten auch versuchen, in das äh, in die Zisterne zu gehen. So, wir waren noch nicht bei der... Warte, wo sind... Äh, Tastenbelegung. Mal kurz gucken. Zielguide, Zielguide. Ähm. Wie kann ich denn auswählen, dass... 
Wenn man eine ganz. Dass ich, ich will meine andere Quests. Tagebuch und Inventar ist Tab. Okay. Ich muss irgendwelche dunklen Geheimnisse von Maleolus ausgaben. Wenn Maleolus ausscheidet, würde er sich, äh, würde er sich selbst nominieren. Warte, wir brauchen... Komm, wir gehen mal das durch. Ich bin mal gespannt, ob, wirklich, äh, ob wir nicht gleich sowieso schon irgendwas passiert. Isn't the great temple majestic? Give me a moment. Sorry, I'm such a mess. I just lost a patient. And a dear friend, Julia. She was a good woman. She was poisoned. She came in here frothing at the mouth. Normally I'd treat her with resin of sylphium, a rare plant which is perfect for this sort of thing. And I knew Dacius had some at his market stall, right around the corner. So I ran over there, but he just looks at me with this evil smile and says, That'll be a thousand denarii. There was no way I could afford that, and he knew it. Then that toad shrugs and says, Supply and demand. I guess you don't value your friend's life that highly. Anywhere else, I'd just pay a thug to steal it from his stall. But there's no way I can do that down here with the golden rule. So all I could do is come back here and just watch her die. I kept on apologizing. And now I'll never know who poisoned her, or how they managed to do it without breaking the golden rule, or why she cursed that snake's cruel black eyes with her dying breath. Okay, wir müssen also irgendwie, bevor wir äh, die nächste Zeitschleife beginnen, das äh, Heilmittel stehlen. Well, unless you have the power to bring someone back from the dead, there's really just one thing you can do. Get me that Sylphium resin. I'm going to have another patient in here soon. Could be in the next day or in the next hour. And I will not allow this to happen again. I don't care how you get it, but you have to make it happen. Because if I lose another patient this way, I swear to the gods below, Not even the golden rule will stop me from marching up to that genetic comfort and scratching his eyes out. Uh, was die von der goldenen Regel? A city without sin might sound good on paper, but whoever dreamt it up didn't think it through. Maybe it was an attempt to create some kind of utopia. But snakes like Decius will always find loopholes to exploit. And what can we do about it? Absolutely nothing. In some ways we are worse off because we can't take the law into our own hands. Oh no. Sorry, I don't mean to worry you, but no, that is definitely not normal. There was one other person who claimed she could hear the statues talking to her. But that was Nevia and uh She went a little mad. Anything about what? Sure. What do you want to know? Uh, how did you know that? Yes, she did mutter something about the only way out. A few times, but nothing more than that, I'm afraid. Do you really want to know? I mean, if somebody poisoned her, then surely they would have broken the golden rule and... So, maybe it's best we don't discuss it. Wisst ihr, was für ein Gift sie genommen hat? Hemlock, I believe. Okay, wir müssen also... Hemlock, hat nicht gar die Barkeeperin gesagt, wir sollen das trinken? I haven't seen her in months. She's not allowed to leave Maliolas' villa. And they are quite secretive. Gladly. Well, come back if you get sick or...
Ding ist, irgendwie zu verdächtigen bringt, glaube ich, nichts, weil alle zu irgendeinem Zeitpunkt äh, Apollo, keep you safe. irgendwie ankündigen, dass sie bei irgend wenn irgendwas passiert, die goldene Regel brechen werden. Ähm, ja, das kann, das können wir mal tatsächlich versuchen, ob das klappt. Wir wollten müssen ja sowieso dahin wegen Rufius. Wenn man keine Dino da jetzt noch breche ich die goldene Regel. Hey Chat wird schon wieder wild. Horatius? Looking a bit troubled there. Still no sign of I love your clothes. I oh, do us all a favor and drink hemlock and cap of murder. Yourself. From what I hear, nobody saw it coming. Anyway, I thought you Stoics weren't supposed to worry about things you can't control. Yeah, but I keep thinking. What if there is something out there? What if she's out there somewhere suffering, your waiting to be found? So Sounds like you're torturing Dossi. yourself. Leave that for the gods. Mm. Es sind generell nur 20 Leute hier, also. Okay, also ich habe ich hab das Gefühl, sie hat. Es wirkt, als hätte sie äh, Julia vergiftet, aber wie können wir es beweisen? Wenn wir den Gegenstand stehlen, haben wir ein Problem. Okay, die Wahl geht los. You, Sisyphus, attack or pursue the stone that always returns. So, können wir vorher schon hingehen und äh das Ereignis schon vorher triggern. Jetzt würde ich gerne halt irgendwie die Routine durchskippen. As agreed, we shall dispense with ballots and candidates will abstain from voting. Let's make this quick. As I say your name, call your vote. I'll start with you, Horatius. Sentius, of course. Georgius. Maliolus. Dacius. Maliolus. Galerius. I abstain. I'm just here to observe. Virgil. Maliolus. Rufius. Maliolus. And finally, Domitius? Maliolus. Okay, das Who ist äh, schon ein Erdrutschsieg. You have made your decision. Your new magistrate is Marcus Maliolus Gerges. Hail Magistrate Maliolus. Uh. I said, Hail Magistrate Maliolus. That's more like it. 
Thank you. Thank you. I am delighted and deeply honored to have been elected your magistrate. And now, I make this solemn promise to you, good citizens. Under my leadership, you will finally enjoy the freedom you deserve. No more shall you walk on eggshells, fearing simply to live and breathe, because the tyrant Sentius told you it was forbidden. For my first act as magistrate, I hereby announce a day of celebration to mark the end of an era. The myth of the Golden Rule oh, is shit. no more. The Golden Rule is real, you idiot. For his attempt to deceive us all, Sentius is hereby found guilty of treason against the Empire. What? I have committed no crimes. This is madness. His sentence? To fight for his life in gladiatorial combat against Domitius. Here and now for your entertainment. You have no idea what you're doing. You're going to get us all killed. Wait. I exercise my right as a Vestal Priestess to pardon him. I will not allow you to do this. You're showing your true colors now, Priestess. Your corruption sickens me. Domitius, ignore her. Proceed. This is insanity. You'll doom us all. Lies. It is time the Golden Rule was exposed for what it is. A children's fable exploited by a treacherous leader to instill fear in all of us. This is why he's in his gladiator gear. They've been planning this all along. Shut up, all of you. The Magistrate has spoken. I'm going to enjoy killing you, old man. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Okay. Okay, wir haben keine Zeit. Man kann es anscheinend wohl auflösen ohne Zeitsprung. Das ging tatsächlich in der Mod nicht. Eine, einen Zeitsprung muss man noch immer machen. Salve, friend. Mind telling me who you are and what you're doing with that bow on your back? Uh. I don't think so. I've never seen you before in my life. Oh, Bacchus, how much did I drink last night? Uh, sorry to have bothered you. Oh, and since you seem to be in a hurry, you should try out this device I made. Worked real hard on it. Okay. Just attach the pulley to the rope over the lake and hang on to the handles. If it works, it'll be faster than walking. And if it doesn't work, worst thing that can happen is you'll take a swim in the lake. I haven't quite summoned the courage to test it myself. But don't worry, it's completely safe. Probably. Yeah, it's king there. Oh, it sounds serious. I'm listening. All right, let me see. Stop Fabia going in, but send ah, stimmt, das ist so eine Mechanik, dass man die ganzen Sachen nicht mehrmals machen muss. I'll go, but once I'm done, I'll need you to tell me how you know all of this. Ähm, okay, wie mache ich das jetzt? Ach so, hier die, hier die Seilbahn. Wie benutze ich die jetzt? Hä? Ich, ich, ich kapier's gerade nicht. Okay. Ja, zum Glück ist, äh, ist Oberflächenspannung ja kein Ding. So. Stimmt, ich habe schon überlegt, ob wir dann alles wieder neu machen müssen, aber stimmt, es gab äh, diese Mechanik. 
I'm your best behavior, I trust. Ja, keine Sorge. Ich trage übrigens noch alle Gegenstände bei mir, die ich gesammelt habe. Das kann man auch ausnutzen. We're finally alone. I assume. We have? Wait. I must have entrusted you with figuring out who the culprit is. Only I assume we failed. And you had to start over. Is that about right? If so, what happened? Ah, I see. Look, it's unfortunate. But all that matters now is that you make use of what you've learned and gathered and do better next time. Now, I assume you sought me out again for a reason. Ask then. Ah, was haben wir denn hier? Nein, wir haben keine Fragen. Good. Now, was there... You mean Duilius? Releasing him is out of the question, I'm afraid. That man is a liability we simply cannot afford. Perhaps you're not aware he was caught multiple times, sneaking around in places he should not have been. Look, I can see where you're going with this. You think me cruel. I assure you, that is not the case. You may not be aware of this, but it was not so long ago, during the Republic, the law of the Twelve Tables would have required that he be killed as soon as he was born, owing to his deformities. Here, we see to it that he has food, water and shelter, and most importantly, he is able to continue living. A privilege that would be taken away from all of us, were he to be released and commit the crime of trespass. The man has no self-discipline, poor comprehension of what is going on around him, and is an incorrigible rule-breaker. I will not jeopardize the lives of my people so that one man can go free. Now, was there something else? Bro, ich komme aus der Zukunft. Du könntest mir vielleicht vertrauen? Dann halt nicht. Thank you. I'll be ja, ich, ich komme nicht wieder. Keine Sorge. Das ist eh nutzlos. So, können wir ihn mit irgendwelch einem Wissen... How can anyone trust him to keep us safe, eh? Why do I get the feeling you lot had something to do with Centilla's disappearance? That's it. Blame everyone but yourself. If I find out that you did something to that poor sweet girl, not even the Golden Rule is gonna protect you. Got it? Ha! <laughs> As if I'll be afraid of you, little man. Maliolus isn't receiving visitors. Uh, bup, 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 bup. Yeah. What have you got okay, er weiß jetzt natürlich noch, dass er ein Tribut haben wollte. Und, äh... Just making. Und weiß das aus irgendeinem Grund noch. Okay, wir können ihn nicht mit dem konfrontieren, dass wir wissen, was er und äh, Aleolus vorhaben. Man versucht so zu handhaben, wie weg. Du meinst, dass ich einfach in ein anderes Universum gehe? What are you doing in here? Can't you see this woman is dying? She's been poisoned. She needs the resin of a plant called Silphium, but that cool as Cumulatus Decius won't give it to me. It's too late. She just slipped away. No, no, now it's fine. I can't afford to wallow here. Well. Okay, wir brauchen das Heilmittel. Wir brauchen es jetzt. You there. I'm sorry to trouble you, but I couldn't help but no, no idea how you managed to get your ends. And before you ask, no, I wouldn't dream of trying to buy it from you. I have no use for a wooden bow myself. But I would like to propose a joint business venture of sorts. Ah, yeah. Tell me, do you have any idea how people here end up as golden statues? And here I was thinking I was the only one to figure it out. In any case, 
Supposedly, one or two of those arrows is enough to turn a full-grown man into gold. Now, of course, that is a travesty. A terrible, horrible waste of human life, which has to be stopped. And yet, on the other hand, I can't help but think of a tale told by that Greek fella Aesop. The goose that laid the golden egg. With the ability to transmute organic matter into gold, one could create infinite wealth. Use your imagination. Golden animals, insects, trees and plants. The Midas touch without the drawbacks. We are talking riches beyond imagining. And even if riches we were to split all those riches hmm, between the two of us, half of infinite wealth is still infinite. Interesting. Haben wir nicht noch vorhin darüber gesprochen, dass äh, das Gold hier total wertlos ist, weil es so überall rumliegt? Look, I might have skimmed over that one, but don't be so pedantic. Are you interested or not? Oh, I'm not suggesting we use such a bow on people. There's no profit in breaking the golden rule. Excellent. So the first question is, how do we get our hands on one of those golden bows? Now, I have a plan. But first, tell me, are you familiar with the story of the goddess Diana? Nein. No problem. Allow me to explain. Diana is our goddess of the hunt, the moon, and the underworld, depending on who you ask. The one thing priests and poets agree on is that she carried with her a golden bow and a quiver of golden arrows. And it just so happens that there is a shrine of Diana in this very forum with a prominent statue of the goddess herself. And would you like to guess what she's holding in her hand? Precisely. I can't tell you how many hours I've spent in that temple staring at it, trying to figure out how to retrieve it without breaking you know what. Ah, was soll diese Übersetzung? Oh, Gods, no. If you tried that, we'd all be dead within moments, I'm sure. No, here's what I propose. You give your bow to me, I cover it in a thin layer of gold leaf, and we create a replica of our golden bow. Then you enter the shrine, extinguish the braziers, and under cover of darkness, swap out the fake for the original. It's not theft exactly, it's more of a... a trade. Uh, no so mistake, funktioniert das nicht. <laughs> And there's no way of knowing where it will lead. But in my experience, all the best adventures begin with a risky first step. Now, you must have questions. Ask away. I'm more of an ideas man. Whereas you're obviously the more resourceful and heroic type. Ja, I have complete nachdenken. confidence in you. Ja, ich sag nur Maultaschen, ne? When Prometheus stole fire from the gods and became a hero to all mankind, do you think he was worried about the danger? Only because he was silly enough to get caught. So, are you in, partner? Wenn du keine Action- oder Horror-Elemente sehen willst, ist das eher nichts für dich. Okay. Are you sure? Last chance. Tut es. Was? Ich bekomme hier gerade gemischte Signale. Das Spiel sagt nein, aber... Ugh, fine. Stay poor and ignorant forever then. So. Do it. <lacht> so. Können wir ihn überreden? Don't even talk to me. Dann halt nicht. Wo ist das Harz? Wahrscheinlich in der Kiste, oder? Das sah gerade für meinen aus, als hätte sie sich bewegt. Wir es doch machen sollen, aber es muss doch einen anderen Weg geben, an das, äh, an das Zeug ranzukommen. Ich, ich kann auch nicht äh, von ihm direkt stehlen, aber ich sehe auch nirgendwo, dass hier was rumliegt. Also, Julia ist vorhin gestorben, das bringt uns also schon mal nichts. Wir haben das. Das bringt uns aber auch nichts. Das hier sollten wir vielleicht gerade mal erledigen. Auch wenn wir wissen, dass er es nicht ist. 
name's Rufius. Better watch your step. No idea what you're talking about? Yes, so what? What are you going to do about it? And why should I? The one true God says that for man to lie with another man is an abomination. His presence here is a, a threat to us all. Okay, ich glaube, also wenn sie es gemacht haben wie im Original, dann ist er auch. Um, well, I don't know. Maybe God hasn't noticed yet. But when he does, we're going to have a problem. Well, I wouldn't get so angry if he wasn't so... You know. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I don't like where you're going with this. You'd better take that back before I make you. I have no idea what you're talking about. And unless you want your jaw broken, I think it's best if you don't ever talk to me again. I have nothing to say to you, kaputt Magda. Ah, das hilft uns also noch nicht. Okay, wir müssen es hinkriegen, dass Galerius ausscheidet aus der Wahl. Ove. Find me, ja super. Hey! You're not thinking about going into the cistern, are you? Well, it's your funeral. Okay. Okay, es ist auf jeden Fall schon mal... Es ist kein Mensch, zumindest nicht mehr. Das heißt, es zählt nicht als Verstoß gegen die goldene Regel. Wir brauchen vier Pfeile. Finde einen kreativen Weg in die obere Zisterne, warte. Dies ist nicht, wir sollen Strom... Zählt lustig gewesen, wenn das Wasser... Nicht ranken. Wenn sie nur mein Gewicht tragen könnten. Aber was soll ich denn daran ändern, dass die nicht mein Gewicht tragen können? Das verstehe ich nicht. Teepacking nicht vergessen. Ach nee. Ja, das könnte uns helfen. Ja, das ist, gar, das ist gar kein schlechter Gedanke. Dafür braucht man natürlich den Bogen. Aber es hieß ja gerade den Bogen. Da brauchen wir eine Horrorquest für. Ich meine, gut, das ist halt natürlich die Frage, wie creepy wird das, ne? Außerdem ist, ist, ist Gold auch eigentlich relativ weich. Also, weiß ich nicht, ob das dann unser Gewicht trägt. Oh, direkt sogar mehr Pfeile. Sehr nice. Hast du ja Pfeile? 16 Stück jetzt. Aber mit dem Bogen, das muss ich... Wobei, ich kann den Bogen ja ruhig trotzdem nehmen, oder? Ich meine, ich gehe davon aus, dass ich so oder so den, äh, die goldene Regel breche damit. 
Sagt er was dazu, dass wir jetzt da die Kreatur erledigt haben? Hat einen Schnitt auf der... Okay, also er hat einen Schnitt auf, der, auf, auf dem rechten Arm. Wie ist das passiert? Listen, I don't abduct women. They come to me. And they keep coming back. If you know what I mean. Whatever. So, das bringt uns nichts. Are they? Reden wir mal mit, mit äh, ihr. Wo auch mal sie jetzt ist. Okay, natürlich, wo sie immer ist. Oh, I wish her Oh, you heard about her disappearance, I take it. Oh no, that's Centillus. The question is, what was it doing in the cistern? A skeleton? Oh God, you mean she's, she's. What do you mean? But didn't Domitius say there's some kind of creature down there that killed and ate Hannibal? Could it not have attacked her too? Was eine Frage auf was denn das Geld Hannibal gehört hat? What are you saying that somebody crept down there and put Centilla's amulet on another body to make us think she was dead? Why would anyone do such a thing? Who? Who could have a reason to do that? Ah, huh. ich soll ich jetzt konfrontieren oder was? That is an extremely serious accusation. I take it you have something to back it up. Nein. So this is just baseless speculation then. I've heard enough. I won't have you peddling scurrilous gossip about my sister's tragic death. Kindly keep your insane conspiracy theories to yourself and leave me alone to grieve, you barbarian. Ja, ja, mir auch egal. So, wir holen den Bogen. Wir brauchen den Bogen. Also, das jetzt als optional zu... Uh aber ich kann's... Hä? Wo war denn jetzt der... Der Tempel der Diana, wo ist der? So, das war der Tempel des Apollo, glaube ich. Würde ja Sinn machen, wenn der von Diana gegenüber wäre. Aber ich sehe gerade keine Chance, da reinzukommen. Also wenn ich noch eine andere Dings triggere, eine weitere... Eine weitere Schleife, dann werde ich halt schon irgendwie, ähm, okay. Der verschlossene Tür und finde einen Weg in den Palast. Ähm, wenn ich schon eine weitere Loop trigger, werde ich halt auch irgendwie was mitnehmen, was hilft. Das Ding ist, wir, nicht mal, wir können das Zeug ja noch nicht mal äh, käuflich erwerben. Das Ding ist, wenn ich es einmal habe, das Heilmittel, wird es dann bei jeder Loop wieder verbraucht und ich muss es neu beschaffen? Oder sagt das Spiel einfach, ich habe eine praktisch unbegrenzte Menge davon und kann es jedes Mal dem Dude geben? Ach, ich glaube, das ist der Tempel, ne? Wo geht's hier rein? Hey friend, I'm Octavia. Welcome to life under the golden rule. 
It's a ghastly thing, is it not? How are you faring so far? Ah, another stoic, perhaps. We all need something to help us through times like these. We've all been where you are now. I remember when I first arrived. I used to lay awake at night, contemplating the big questions. Why am I here? Is there a way out? What is the golden rule, and who or what is responsible for it? I still don't have any of the answers, I'm afraid. I don't think anybody does. But I'm happy to share with you what I've learned. Okay. Hmm. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. I think about those words a lot. I'd like to think that if we all love our neighbors as ourselves and do to them as we'd have them do to us, then we'll all be fine. But on the other hand, I was always taught the intent of man's heart is evil from his youth, and that all of us are born with a tendency towards sin. And that's where I get stuck. Is it true? Are we born with a tendency towards sin? Uh. If that's true, then sooner or later, things are going to end badly for all of us down here. Unless, of course, there's some kind of divine intervention. Ich meine, ja, man kann davon ausgehen, dass Menschen von Grund auf gut sind, aber es läuft halt am Ende immer anders als geplant, ne? Eine Intervention wird es auf jeden Fall geben. Hm. I wish I shared your faith. Please, please keep that to yourself. I know you're not from around here, but things are very difficult for us right now. There was a terrible fire in Rome last year, and our emperor decided to make us his scapegoats. There were executions. It was horrible. Oh, thank you. You have no idea how much I appreciate that. All right, well, it was lovely to meet you. I look forward to getting to know you better over the coming months. And if you ever... I can't believe this is how it ends. Oh, no. No. Um, no, 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 no. Ich kann nichts machen. What, what are you doing? Get back from there. If you lose your balance, you'll fall. That's the idea. What? Why? Why would you want that? Why do you think I'm stuck for the rest of my life working for a man who treats me like an animal? I know, I know things are hard for you right now. They're hard for all of us. We're all in this together, Ulpius. Please, please just think this through. If you do this, it could be the sin that seals all of our fates. Is that what you want? I'm sorry, but I just don't care anymore. Please, Ulpius, help him. If he goes through with it, it could be the end for us all. I don't know what to do. I've never had to deal with this sort of thing. Please, you need to talk to him. Okay, okay, okay. Warte. So. Thank you. Ich gehe einfach mal weg. Das ist aber auch. Choose your auch words gut. carefully. Let me guess. You're going to lecture me on how suicide is a crime against the empire. I screwed up my life. That's what's wrong. I borrowed money and when I couldn't pay it back, I wound up in debt bondage. I'll be stuck slaving away for that Culus Cumulatis Maliolus for the rest of my life. Will you spring? Yeah. Wherever you are, Centilla, my love. I'm sorry. Opius, no! Er war Centillas Liebhaber. He went through with it. I, oh Lord, that poor lamb. Aber es hat auf jeden Fall nicht die goldene Regel gebrochen. Also gut, wir waren, haben es ja auch vorhin nicht erlebt. Well, I suppose it means suicide isn't a sin under the golden rule. So I guess that means whichever god is responsible for it, it isn't mine. That was not your fault. There's no way you could have given him what he wanted moments after you arrived. I'll have to let everyone know what happened. And I guess Maliolus will have to clean up the mess in his villa. It's of his own making, after all. And I'd best pray for poor Alpius. Spring. Warte. 
werde ich hier gerade angestiftet. Aber was flimmert da? Ist das ein... Warte, soll das ein Weg sein, wie man in die Villa kommt? Aber wir machen hier nicht einen auf, äh, auf Minecraft, oder? Das äh, knietiefes Wasser einen äh, vor Fallschaden beschützt. Ja, ich höre euch, aber ihr müsst ein bisschen weniger kryptisch sein. So, wir haben schon mal etwas gelernt, was wichtig ist. Wir können davon ausgehen, dass Sentinel nicht von ihrem Liebhaber ermordet wurde. Ist hier unten, sind hier, ist hier unten wieder Geld? Müsste sich ja eigentlich aufgeladen haben, oder? Weil die... Genau. Wegen der Zeitschleife. Infinite Money Glitch, würde ich mal sagen. So. Können wir... Okay, wir müssen die Golden Rule triggern, aber mit irgendwas, äh, was sinnvoll ist. Wenn wir Maleolus töten, nicht Maleolus, wenn wir den, äh, den Gladiator töten, kommen wir dann vielleicht von ihm irgendwas, können wir vielleicht von seiner Leiche irgendwas Sinnvolles looten. Hi Bushi, willkommen zum Stream. So you survived the system. Probably just a stroke of Fortuna. Don't get cocky. Ich weiß nicht, was passiert, wenn wir drauf gehen. Also sta startet das eine neue Loop? Sollen wir es tun? Ich wüsste nämlich gerade sonst nicht, was wir tun können. Oder wir, wir verdächtigen jemanden. Äh. So. Wir ver Oder wir verdächtigen Decius. Ah, you've returned. Do you have an... Of course. What is it? Well, if you've stopped one person from breaking it and you're still here, then there must be someone else about to break it. Still, allow me to explain. When I discovered the ritual to Proserpina, the instructions came with a warning about paradoxes. The crux of it is this. If you do anything to change the course of history in such a way that your very being here is impossible, you will have created a paradox. To illustrate, when the golden rule is broken, I will open the doorway that will bring you here to prevent it from being broken. If you manage to succeed in saving our lives, then I will have no reason to open the doorway, and you will never have come here. A paradox, you see? The same thing would happen if you, say, inadvertently, allowed me to die. If I can't summon you, then you can't be here, obviously. If either of those things were to happen, I am given to understand, you would be flung back to your original time, having changed the course of history for us, and yourself. So the fact that you are still here means someone is going to break the golden rule, and there is yet work to do. Understand? Vidrieren, ja. Äh, sieht da viel zu genau nicht mehr die Träger. Ähm, ja, es scheint, als hättest du Siedlermangel. 
Voraussetzt, du spielst mit Transport Plus und kommst damit nicht an die Limits, was ich nicht glaube. Es gibt ein paar Faustregeln. Was du grundsätzlich immer machen kannst, ist gucken, wenn du ein Haus baust und da die Siedler rauskommen, ob sie sofort eine, eine Arbeit annehmen. Wenn ja, dann hast du zu wenig Siedler. Wenn sie stehen bleiben und da sich da eine kleine Gruppe bildet, dann hast du unter Umständen zu viele. Excellent. So, it looks like you'll have to continue your investigation. Now, was there anything else? Of course. Yes. Uh. Why do you say that? Indeed, that is abhorrent. And even if doing so hasn't directly broken the golden rule, it's not difficult to imagine this behavior provoking someone to theft or violence. Thank you for bringing this to my attention. But before we proceed, I must ask, are you sure he's the one? Äh, wo steht, die Träger, die du einstellst, sind egal. Das sind nur die Siedler, die auch Träger bleiben. Alle Siedler, die du hast, deine normalen freien Siedler, sind immer Träger. Und 100 sind definitiv zu wenig im Late Game. Well then, in that case, as much as it pains me to do so, I must act decisively to ensure the survival of my people. As magistrate, I hereby declare him an enemy of Rome and authorize his execution by your hand. Forthwith. Warte, das bricht doch auch die goldene Regel. I don't believe so, no. It's not a crime to carry out the lawful order of a magistrate. So now you're an expert on Roman law, are you? Listen to me. We are cut off from the Empire down here, fending for ourselves on the brink of annihilation. If ever there was a time to dispense with legal procedure, it would be now. Think of it as an act of preemptive self-defense. Think of the lives you'll be saving. Good. Thank you. Please act quickly. Schon wieder kein Gericht zu erfahren. Ja gut, was willst du denn machen? Du kannst ja, das Ding ist, du kannst nicht mal ein, ein, ein Gericht, also du kannst ja nicht mal ein Urteil durchsetzen. Wenn du ihn hinrichtest, dann ist es ein Verschluss in die goldene Regel. Wenn du versuchst, ihn einzusperren und er widersetzt sich, dann bricht er die goldene Regel. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. So, das ist okay. So, let's loop again. Wir können dieses Mal vielleicht den Suizid direkt schon verhindern. Salve, friend. Oh, you sound serious. I'm listening. All right, let me see. Stop Fabia going in, but send the new arrival to the empty shrine. Understood. I'll go, but once I'm done. So, nächstes Ding, wir verhindern den Suizid, beziehungsweise wir machen das mit dem goldenen Bogen. You, Tantalus, cannot catch the drops of water and the tree. Beziehungsweise ich brauche ja gar nicht mal die Hilfe von Decius, oder? Wobei ich will wissen, ob das funktioniert mit dem, mit dem, äh, mit dem vergoldeten Bogen. Ja, wissen wir schon. Because the gods would see you, of course. Stimmt, die Götter sehen im Dunkeln ja nichts. So. Wonderful. Now, 
If you land over your base, is a quality weapon. And here we are, a gold leaf bow. Now I've gone and unlocked the Shrine of Diana for you, so as quick as you can, head on inside. It's just at the end of the street on the left. May the gods not watch over you. Mögen die Götter nicht über euch wachen. So, so. Das ist meine Entscheidung. Ähm. Da sind Bienen. The fuck? Ähm. Die Bienen machen mich jetzt schon sehr nervös. Das hat funktioniert. Is that you, partner? Wonderful. Just go ahead and sleep. Das war so klar. And yet you did. And now here we are. With me out here and you in there. Until you give me my bow. <laughs> no, technically, I never said that. I said if we were to split all those riches between the two of us, infinite wealth is still infinite. It's hardly my fault if you can't tell the difference between a hypothetical and a promise now, is it? Oh, I do love a good loophole. Not a very effective threat, is it? See, your first problem is, you're in there, and I'm out here. Your second problem is, the golden rule. What are you gonna do? Kill us all? It's an empty threat. The bow, now. And don't even think about giving me the fake one. I'll recognize my own handiwork. I would reconsider my position quickly if I were you. I'm not sure if you noticed, but you're stuck in there with a hornet's nest. And they can be rather aggressive toward intruders. You know, some say it takes 27 hornet stings to kill a man. But I always wondered how anyone could have known that. Let's find out how many it takes to kill a woman, shall we? Oh, no. Soll ich hier rauskommen? Ausgerechnet das, was ich am meisten hasse. Und ich denke mal, dass auf das S zu schießen bringt nichts. Das Nest, ja. Sag jetzt nicht, ich soll auf das Nest schießen, weil das wird nicht die Hornissen vergolden. Höchstens die, die drin sind. Use the bow. Aber das, das, das sollte nicht funktionieren. Warte, töten die sich jetzt gegenseitig? Ich kann den Pfeil nicht anzünden. Ich habe ja jetzt den goldenen Bogen. Ich muss da runterspringen, ne? aber dann werden die sich bestimmt auf mich stürzen. Oh, ich hasse die Biester. Ich meine, Hornisten sind sie an sich okay, aber diese Geräusche lösen bei mir trotzdem Unbehagen aus. Not gonna lie. Das fand ich auch bei Dishonor 2 sehr gewöhnungsbedürftig mit, äh, mit den äh, Blutfliegen. Ja. 
Ein Strom mit Schwamm. Unhygiene. <lacht> Und wird anstatt von Klopapier benutzt. Scheint gemeinschaftlich benutzt worden zu sein. Ich sollte ihn besser sofort zu pflegen. <lacht> Wie gut. Und das gibt auch noch ein Achievement. Warte, Treasure. Die Algen. Warte, kann ich die Algen vergolden? Warte, sind dafür die Dinger da? Hier die goldenen? Die zeigen alles an, was, äh, was worauf goldene Pfeile eingesetzt werden können, oder? Munition ist auch kein Problem, wie ich sehe. Ich kriege das Zeug ja richtig nachgeschmissen. Also das war, mit, war das mit Horrorelementen gemeint, dass da einfach ein Hornissennest ist? Sieh die Schriftrolle in der Nähe an. Ja, gib mir doch nicht sofort alle Tipps immer. My beloved Galatea, I write this so that one day, when we're finally together, you will understand what I've done and what my beloved Galatea, I write this so that one day, when we're finally together. You will understand what I've done and why I had to do it. The others will call me mad or a monster, but I don't care what they think. Everything I'm doing here, I'm doing for you. I'll start at the beginning. Soon after my arrival here, as I walked down a corridor lined with golden statues, I thought I heard a whisper behind me, a rasp of air. As if vocal cords of metal Warum kann ich die Sachen nicht mitnehmen? I tried to dismiss the idea, tried to concentrate on my work as the city's medic, but that tortured whisper haunted me. Weeks later, in the hallway to the bathhouse, I heard it again and found myself drawn to the statue of a Roman woman wearing a stola. Her face was contorted with anguish and fear. And disturbingly, it was as if she was a little bit of 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 a little But when I could not reproduce the results of my experiment, they would not believe me. But from that moment on, I knew the full horror of this place. Immobilized within these statues. Okay, so kommen wir also in den Palast. Wir können aber nicht schon mal dafür sorgen, dass wir hier später reinkommen. Gibt es irgendwas, was wir mitnehmen können? Weil, ja, von denen kriegen wir ja genug. Ja, das mit den Ranken, das war gut gefolgert. Seufzt erleichtert, was? Warte, sind das die Statuen, wo das Gold abgeblättert ist? Und dann sind sie untot? So, was machen wir gleich mit, mit Desius? Das ist, vielleicht sollten wir erstmal den Suizid verhindern. Ne? 
So, wer war die Frau? Mücken haben trotzdem kein Überlebensrecht. Nein, natürlich nicht. Meistens kümmert sich meine Katze um die... Okay. Ja, stimmt. Teilweise machen die sich, äh, machen sich so äh, Katzen und Hunde ja einen Spaß draus zu so fliegen und so zu fangen. So, wie komme ich jetzt hier raus? Ich kann nicht das Wasser vergolden, ne? Dort unten. Was? Da. Okay, also anscheinend wird man auch vergoldet, wenn man äh, mit etwas in Berührung kommt, was gerade vergoldet wird. Meine Mie. Meine Miets kümmert sich prächtig um mich. Deswegen eine Fliege reißt sie alle Glieden aus dem Flügel raus und zieht sie mir dann auf den Nachttisch. Na ja gut, das machen ja Katzen teilweise auch mit Mäusen und so, dass äh, die einem die praktisch bringen als Geschenk. Was auch irgendwie sweet ist. Weil so eine Katze muss ja äh, so einem Empfang ja auch einen, irgendwie einen Wert zuordnen können. Warte, muss ich das... Warte, wenn ich das jetzt vergolde, dann darf ich hier drauf stehen, oder wie? Wow. Aber es hält auch mein Gewicht aus. Also das muss ja richtig krasses Gold sein. Jetzt muss ich an das kurz gesagt Video denken, was passieren würde, wenn, äh, wenn man Midas Hand hätte. Und die verschiedenen Szenarien, die damit möglich wären. Warte, wer hat jetzt die... Wer hat die goldene Regel gebrochen? Warte, bin ich jetzt schon... Nee, ich bin noch nicht wieder in der Stadt. Also ich bin nur in einem anderen Teil. Wow, 10 von 10 Pathfinding, was die Gegner hier haben. Ach so, okay, wir sind jetzt auf der anderen Seite. Sieht die Schrift... Okay, warte, mit den Tipps wird das jetzt aber langsam echt ein bisschen... Uh Das wird also echt ein bisschen krass mit den Hinweisen hier. Den nehmen wir mit. My beloved Galatea. After I learned the terrible truth about the golden statues, I wandered the city as if in a nightmare. What must life be like oh. for these poor souls, entombed in gold, but kept alive somehow? Trapped 
in their own personal Tartarus, consigned to eternal torment, too horrific for any sane mind to comprehend. I tried to offer them what small mercies I could. I began to talk to them, to keep them company. I'd imagine backstories for them, give them names, and tell them of the world, of the histories and stories I'd learned as a child. As the others became more concerned by my charity, what? I sought what? solitude from them, preferring the company of my tormented charges. Discovering a way into the abandoned palace, I began to spend my days walking its halls and sharing with its occupants ancient tales, my mind turning to those of Apollo and Daphne, Perseus and Medusa, and Pygmalion and Galatea. Pygmalion, the sculptor who fell in love with a beautiful statue, and who, praying to Aphrodite for aid, discovered that his beloved Galatea had come to life. It was then that I heard you whisper to me, Galatea. Forgive me. I know that is not your real name, just one I have borrowed from a story. But when I turned to look at you, I saw the most exquisitely beautiful woman I have ever known. Your face, forever frozen in a look of haunting sadness. Our meeting gave me new purpose, to free you from your golden prison, so that I might one day hear you speak, not just whisper your true name to me. So I gathered tools for the long and difficult task ahead, barred the doors to this place, and set to work. Irgendwas, fangen wir, sieht das aus, ich weiß nicht, warum sie mir zu mir bildet sich Folge und sie dann hochhört, damit sie es fangen können. Ja, sieht man aber auch, wie, wie viel die Tiere dann doch verstehen. Ich darf hier in einer Tour durchklettern. Okay, ich kann die... Ich kann hier echt alles vergolden. Wir wollen jetzt schon schnell damit halten. Das sind, äh, das sind Pflanzenfresser, die werden nichts, äh, nichts jagen. Das sind Beutetiere. Wie kann ich, wie komme ich jetzt hier dran vorbei? Kann ich die wieder... Nein, ich kann die nicht wieder, äh, rückverwandeln. Ah, okay. Ich wollte schon sagen. Pfeile kriegt man aber echt nachgeschmissen. Cora hätte sogar Angst vor deinen Chinchillas. Ja gut, gerade so drinnen Katzen, das kann mir durchaus sein. Also die goldene Statue muss ich mit dem goldenen Bogen besiegen, das ist auch irgendwie so ein bisschen weird. Aber das Spiel hat jetzt leider seinen kompletten Ton gerade verändert und ich finde gerade dieses Segment ist auch viel zu lang. My beloved Galatea, my attempts at freeing these souls from their golden prisons have not been going to plan. 
My first charge was a Greek woman, who I called Iodami after the Athenian turned to stone by Medusa. Drilling through the gold that encased her, I was vindicated by the discovery that beneath half an inch of gold, which is so rigid it must be some kind of alloy, was living flesh. Unfortunately, this golden alloy seems to have fused with her skin, so removing it exposed the sinew and muscle beneath and appeared to cause her great pain. At first, I braced myself, expecting that inflicting such pain would break the golden rule, and yet, somehow, it did not. It seems whichever god is responsible for imprisoning these poor souls does not care about their suffering at all. They are forsaken. Undeterred, I pressed on, working late into the night, attempting to remove the golden layer that encased her as delicately as I could. Eventually, I was able to free most of her body, but when I released her from her restraints, her first act was to lunge for my throat, clawing at me with all her strength and those sharp metal talons. This was my thanks for trying to save her. Whatever possessed Iodami to attack, she was clearly not a suitable subject for my experiment, and I was forced to lock her inside an isolated room of the palace and bar the door. As I continued working on others, I could hear her flailing and launching herself at the other side endlessly. Regrettably, my other experiments bore similar results, and after relocating a few times, most of the palace is now too dangerous to work in. Still, as much as my heart aches to know that you're suffering, I cannot risk attempting to ungild you yet. Not until I have perfected a method that will bring you back to me, whole in both mind and body, and ensuring your humanity is preserved. I promise you this. One day we will be together, even if I have to free every last statue in this God's forsaken place. Der Bogen ist die einzige Waffe, ja so ziemlich. snake who broke into my palace and disturbed my experiments and worst of all look at what you made me do to her this never would have happened if you just stayed away you're going to pay for that and do you think I care about that I don't care what happens to me as long as you get what you deserve you think you can bring me down with your little wooden arrows before I jam this blade into your throat? What? How? That's impossible. You're trying to intimidate me. Liar. Really? I'm not sure I believe you, but... If you can undo this mess, huh? I'll give you the key to my old medical chest in the Shrine of Apollo. I imagine it would help Lucretia ease the suffering of Ooh. those still in the city. But if you're lying to me, I'll break the golden rule and kill you and everyone else in this city. Understood? away her pain. I don't know what to say. Thank you. Thank you. I swear I will never harm her again. I swear it. I'll stay here to keep her company. But these poor souls, what can be done for them? I've tried everything I can. I fear the only one capable of releasing them properly is whichever god doomed them in the first place. In any case, 
I must honor our bargain. Here's the key I promised you. It opens a chest in the Shrine of Apollo. I believe there are a few things in there. Jede erdenkliche Foltermethode habe ich angewandt. Ja. Now, please leave. The door here leads out onto the palace balcony. You should be able to make your way down from there. Go. Aber das wirkte alles gerade nicht sehr optional. Weil ich glaube, gibt es ein Achievement dafür, wenn man das ganze Spiel ohne den goldenen Bogen macht? Ich habe die Liste irgendwann mal durchgeguckt. Deshalb weiß ich auch, dass es eins gibt, wenn man äh, ohne einen Zeitsprung das Spiel schafft. So, das würde nicht... Das ist aber nicht das, was wir suchen, oder? Also spüren wir Decius auf. Warte, nee, wir machen erst, äh... Hier. Faust jetzt erlebt noch. Welcome to life and All right, well, it was lovely to meet you. I look forward to getting to know you better over the coming yes. months. I'm and in. if you ever I can't believe this is how it ends. Oh no. No. No 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 no. Wolf Pierce, what are you doing? Get back from there. If you That's the idea. What? What why do you think? Yeah, we have I'm schon durch. I'm sorry. Please help him. Ich bin dann mal weg, das ist aber die beste. You know about that? How is that possible? I mean, I've never mentioned it to anyone. Well, if you say so. You don't understand. I don't want to hurt anyone. I just want it all to be over. It's too late for that. Julia and I made a pact. And she's already swallowed Hemlock this morning. If I backed out now, I'd be betraying her. I can't do that. Ah, sie wurde nicht vergiftet. Sie hat sich selbst vergiftet. Und deshalb hat es nicht die goldene Regel gebrochen. No. Hm. No. Time's up. I am out. Wherever you are, Centilla, my love. I'm sorry. Opius, no! Das sind die goldene Regel. Das weiß niemand so genau. I... I can't believe he went through with it. I'll have to... And I... Das weiß niemand genau, aber es schließt auf jeden Fall äh, äh, Angriff. Also Körperverletzung, Mord... Diebstahl und äh, Hausfriedensbruch mit ein. Und wenn diese Regel gebrochen wird, dann geht hier halt alles den Bach runter. Name's Rufius. No idea. Yes, so. You imbecile. The many shall oh, das suffer zählt schon. for the sins of the one. Okay, die Drohung aussprechen reicht schon. Das ist aber tatsächlich. Äh, das bin ich nicht gewohnt. 
Weil ähm, das in der, in der Mod ursprünglich nicht so war. Da bin ich mir ziemlich sicher. Das ist ein Drei-Mann-Entwickler-Team, glaube ich, gewesen. Was soll die, äh, denn die deutsche Sprachausgabe finanzieren? So, ja, 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 wir haben das alles schon durch. So. Aber siehst du, dass mit die Sachen in dem Fach würden helfen. So, kann ich mit Desius jetzt irgendwas machen, weil ich ja den Bogen jetzt schon habe? What are you doing in here? She needs the resin of a... It's too late. No. Ja, das well. Ja, so, so, Moment, was hat das denn jetzt gebracht? Dass ich diesen, dass ich diesen Zettel habe. Ich, ich, ich verstehe es nicht. Wow, was? Well, if you did that. Don't you. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. So, wir abusen einfach mal die Loop Mechanik gnadenlos. Moment. Falsche Richtung. Das war ich nicht, das war schon so. Die Frage ist, kann ich das äh, jetzt immer, äh, immer dem Typen geben? Okay, ich muss anscheinend erstmal selber die Sachen übergeben. You, Tantalus, cannot catch the drops of water. Greetings and salutations. What are you doing in here? She needs the rest. What? Quick, give it here. Yulia, Yulia, you need to swallow this. Here, let me help you. Hopefully in a moment she should be able to breathe normally. That was extraordinary. How did you know she needed this exact thing? And at this exact moment? Are you some kind of oracle? Sozusagen. 
A what? I'm sorry, I must have misheard you. I think it's your accent, because it sounded like you said, time traveler. But whatever kind of traveler you are, that was like the gods hearing my prayers and intervening. You just saved a person's life, and you should be proud of yourself. She might even be able to thank you herself in a few moments. And maybe she can tell us who poisoned her, and who she meant when she was muttering about that snake's cruel black eyes. In the meantime, I'm happy to... That's a shame. So, ja, haben wir das, was wir brauchen? Okay, da ist der Schrein gerade eingestürzt. Das war das vorhin, stimmt, weil wir den, weil wir den Bro dahin schicken. Bringt eigentlich jetzt nichts den anderen Bogen mit. Nein, ich will nur den. Ich will nur die Pfeile haben. Just like Apollo and Diana. Oh, it's you. Sorry, I'm still a bit out of it. Uh, but thanks for trying to help me, I suppose. Was there something you wanted? Lucretia says I'm supposed to rest. As much as I'm grateful that you tried to help me. It's just not safe for me to talk about it. Please, no more questions. Ach, the so golden, golden rule. rule. <laughs> That's the least of my worries. The gods may be cruel, but Maliolus and Claudia are far crueler. Please, just leave me alone. I know that she has been vergiftet hat. vergiftet. How can I not talk about das nicht, kann ich Persistent as Nemesis, aren't you? I can tell you, but it's a long saga. All right. I'd been here about a week. When it dawned on me, I'd be trapped here for the rest of my life. I could hardly breathe, and I knew I had to get out somehow. So when my new friend Aurelia offered me a secret way out, I would have done anything. And then I learned her asking price. A thousand denarii. She was supposed to be my retten, aber dafür wir sie I told her it would take me years to save up that much. So she suggested I take out a loan from Maliolus. And I did. I'm not proud of it, but... Yes, I was surprised he agreed to it, to be honest. I was so happy to have the money, I didn't question it. I had to sign an agreement, saying I'd work off the debt over 30 years. But I figured I'd be out of here so soon, it wouldn't matter. I paid Aurelia, and she gave me her so-called way out. Do you want to know what it was? Hemlock. Drink this, she said. And you'll be out of here in no time. Of course, I demanded my money back, but she refused. She pointed to a sign on her tavern saying, Let the buyer beware. Then she just looked at me with those cruel black eyes and she... She laughed. She immediately told Maliolus I'd tried to escape without paying him back. Only... He didn't seem upset or surprised at all. In fact, he just thanked her. And that's when I realized the two of them had planned the whole thing from the beginning. Und das bricht nicht die goldene Regel, weil sie es technisch gesehen sich dafür entschieden hat. Of course. I went to Sentius and begged for help. But he said the law was clear. I'd signed over my labor for 30 years and there was nothing he could do. I thought about resisting too. But Maliola said if I didn't submit, I'd break the golden rule. And I couldn't be responsible for all those deaths. So 
He locked me in his villa, confiscated everything I owned as collateral, and made me wear immodest, humiliating outfits while I worked day in, day out. His wife Claudia was just as bad. She sent me to work on an endless stream of futile, demeaning tasks. I'd be on my hands and knees, scrubbing the floor clean for hours, only for her to pour slop on it and hiss, you missed a spot. Those two took everything from me. <sighs> but they forgot to confiscate one thing. My hemlock. I just wanted it to be over. But it seems I messed that up too. Should have drunk all of it. I brought it on myself. I trusted one of the most callous human beings I've ever met, and tried to swindle the other. I don't know how I could have been so stupid. Hydrien hat, glaube ich, ein Zeitlimit von 30 oder 45 Minuten. When I've recovered, I expect their thug Domitius will come for me. He'll escort me back to their villa. And I'll be right back where I started. Only this time, I won't be able to lull myself to sleep at night with the thought of a permanent solution. Honestly, it would have been better if the poison had been allowed to run its course. I doubt it. It seems this is the fate the gods have chosen for me. For trying to escape. At least until someone breaks the golden rule. Huh. Maybe it wouldn't be so bad. A lot. But it doesn't matter. I... I made a suicide pact with Ulpius last night. He's in exactly the same position as I am. Maliolus and Aurelius set the same trap for him a month after they did it to me. He and I are in this together. He's probably already thrown himself from the bluff into Maliolus' villa by now. If so, I'd never be able to live with myself, knowing I broke my promise to him. I doubt you could make it up to the bluff in time. I don't know who you are. Wenn nicht, müssen wir nochmal eine Loop machen, aber okay, dann würde ich vorher trotzdem erstmal in die Villa einbrechen. Und die Frage ist, können wir Aurelia konfrontieren mit diesem Wissen? Er steht noch da, glaube ich. Ja, wir wissen schon. Really? That changes things a little. But we're still in debt bondage to that monster. Unless you happen to have two... Really? Wait. So, I guess you'd want me to work for you then. You'd... do that for us. A couple of complete strangers. It seems today... We are both blessed. This did not turn out how I thought. Thank you, friend. I never thought people... No. Thank you. I just wish there was some way I could repay you. Ah. And there it is.
All right. Centilla and I were in love. And then, 22 days ago, she went missing. All right. One night a few months ago, when I was cleaning Maliolis's villa, I heard a young woman singing. It was the most beautiful thing I had ever heard. I wasn't allowed out. So once everyone else was asleep, I climbed up the inside of the villa and onto the roof just to see where that sound was coming from. And that's when I saw her. Standing in the garden of the magistrate's villa, I just sat there on the roof, listening to her with my chin on my knees. And for the first time in a long time, I felt hopeful. And then she looked up and saw me and she smiled. <laughs> I knew at that moment the fates had brought me to her. And from the moment she asked my name with this warmth and curiosity, I knew I'd have done anything for her. And so for weeks on end, each night I'd climb out of the villa and into her father's garden. We'd hold hands and talk about all the things we'd do once we got out of here. Like having our own vineyard. And then one morning I woke up and everyone was out searching for her. They said she'd vanished in the night. All I could do was keep my head down and try to hide how beside myself I was. Centilla was the one thing that made my life bearable. But with her gone, things unraveled quickly. You saw how bad it got. Mm. All I know is she loved me. And if she had known a way out, she would have told me. She'd never have taken her own life. And there's no way anybody could have killed her under the golden rule. I can't prove it, but I just know she's still alive somehow. Even now, it's as if I can hear her voice in my head, crying out to me. That can only mean one thing. Somebody abducted her. I have no idea how or who would want to do something like that to such a sweet, lovely girl. But what else could have happened? Ja, wenn ich mich an die Mod erinnere, ahne ich, wohin das führt. My guess? Maliolus had something to do with it. He is without doubt the most evil man I have ever known. I have no idea where he'd be keeping her. But there is one room in his villa, upstairs, which is always locked. I've never seen the inside of it. And I haven't been able to steal a key without breaking the golden rule. But I have a feeling Nein, that if you could get in there somehow, it would shed Namen. light on a great many things. Let me know what you discover. I'll go and take care of things with Maliolus and tell Yulia the good news. Thanks again, friend. I'll never forget what you did for us. Ja, Inventar, wie viel? Okay, ich habe jetzt, ich hatte gerade so genug Geld dafür. Klettert es gerne? Ja, oh, das oder am um, an der Außenwand. Isn't the great temple majestic? So, wenn wir jetzt nämlich die Ranken hier vergeuden. Enjoy the freedom you deserve. And uh, yes, uh, no 
Okay, er merkt nichts. Wir brauchen irgendwas. Womit wir ihn zwingen können. Dass er sich aus der, aus der Wahl zurückzieht. Aber wo ist denn hier eine Treppe? Hier. So, komme ich da irgendwie rein? Das ist die Frage. Wahrscheinlich nur von der anderen Seite, wenn es ein Fenster gibt, aber hier komme ich auch nicht durch. Just scale the wall to my villa somehow. I must remember to have words with that buffoon Domitius. Well, why have you risked life and Warte, limb to see? Warte, er ist der Dude. Oh. My name is Marcus Maliolus Gurgius. You seem to have confused me with someone else. You, you mean my heterochromia? I am guilty of nothing more than having different colored eyes. And I'm hardly the only person with the condition. Alexander the Great had it too, as it happens. I like to think it is simply the way the gods have chosen to mark a natural-born ruler. Nothing more. Well, I am not suffering from any... Unlikely, because it simply isn't true. Now, was there something else you wanted? Of course not. But as I always say, if Sentius can't protect his daughter, how can we trust him to protect the city? Look, if you're trying to find her, you may wish to check the cisterns beneath mm -hmm, the Die Zisterne, wo wir schon wissen, dass es nicht a body there. Das ist na, of course. Da hat er schon gut geplant. Take no responsibility for what happens to you down there. Are you insane? You barge into my villa uninvited and then make outrageous demands? Why would I withdraw from an election I'm bound to win? Don't talk nonsense. There's no such thing as the golden rule. How could you possibly know that? Nonsense. This is nonsense. I don't know how you know about my plans, but I'm absolutely sure Sentius is involved somehow. And now, I'm going to enjoy watching Domitius kill him even more. Now, get out of here! You outstayed your very limited welcome. Ja, wie komme ich denn jetzt hier raus? Die Tür ist verschlossen. Bra, wie komme ich hier raus? Und hier ist eine unsichtbare Wand. Ah, 
ich hier schon drin? Ja. So, komme ich in das Zimmer irgendwie rein? Klingt das was, wenn ich mit, mit äh, Sentius rede? Na gut, das ihm zu sagen bringt auch nichts. So, wie kommen wir in das verschlossene Zimmer rein? Wir brauchen den Schlüssel von ihm. Das heißt, wir müssen ihn töten und ihm den Schlüssel abnehmen. Citizen. So, übrigens, ich kann nicht die, die Loop gleich genauso durchführen, dass ich halt die, dass ich äh, sie auch aus der Schuld freikaufe und so. So, jetzt noch was mit da passiert ist. Zeuge Rufius, das bringt uns nichts. Wenn wir da vor die Zisterne klettern. Ähm, in die obere Zisterne können wir noch nicht. Ich habe doch schon mit ihr gesprochen. Ich jetzt, hä? So. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Ja, lass mich doch nicht hier festbacken. Okay, aber ich darf nicht von ihm klauen, wenn er vergoldet ist. Das ist äh, uncool. Salve, friend. Mind telling me who you are? Oh. Julia? Oh no. All right, let me. I'll go. So, das heißt, wir haben schon mal die zwei Sachen. Wir müssen uns aber auch heilen lassen. Oder wir heilen Eva heilen wir uns selber. So. Die Frage ist, können wir überhaupt schon da rein? Die obere Zisterne. Ich habe das Gefühl, wir haben gerade so ein bisschen zu Catch-22, weil ich habe das Gefühl, wir müssen in die Zisterne rein. Dazu müssen wir aber Sing kriegen, dass, äh, dass der Dude hier gewählt wird. Und dafür müssen wir ihn aus der Wahl rausgehen. Dafür brauchen wir irgendwas, womit wir ihn erpressen können. Hat vielleicht Aurelia, wenn wir sie mit dem mit dem Wissen konfrontieren, dass sie das Gift verkauft hat. Oh, you're here. Ja. I'm so glad you decided to visit. I'm Aurelia. And uh, 
I hope I'm not being too forward, but the moment I laid eyes on you, I was intrigued. There's a light in your eyes I've oh, never yeah, seen before. Good. A certain learning and sophistication. <sighs> How dare you! I'll do it all you, a favor, Sisyphus. Okay, das funktioniert nicht. Pursue the stone that always returns. Just as the ocean, but it does. The newly arrived. Cerberus lifts his dribble head and lets out his threefold braying. Livia, would you stop muttering like Medea over a cauldron? You'll scare away my customers. They follow their trades, imitating their previous lives. Ja, gut, das bringt uns alles nichts. This again. You're in a world of your own, aren't you? So, aber ich habe jetzt kein Geld mehr. Das heißt, ich kann nicht verhindern, dass äh dass der eine da, dass der von der Klippe springt. Ich benötige mehr Hinweise, die Maleorus mit dem Namen Quintius in Verbindung bringen. Ja, die Frage ist, wo bekämen wir die solche Hinweise? Warte, vielleicht kommen wir von der... Wir klettern nochmal in die eine Zisterne, wo wir vorhin waren. Das war nicht gewollt. So, wo sind wir? Kommen wir jetzt raus? Okay, wir sind genau hier. Genau, wir wissen jetzt auch, was passiert, wenn man stirbt. Das ist wichtig zu wissen, würde ich sagen. All weapons are to be tossed into the chasm. How come you're allowed a weapon and I'm not? Hey! You're not thinking about going into the cistern, are you? Whoa. Ja, warum muss er mich jetzt extra ansprechen? Aber das ohne eine ohne ne Loop, das stelle ich mir gerade schwierig vor. War das gemeint mit gegen den Strom schwimmen? Italienischer Beklempner. So, so. Weil wir eine Röhre raufgeklettert sind. Forever. Or until we turn to gold. He's a monster. 
You have to let me go so we can kill him and take his key. I don't know. He said the gods are on his side because they don't want us to escape either. Sentius, my adoptive father. Furies help me. I'll castrate and crucify him. Behind me, there's an aqueduct tunnel bringing water from outside the city, so it should lead us outside. The only problem is it's barred by a heavy locked gate, and he has the only key. I'm going to take that key from around his neck, even if it means cutting his throat to get it. I'm done caring about the golden rule. I just want out. Help me, and we can escape together. There won't be enough time. Just you and me. What do you say? Jetzt werden alle anderen sterben. Ich weiß auch nicht, ob das nicht sogar das Spiel schon beendet. What? No. You can't just leave me here. How can you be so heartless? It's no use. You'll never persuade him of anything. I'm telling you, he's a monster. Please. Aber ich glaube, sie hat auch es gerade falsch, weil sie ist immerhin hier in der falschen Villa und Sentius und Aurelius stehen ja nicht unter einer Decke, wie wir wissen. Außer Sentius glaubt das, das kann natürlich sein, aber sie kandidieren ja gegeneinander. You're making a mistake. So, wir brauchen aber irgendwas. Das hilft uns nicht und hier geht's auch nicht. Okay, das, die Klettermechanik ist sehr... verzeiht sehr viel. Den haben wir dann in der Villa Wein gehört. Das war sie. Wir sind ja hier unter der Villa. Also der Plotpunkt ist in der Mod auch drin, aber ich hatte eigentlich das so äh, bis jetzt verstanden, dass sie da was geändert haben. Aber sie denkt ja auch, dass es ihr Vater war. Jetzt müssen wir mal gucken, was äh, da dran ist, weil eigentlich war es ja bis jetzt so dargestellt, dass es der Typ da war. So you survived the system. All weapons are to be tossed into the cavern. Was ihr mit ihr sagen? Whatever are you? Oh, I wish. Oh. Oh, really? That commoner in debt bondage next door thought he could win over a magistrate's daughter. That's awfully bold of him. I can see why she worked so hard to keep it a secret. Quick, go and find him and ask him what he knows. Sagen wir doch schon. Oh, I see. Well, it was worth a try, I suppose. Just promise me you won't give up on her. Thank you. Die hat nichts zerbrochen, das ist ja das Ding. Aber anscheinend geht das irgendwie ohne... Das Ding ist, ich weiß, wie es in der Mod funktioniert hat, warum es da ging. Ich hoffe, du hast einen guten Grund, um meine Weapons zu bannen. We're finally alone. Ja, wir hatten diese Unterhaltung bereits. Sie Me? What are you talking about? <lacht> you know, you remind me of him. Al. Al Worth. The fellow who came through the portal before you. Come now. Surely you didn't think you were the only one here who remembered everything. 
Oh. You see, my connection to the portal somehow preserves my memories from one room to the next. Whether that was Proserpina's intention or a happy accident, I'll never know. But I'm surprised you hadn't noticed. Here I was, thinking you were a little bit sharper than Al was. Or perhaps you're just more willing to break the rules. He was a moralistic fellow, never once compromised on his principles. And because of that fatal flaw, he relived this day many thousands of times before we finally had this conversation. I watched him come through the portal each time, always a little older, a little more disheveled, a little more... Ach du Scheiße. And when he finally saw the futility of it all, as you're about to, it broke him. He drank a jug of wine, tied a noose around his neck, and took his own life, just before he was shot with a golden arrow. The next time I awoke, you showed up. But you, you've caught up to where he was so quickly. I mean, you've lived through the day, what, six times? Most impressive. And yet everything you've done has been in vain. Because there's no escape. Except the path that Al took, the path he wrote about on his tablet. What was it? Ah, yes. Best to take your own life now. So, you discovered my secret. So what? What are you going to do about it? Why? Isn't it obvious? Because I have grown attached to all this. My title, my beautiful villa, the sun on my face, the music of birds chirping. And as long as this day keeps repeating itself, I get to enjoy it all, over and over again, for eternity. Don't you see? I have found a way to prolong my life indefinitely, to cheat death. I have become, in effect, as immortal as the gods. Can you honestly say you would not wish the same for yourself? Das ist ein krasser neuer Twist. Also die Rolle hat sich grundlegend nicht verändert, aber sagen wir es so, sein Gegenstück konnte sich nicht an die Zeitlinien erinnern. And why would I agree to that? The only way you're getting this key is over my dead body. And if I die, I won't be able to open the portal for you again, meaning you'll have created a paradox. You see, it was my actions that brought you to this point in time. So if you kill me, you'll stop me from doing so. And you being here will be an impossibility. That means if I die, you'll be flung back to your original time, having caused the deaths of everyone here, and you'll never be able to undo it. Is that what you want? I certainly hope not. In fact, I want it to go on and on forever until you wither and die like Al did and the gods send yet another useful idiot to extend my life for me. What are you going to do? Beg the gods for help? <laughs> They don't care about you and neither do I. Now, get out of my villa. I'm bored with you. Okay, das ist also schon mal kein Ding. Oh, don't mind me. I just live... Oh, look, you're back. How... Oh. What? Is this some kind of crude commoner joke? No, surely not. Father, is this true? I'm afraid it is. I, I don't understand. Why? Why would you do such a thing? Because you found a way out. And if you're wondering why I'm telling you this, it's because you're never going to remember any of it. All I have to do is commit a sin, and the day will begin again. Watch this. I'm going to kill you now. The many shall suffer. Er hat er, er ist vier Paralleluniversen voraus. 
Er weiß genau, was er tut. Er kennt die Regeln des Spiels. Aber wir müssen mit der Priesterin reden. Ja, das könnte... Das könnte sinnvoll sein. Aber ich finde es krass, dass er das anscheinend schon seit Jahrzehnten durchzieht oder was weiß ich wie lange. Und es hat ihn noch nicht in den Wahnsinn getrieben, jeden Tag einfach ja, den Murmeltiertag zu haben. Salve, Freund. So. Sind da. Okay, kriegen wir. Kriegen wir das irgendwie hin? Wir haben im Moment nicht die Möglichkeit, nicht die Möglichkeit Rufius zu überzeugen. Das heißt, wir müssen mit der Priesterin reden. You, Sisyphus, attack or pursue the stone. Sie hat auch, sie weiß auch, was Sache ist. Just as the ocean accepts the rivers of all the world, so this place accepts all the souls. But it does not notice the crowds that come. The bloodless shadows wander without flesh or bone. Some crowd the forum, some the house of the ruler of the depths. Others follow their trades, imitating their previous lives. Help me? You cannot help me. I have seen things. A pattern, a terrible pattern. It is better for you if you remain ignorant. Pandora's box must stay closed. I'll say no more. Warte, hat sie auch schon die Zeitlinien durch? The newly arrived. Also sie muss die Zeitlinien durch haben. Frage ist, hat, weiß sie irgendwie was? Sentius tut oder hat sie das schon versucht, bevor er kam? Aber das ergibt echt keinen Sinn, weil sie könnte nicht aus einer vorherigen Generation von Bewohnern hier stammen. Das müsste sie ja dann irgendwie überlebt haben. A new face. Ave, and may Vesta watch over you. I'm Equitia. To what do I owe the pleasure of this visit? Well, I suppose we'd first need to figure out which god that is. And I'm afraid even I don't know. Although I have my suspicions. This might sound like a strange question, but please, humor me. How did you find your way here? Karen, you say? And nothing about that name seemed... odd to you. So, how do I come at that negative connotation? No. Was willst du sagen? I apologize. I don't mean to be cryptic. It's just that you've got me thinking. Have you spoken with any of the others about how they arrived here too? I really think you should. Go around and ask them what they remember and see if you notice any patterns. I know, I know. I just don't want to see what happened to Livia happen to you too. Was ist mit ihr passiert? Up until a few weeks ago, she was a perfectly productive member of our little community, darning clothes and cutting hair. She was always so chatty, always seeking out newcomers and asking them where they were from and how they wound up here. And then, about a month ago, she suddenly changed. She withdrew 
stopped working and became despondent, started muttering to herself. Galerius and I visited her to see how we could help, but she just looked at us with this haunted stare, called us bloodless shadows, and told us we were ignorant of some pattern. Look, it could be unrelated. Perhaps she simply fell ill. Or, as Galerius suggested, the weight of the Golden Rule was too much for her. But there is a small chance that she learned something, saw a pattern nobody else saw, and that it broke her. I just don't want to see that happen to you. So be careful, will you? Thank you. Now, go and follow the thread of truth through this labyrinth and come back to me if you discover any patterns. Okay, wir uns come drum. back to me once you've acquainted yourself with the rest of our neighbors. Was ist ihre Story? Ave again. Oh my. I take it people are quite direct where you're from. I suppose it's quite charming in its own way. Usually, however, you wouldn't simply march up to a Vestal priestess and without due formality or courtesy ask, what is your story? The proper approach would be to arrange an introduction through a mutual acquaintance in high office, by which time you would already know how to address me. And then you would find a way to satisfy your curiosity rather more indirectly. But to be honest, I've often thought what an unnecessarily formal way to communicate that is. So, let's do it your way. You just keep being yourself and ask whatever you like. It'll be a refreshing change. You know, I'm not entirely sure. But what about you? How did you end up here? Karen, you say? Yeah, that's hatten wir doch schon. You do? Have you spoken with a... Okay, also mit ihr fangen wir nicht an. Drei Gemeinsamkeiten müssen wir finden. Mariolus isn't receiving. Her name's the... Why? Whatever. What is it? I'm a legionary of the first Italica, but there's not a lot of fighting down here. So the magistrate has assigned me other duties. I act as the magistrate's right-hand man, keeping an eye on his daughters. Uh, daughter, I should say. And the others, and making sure they're all behaving. I also keep a register of new arrivals. I'm from Liguria, up north originally. I was doing all right for myself, 12 years into my service. Had a nice girl lined up for when it was all over. Not anymore. She's probably figured I'm long gone and moved on by now. I try not to think about it. My commander sent me to deliver a message to Rome. While I was there, I thought I'd do something nice for my girl and pick up a little pendant from a silversmith. That's when the crowd started flooding through the streets, shouting fire. People were screaming trampling each other. Then some genetric and future chill tried to take advantage of the chaos and pinch my pendant. I remember chasing him through the crowds, down towards the river. And then, nothing. Blacked out and woke up near here. No idea how I ended up floating so far down river. But, I'm fortunate to be alive, I suppose. Der Fluss kommt immer wieder vor. Sie haben nicht so eine genaue Ahnung und sie waren in Situationen, in denen sie hätten sterben können oder sterben müssen. Ah, don't be. As Seneca the Younger said, difficulty strength in the mind, as labor does the body. That said, Centilla's disappearance has been more difficult than I'd care to admit. I don't see why not. Just make sure I get it back by tomorrow. Aurelia, Claudia, mit der haben wir noch gar nicht geredet.
Hier ist jemand verschwunden. Nicht vertrauenswürdig, hat sich Ballast eingeschlossen. Not sure why you said it like that, but whatever. Alright? So. Wen haben wir denn noch alles nicht gefragt? Hmm, a golden bowl. Just like Apollo and Diana's. Feeling? I'm Lucretia. And I'm going to be straight with you. I'm not a physician. This is Nevia's clinic. I've just been filling in ever since she disappeared. I'm tired and out of my depth and miserable all the time. But I'd rather take this on myself than let one of you lot mess it up. My husband and I moved to Rome from Caesarea. He embraced the Roman way more than I would have liked and turned into an awful philanderer. I would have divorced him and demanded the return of my dowry, but I knew he would sooner have me killed than give me my right. So I waited for the right time to take what was mine and disappear. And then the fires came. As he prepared to evacuate our villa, I gathered our most precious belongings, coins and gemstones, and the moment his back was turned, I ran. I could barely see for the smoke. Da kommt noch eine Gemeinsamkeit I ran for the river like everyone else and leapt in. The next thing I remember, I was waking up on a river bank, not far from here. It's all right. Say what you will about this place, at least my fornicating husband will never find me. And while there's no shortage of snakes here, at least with the golden rule They have to try to be discreet about it. Well, she used to run the clinic. She was a midwife, not a physician. But she was the closest thing we had down here. And she was good, too. Until she suddenly lost all interest in us. One day she told me she'd made some profound discovery about the golden statues. This changes everything, she kept saying. But I had no idea what she was talking about. The last time I saw her, The last time any of us saw her, she was muttering to the statues, like she could talk to them. And then she shut herself in the palace, barred the door from the inside, and nobody's seen her since. She's been gone so long now, we figure she's either dead or up to something so strange that she doesn't want anyone else to know about it. But I really wish I could reach her, because that's the only hope I have of solving a troubling problem. A real thorn in the poor situation. One of my patients is suffering from terrible rheumatism. His ah, joints are in pain machen. and he's in constant pain. I really shouldn't say. He wouldn't like it. And he's a little bit scary. He's become so irritable that the smallest things set him off. And I worry he'll end up losing his temper and lashing out. And you know what that means. I just know Navia would know how to treat him. Assuming she's still alive. But nobody seems to know how to get into the palace. You did? That's unexpected. But tell me, what is it? Willow back. I should have known. It was under my nose the whole time. That's very helpful. Thank you. If this works, it should settle Rufius down some. I have some right here. Could you do me a favor and give him some of this? He'll just need to swallow a pinch of it. I'm hoping it will avert disaster. Ah, oh, das sollte auch das dann lösen, ne? Wir haben da hier so eine schöne Kette am Laufen. Thank you. That's a und ich glaube, ich habe das Muster raus. Feuer, Fluss und Tod. Name's Rufius. No idea what you're talking about. Yes, so. Yeah. Ah, uh, you. What business is that of yours? 
willow bark. And this will work? Oh, thank God. Finally, some relief. This is what I've been praying for. Maybe God hasn't abandoned me after all. Thank you. I've been in a lot of pain lately. The rheumatism, these cursed statues always watching in the crisis of faith. It was too much. Started messing with my head. <sighs> this is exactly what I needed to set it straight again. I owe you one. No idea what you're talking. Well, ja, natürlich habe ich ja nur gerade auf angesprochen. <sighs> Look, I, I haven't been at my best lately. I know that. It's the rheumatism. It starts with constant pain in all your joints. Then the pain starts to mess with your head. Makes you angry. Mean. I know that's not an excuse for how I acted. But it's the truth. But with the willow bark, I'm already starting to feel like myself again. And I know I said I owe you one. So I'll leave him alone from now on. It's not as if I was ever going to hurt him anyway. I was just lashing out. I'm going to go and clean up the graffiti. Just forget this ever happened. Will you? Kannst du dir was Neues schreiben, sowas wie Romanus et Domum? So, dann können wir nämlich ihm auch Bescheid sagen. Ah, a new face. Salve. And welcome to a little community. My name's impossible to pronounce for most people. I... Uh, what demon or spirit told you about that? You went snooping in his place? That was risky. We're lucky you have you... Really? How did you manage that? Ah, uh, poor fellow. I've heard that can really mess Lübens with a person's Helmer. head. Wow. Okay, ihr seht das well gar nicht. Aber das Ding hat gerade wieder ein Achievement gegeben. Really? That's promising. I'll keep an eye out for him. Nice to talk to you. So, können wir schon mit, äh, mit ihr reden? Büchse der Pandora. Was war das hier? Vielleicht könnte die Priesterin ihr helfen. Ja, aber die Priesterin... Drei Gemeinsamkeiten. Ich vermute mal, dass das Spiel uns nicht sagt, wenn wir sie gefunden haben, weil das wäre ein bisschen einfach. So, wo bist du? Hallo? Ne, warte, ich will mit... Äh Hä? Wo finde ich jetzt äh, die Dings und so? Vielleicht könnte die Priesterin ihr helfen. Ja, wo ist die Priesterin? Hier bist du. Arve again. And did you notice anything? A pattern? Oh, well then. Was soll das heißen eigentlich nicht? Also ich glaube eigentlich schon zu wissen, was Sache ist. Habe ich ihn gefragt? Wir haben ja schon mit ein paar Leuten am Anfang gesprochen, deswegen... Wie seid ihr hier gelandet? A very good question indeed, and I would be happy to tell you if only I could remember it clearly myself. Hmm, I remember I had just been to Rome to sell an extraordinary selection of wares, 
and droning in coin, I decided to celebrate my success. I rented a prestigious villa by the Tiber, invited over a few select friends, and we began making our way through some of the most exquisite wine money could buy. Quite a lot of it, in fact. Now, I have had visions and awoken in strange places before. I have even found myself naked in the desert sands more than once, but none of that compares to this. This time, I remember people screaming, then falling into a void as empty as time before creation, gasping for air, and then nothing. When I regained my faculties, I was lying naked by the banks of the Tiber, gods know how many miles from my villa. Indeed. I'm lucky I was carrying a little extra weight. <laughs> I believe it kept me afloat. In any case, it seems I'd been rescued and resuscitated by a benevolent stranger. I went to find firewood for his campfire, stumbled across a cave and discovered that trapdoor temple. And here I am. Nee, wir haben also einige oder einen Fluss Anything erwähnt. I hope that Eine andere Person kommt da vor, diese Karen anscheinend. Rom ist kein durchgehender roter Faden. Hey Virgil, how much would you want to make me a bow? For the last time, Daisy. Oh, Doko, willkommen zum Stream, aber du musst schon wieder ins Bett. Okay, danke fürs dabei sein. You know why? But how am I going to defend myself against someone else with a weapon? There are no other weapons in the city. We all went along with the magistrate's weapons ban, so it wouldn't be an issue. That's why I've got to get in first before someone else beats me to it. Ugh. Hello there, friend. May I say, that is a glory... Well, I'll take your word for it. But perhaps you'd be interested in selling it. Ooh. Now you're talking, I'm interested. How about a hundred denarii? Oh, that's a little excessive, don't you think? It's not the bow of Ulysses we're talking about. All right, all right. But I'm going to need you to tell me before I pay up. Wait, wait, wait. Let's not be too hasty, friend. I just want a little assurance that I can trust you. Oh, it's going to be in scam. Hmm, I suppose you're right. All right, you drive a hard bargain. Meine Verbrechen einzuhalten. Uhu. The location of that bow. Uh, what? But I already knew that, you imbecile. Everyone knows that. I can't take that golden bow because stealing from the goddess in her own shrine would break the golden rule. You promised to tell me where I could get one of my own. What is this? Some kind of joke? I, I don't believe this is happening. Don't even talk to me. <lacht> Jetzt haben wir nämlich, äh, nämlich Geld erstmal. So, er weiß ja nichts mehr. Aurelia wäre vielleicht ganz wichtig zu wissen, was da passiert ist. Sie hatte schnell, dass wir wieder bis dahin reden können. Ja, wir haben aber erst eine Sache. Wir müssen drei Gemeinsamkeiten identifizieren. Wir haben erst äh, das mit dem Fluss. Das heißt mindestens. Also viele waren in Rom. Viele waren in irgendeiner Situation, in der sie hätten sterben können. Das hatte immer was mit dem Fluss zu tun irgendwie. Oder oft mit dem Fluss was zu tun. Es kam eine andere Person drin vor. Feuer spielte oft eine, Reu eine Rolle. Wow. Isn't that... Oh, you're here. And... Und ihr seid so charmant, wie schön. Ach, coming on a bit strong, don't you think? I take back what I said. Suddenly, I don't find you so intriguing anymore. Let's just forget Ernst? that ever happened, so we can at least do business. So, what brings you to my tavern? Ugh, let it go. Nothing's going to happen between us. Certainly. For ten denarii. Have you met Livia? She used to do my hair until one day she just snapped. This place has that effect on people. 
Now she just stands around, caked in filth, muttering nonsense to herself. It's a real shame. Now I have to do my own hair. I hear that if Maliolus is elected, he's going to throw a small festival to celebrate, with entertainment and everything. Can't wait to find out what it is. There used to be a midwife here, Navia, but this place drove oh, her, fortunately for us. Centilla? How I heard Dacius has been... Have you seen the way, but then... I hear Galerius has a thing for Equitia, but of course she's a festal priestess. If she sleeps with him, the magistrate will have to bury her alive. Why do silly boys always want what they can't have? Stimmt, Vestalinnen durften nicht heiraten. I hear there are blasphemous cultists walking among us. You know, some e Whatever. Okay, weil das ist nichts wirklich äh, Sinnvolles. I just try not to think about it. Drink helps with that. As the saying goes, to drink is human. Aber sie erzählt uns wahrscheinlich so nur drink. ihre Geschichte, wenn wir es schaffen, dass sie, äh, dass, äh, dass sie Interesse an uns hat. All right. See ya. Cerberus lifts his triple head and lets out his threefold braying. Olivia. Would you stop muttering like Medea over a cauldron? You'll scare away my customers. They follow their trades, imitating their previous lives, but they are ignorant. Du bist zu ihrer Pensionierung, aber dafür kannst du ihre eigene Testamente verpassen. Moment, wie lange haben denn Vistalinnen dann ihren Dienst geleistet? Ähm, warte, warum darf ich nicht rein? Diese Statue darf ich nicht bewegen? Aber die Tür bewegt sich. Das ist äh, eigentlich sehr... Das ist, das ist voll der Scam. So, mit wem haben wir denn noch nicht geredet? Mit der Tochter? Haben wir die nach ihrer Story okay. gefragt? Okay, ja, sie haben wir gefragt. Ihn haben wir gefragt. Was bringt das schon was, wenn wir ihr schon erzählen, was wir, was wir rausgefunden haben mit... Äh Fear is proof of a degenerate mind. Again. And did you? Yes, I understand. Many of our friends were carried here by a river current. What else? Mindestens seit 30 Jahre. Ja gut, wenn du damit mit, mit, mit äh, 6 und 10, äh, 10 Jahren angefangen hast, könntest bist du dann 40. Hmm. There are definitely some common threads there. But I think we'll need at least a few to ensure we're not just seeing coincidences. Keep asking people how they wound up. Livia's fate weighs heavily on my mind and dictates we should Sollen wir die yes, Fragen, die gerade ähm, in, der, in der Zisterne festhängt? Gemeinte, die redet da mit uns drüber? Ich glaube irgendwie Come nicht. Back to me. Was passiert, wenn wir, wenn wir mit, äh, mit... Hier, die Frau, die haben wir von ihm, haben wir vorhin noch nicht gesehen. Die haben wir noch gar nicht gesehen. Freut sich bestimmt über das Gesellschaft. Ja, genau. Hiervon hilft uns. Okay, warte, ich kann den Schlüssel nehmen. 
Das zählt nicht als Diebstahl. Warte, sie war das, die geheult hat. Okay, jetzt ergibt das einen Sinn. Talk. What business could you possibly have with me? My marital affairs are no concern of yours. Thank you very much. Hmm. An intriguing proposition. Go on. Hmm. Perhaps you're not as silly as those clothes make you look. What makes you say that? You know... I may have the very thing you're looking for. Some time ago, when he still cared for me, he wrote me a love letter. Only, he used the wrong name. Now, addressing one's wife by the wrong name is not unheard of among philandering Romans. But in this case, the name he got wrong was his own. I confronted him about it, and he stammered through some incoherent response. I let it go, eventually, and yet... Questions have lingered in the back of my mind ever since. But... Wait a minute. Why exactly are you helping me? I couldn't agree more. One hand washes the Hab other, ich diese auch als Mann? as they say. It seems our interests are aligned. I imagine knowing his true identity will give me the leverage I need to manage him appropriately. But first, I need you to do something for me. I want you to bring me some wine. Just one small urn should do it. Oh, don't look at me like that. I know this must be hard for you to wrap your sweet little pleb head around. So what do you need me to spell out? Warum könnt ihr es nicht? You mean, aside from the fact that I'm locked in this room and Domitius is right outside the villa. Und es gibt kein Wein in der ganzen Haus. In, the city. in fact, there's only one small urn, as far as I'm aware. And getting it won't be easy. Let me tell you something about Maliolus. He talks a lot about freedom, but what he doesn't tell you is that he means freedom for men. After all I've done for him, counseling him through his entire election campaign, and he had the audacity to lock me in here. He said it was for my own good, and that my drinking was unbecoming of a lady, let alone the wife of a magistrate. I'll show him unbecoming. Tonight, at his victory party, I'm going to get good and merry. And if he tries to discipline me again, I'll threaten to expose his true identity in front of everyone. I am so looking forward to it. So you'll help me? Excellent. Now, you'll need to pay a visit to that strumpet Aurelia in her tavern. I expect you'll have to flatter her a bit. If that doesn't work, you might be able to get some advice from Yulia, who's probably still at the shrine of Apollo. I heard they used to be close. They both appreciate the poetry of Sappho of Lesbos, if you get my meaning. Thank you. So, ich bin mal gespannt, ob Aurelia uns, äh, ob die da kooperiert. Ja, weil du deinen Job nicht machst. Deshalb bin ich da reingekommen. Salve, Dooley. How are you doing today? So, wir müssen es irgendwie hinkriegen, dass. Äh Wir müssen das mit der Wahl irgendwie hinkriegen, glaube ich. 
Aber das Wichtigste ist, dass... Wir, wir haben ja allen geholfen inzwischen. Das Wichtigste ist, dass wir es hinkriegen, dass, ist, dass der Typ äh, wow. zurücktritt. Isn't that a big Back again. I do, but I'm afraid it's not for sale. It's the last jug in the entire city, so I'm saving it for a... a romantic occasion. Everything except this. Really? That's your move? Honey, I'll admit I was intrigued by you at first, but then you had to go and open your mouth. Unfortunately for you, nobody gets a second chance at a first impression. Ja doch, wir werden sehen. What's that supposed to be? The riddle of the Sphinx? I... Well, even if you could get into my locked cabinet, Good idea. Of course, there's plenty of wine on the outside. I'm happy to tell you all about it, but this is valuable information we're talking about, and I don't just give it out like some cheap oracle. So, how badly do you want it? Is it worth, say, a thousand denarii to you? Ist ja eh nicht mein Geld. Aber es ist, ist eh Betrug. Ha, it's hardly my fault if people misunderstand the terms of a deal. I mean, it does say, let the ja, okay, buyer beware, die, die right bei mir outside my tavern. War jetzt gerade noch beim Wein gedanklich. All right, see ya. So, das heißt, wir müssen noch mal gerade, ne? You, Tantalus, cannot catch the drops of water. Ähm... Irgendwas, was sich lohnt zu klauen. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Okay, die interessieren sich nicht dafür anscheinend. Sie ignorieren ihn anscheinend auch. Also Sentius kommt hier immer ziemlich zuverlässig durch. friend you ba -bam, ba -bam, das right. hier. But how did you oh, go so wir scammen gleich noch mal äh, noch mal den typen dass sie auch immer gut genug geld haben oh you're here and uh, I there's a light Why? Just because I'm a woman? Honey, it's your loss. I take back what I said. Let's just forget that ever happened. Ernsthaft? All right. Okay, wir scammen nochmal. You. Und dann triggern wir einfach nochmal. Es kann doch nicht sein. Also, also, ich, ich meine, wahrscheinlich stelle ich mich einfach gerade einfach sehr blöd an, aber. Ja. Ich bin. Äh. Das hat seine Gründe, warum... Ach so, ich, ich habe gar nicht die richtige Option wahrscheinlich, ne? Weil du sagst, ja, sprich erst mit Julia, ja. Wo war die denn? Die war hier. Warte, wir scammen nochmal. Ja, er ist noch beschäftigt. Jetzt müssen wir natürlich darauf warten, dass... Hey Virgil, how much would you want to make me a bow? Lucretia, for the last no time to explain. I'm supposed to give you the Sylphium resin for Yulia. What? Quick, give it here. 
I'm just going to help her swallow this. There are no other weapons in the city. We all went along with the magistrate's weapons back. She did not have to so okay. be an issue. That's why I've got to get in first before someone else beats me to it. Uh. Oh. All right. Wait. It's now. Uh, can't you? Wait. What? Don't even. So. Infinite money glitch. Welcome. I hear your rheumatism has you so riled up you've been harassing Virgil. What? My condition is nobody's business but mine. There's no need for that. I just wanted to give you this willow bark to help you treat it. So, sie hat uns nichts mehr zu sagen, was irgendwie wichtig wäre, ne? Nein. So, aber sie soll jetzt bitte mal aufstehen. Sorry. I'm was there something? You mean my life story? Oh. Ich hatte sie noch nicht gefragt. Well, I grew up as part und of the family gefragt. in Rome. Me and three older sisters. Our father found good husbands for my sisters, but I wasn't uh, cut out for that kind of life. So he found me a job as a scribe for a prominent merchant. It was a good life for a while, until seven months ago when the fires came. My colleagues and I worked ja, der Brand von Rom ist to try wichtig. to protect das our warehouse. We must have had a hundred workers passing buckets of water, chanting prayers to Vulcan, but they fell on deaf ears. The fire was relentless and it claimed everything and everyone. Well, almost everyone. Um, what is this? Julia! I'm so glad you didn't go through with it. It wasn't for lack of trying. And now Maliolus is going to... Wait. Why do you look so happy? We're free. Maliolus just released us and we never have to set foot in that villa again. What? How? Galerius arranged it somehow. Really? That's... Incredible. Oh... What a relief. I don't know what to say. You don't need to say anything. Just rest up, get your strength back, and we'll celebrate properly when you're ready. I will. Thank you, Olpius. I will. Oh. It's you again. What? Really? You're going to give that snake a taste of her own medicine. I'm in. What do you need? Ah, so you need to sweep her off her feet, then. Is that it? I think I can help you with that. As much as it disgusts me to say this, we were sort of involved before she betrayed me. So I know her better than anyone. The thing you need to know about her is this. She's obsessed with money. An ostentatious display of wealth probably wouldn't hurt. One more thing, and I feel dirty saying this. She keeps a journal upstairs in her room, beside her bed. Ooh. If you could somehow take a look, that might tell you how she thinks. May Nemesis guide you. All right. So. Wo ist jetzt, wo ist jetzt Ulpius hingelaufen? Ihn wollte ich doch auch noch befragen, verdammt. I hope you're coping. Citizen. Wo ist, er, wo ist er denn jetzt? Also, er ist ja nicht mehr hier oben. Na gut, 
Ulpius hilft uns aber nicht. Wir können das nämlich nicht mehr tracken. Wo ist Ulpius hin? Octavia, wo, wo war die? Ich habe ein bisschen den Überblick verloren. Haben wir überhaupt schon mit der gesprochen? Ja, es kann sein, dass die Story nicht richtig durch war. Können wir nochmal gerade gucken. Wir haben die andere da oben auch, auch nicht gefragt, glaube ich. Okay, jetzt haben wir das mit der Münze. Man, wo hat sie eine Münze erwähnt? Und Gedächtnis... Okay, das heißt, wir haben schon mal drei Sachen. Okay, ach ja, okay, okay, wer ist das? Ich habe mich schon wieder vergessen, wer das war. Nee, ich werde hier mit, mit 20 Namen bombardiert. Manche davon klingen auch noch sehr ähnlich. Oh, du siehst jetzt nicht mehr hier. Egal, wir haben jetzt sowieso... Oh doch, sie ist hier. Hello. Salve, friend. Welcome to... Are we... Are you... I... Here in this place, the magistrate has me earning my keep by cleaning and pruning the gardens. It's not quite how I expected my life to go. I used to live in a lovely villa on the banks of the Tiber. I was even betrothed to a handsome young man from a prominent family. But long hours of menial labor for the good of the community has its own charms too, I suppose. Camouflage Clyde, yeah. Oh, much the same way as many of the others. When the fires came to Rome, seven months ago, my family and I fled for the Tiber, hoping to escape on a barge. We were among the fortunate ones with enough coins for passage, but unfortunately, there were a lot of desperate people, and they boarded before we could depart. A scuffle broke out, and I was pushed overboard. The last thing I remember was the water, rising up to hit my cheekbone. I woke up by the river, near that shrine, and stumbled across this place. Oh, that's all right. I'm sure it's all part of God's plan for me. Ja, sie droppt einfach mal eben, dass, äh, äh, ne? dass sie eine Kultistin ist. If you like. Ah. So. Dann... Dann Aurelia. Aber ich bin mir gerade echt nicht sicher, was für, ein, äh, was für eine Route man gehen muss, wenn man das hier ohne eine, eine Zeitschleife machen will. Ich meine, gut, ich stelle mich gerade auch ziemlich schlecht an. Deswegen habe ich, glaube ich, auch schon, jetzt schon fast 10 Sprünge. So, aber dass ich... Livia, would you stop muttering like Medea over a cauldron? You'll scare away my Ich hätte doch einfach die den Schlüssel stehlen können vorhin. Ja gut, das ist wahrscheinlich nicht dann, wenn du das machen willst ohne. Also wenn dir egal ist, wie viele Loops du brauchst. Aber das Tagebuch habe ich jetzt alle nicht gefunden. Back again. All right. Ich, ich nehme den Schluss. Ich muss eh die, äh, eine Zeitschleife triggern, also von you daher. Stay away from my money. The many shall suffer. Suffer. Wobei sie muss es mir freiwillig geben, weil sonst äh, zählt es nicht. Wenn sie es mir nicht freiwillig gibt, dann, äh, dann breche ich immer noch die goldene Regel. Das ist das Problem. Das Tagebuch neben dem Bett. Ja, ich habe vorhin... Meine Konzentration lässt ein bisschen nach, aber ich will das jetzt auch durchziehen.
Also für den zweiten Stream lohnt sich das halt nicht, deswegen muss ich jetzt auch durchziehen. So. So, neben ihrem Bett hieß es. Aber... Aurelias Tagebuch. Wir können es lesen, ohne es zu stehlen. Ah, wir könnten das Geld stehen, wenn wir wollten. Wow. Isn't that a I'll do it all a favor and drink unless you want me to slip some hemlock into your next. Drink. Okay, sie hat das gesehen. Gut, dann 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 klau ich das Zeug jetzt. Ich muss ja irgendwie auch die die Nachricht zurückkriegen, ne? For the sins of the one. Können wir aber Ulpius abfangen? Ja, aber bringt uns das was? Jetzt müssen wir wieder auf ihn warten. So, boom. Auch so schnell ihr könnt. Ah, you're here. I'm Sander. Ah, there's a light. Well, since you bring that up, let's cut to the chase. What are you worth? So you do. And that would make you rich as Croesus on the outside. But down here, it's not worth much. What else have you got? Eh, I have that much myself. Maybe if you had at least 10,000, things might have been different. Ernsthaft? I take back what I... Let's just forget returns. that. All right. Ernst, ehrlich? Is that sein scheiß Ernst? Pass auf, ich scamme jetzt und dann äh, kaufe ich nochmal das Geld von ihr und dann müsste es hinhauen. Aber es ist doch jetzt gerade unnötig. Und wir können mit Ulpius kurz reden. The many shall suffer Ist das euer scheiß Ernst? Das zählt jetzt gerade als Regelbruch? Okay, also man darf nicht sagen, fahr zur Hölle. Aber wir brauchen auf jeden Fall noch das Geld, sonst, äh, sonst können wir ihn nicht retten. Doch, außer wir scammen gleich nochmal. Geht die Drohne auf? Ja, aber ich müsste jetzt da hinlaufen, wenn ich hier überall beschossen werde. Also die Menge an Loops, die ich hier gerade unnötigerweise mache, ist echt nicht heilig.
Super Looper, das gibt sogar ein Achievement. Salve, friend. So, Aurelia können wir gleich, aber erstmal müssen wir noch mal den Scam durchziehen. You, Tantalus, cannot catch the drops of Ich bin gespannt, äh, was man alles machen muss, um, de, äh, um äh, das in einer Loop zu machen. Vor allem hat ja auch nur begrenzt Zeit, also muss ja wirklich das alles sich dann vorher planen. Hey Virgil, how much would you want to make me a bow? For the last time, Dacis. Die Statuen bewegen sich doch teilweise. Also sie drehen manchmal ihren Kopf. You know why? But how am I going to defend myself against someone else with a weapon? Da. There are no other weapons in the city. We all went along with the ja, magistrate's im weapons then, so it wouldn't be an issue. That's why I've got to get in first before someone else beats me to it. Uh. Well, now, oh, oh. what? Is it now? Uh, I can't you? What is it? Oh. Don't even. Huh? Sind sie auch lebendig, aber ja, das mit dem Rand ist fertig. Ich ist mir schon ein paar Mal aufgefallen. Huh? So, mit Ulfius müssten wir eigentlich auch noch bei Gelegenheit mal reden. Aber ich glaube, das ist gerade nicht so kritisch. Salvei! Cerberus lifts his triple head and lets out his threefold braying. Livia, would you stop muttering like Medea over a cauldron? You'll scare away my customers. They follow their trades, imitating their previous lives, but they are ignorant. This again. You're in a world of your own, aren't you? Ah, oh, you're here and... Well... Ten thousand? And you're just carrying that around? Oh my. Aren't you impressive? But enough about that. I want to know all about you. Tell me, who so, are you sie, hoping sie, will sie, win sie today's will today's gewinnt, also. Sentius or Maliolus? Hmm, good answer. Though it's no secret that I'm a Maliolus supporter. So, tell me. What do you like about him? Huh. Honey, I'm beginning to think Venus herself sent you to me because I love the way you think. Here's an idea. How about we head to the baths with some wine I've been saving and... Uh, See where it leads. Hmm? Oh, I see you know how to treat a lady. Here you go. What? What are you talking about? No, no. You give that back. Give it back or, or you'll break the golden rule. Only so you could carry it to the baths. <laughs> Think you're clever, do you? Well, you're nothing but a... a phonic area. Oh, I was just gonna it's... use you for your money. Aber das war jetzt... Warte, ich kann hier... Moment, ich, wenn ich jemandem sage, fahrt zur Hölle, dann ist das eine Drohung und bricht die goldene Regel. Aber wenn ich jemandem sage, er soll Gift trinken, das ist okay. Kein Wunder, dass ich da die ganze Zeit drüber stolpere. Es ist total inkonsistent. Also vielleicht hätten sie das nicht ändern sollen, dass, äh, dass es halt ist, wie bei Skyrim, dass äh, 
Drohungen aussprechen okay ist. Ich bin mir ziemlich, ziemlich, ziemlich sicher, dass, es, dass man da Drohungen aussprechen konnte. You mean, where am I from and all that? Judea, originally. But when I was a child, I moved to Rome with my family. Romanized my name and spent most of my life in the Jewish district of Trans-Tiberim, across the Tiber from the main city. That's where I was when the fires broke out. Everyone was running toward the river and I, listening to my inner contrarian, ran the other way. Every road leading out of Rome was in chaos. Full of people with all their belongings in carts and brigands preying on them. Several hours down the Appian Way, I saw another Jewish family being attacked by three opportunists. So I picked up a branch from the side of the road and went to defend them. I can only assume they got the better of me because the next thing I knew, I was waking up in a forest by a river not far from here with no memory of how I got there. It's strange though because I still had my purse on me. Why would a robber knock me unconscious and throw me in a river but not take my coins? Hmm. You're right. I always just assumed the river carried me, but I'm not sure I was anywhere near the Tiber when I fell. I'm sure it'll all make sense if we ever get out of here. You mean where? That's it. So. A lot of good it did me, and that family. I sometimes wonder what happened to them. Well, neither of us have a couple of hours to stand around talking about theology, law, and collective punishment. So, I guess you're looking for a pithy summary? Yeah, bitte. Sure. <laughs> you remind me of an old story from my people about Hillel the Elder. He was approached by a Gentile and asked to explain the entire Torah while he stood on one foot. Obliging, he replied, What is hateful to you, do not do to another. That is the whole Torah. The rest is commentary. Go and learn. Of course, what I want to know is, what kind of a god sees a young woman abducted and does nothing about it? Not my god, that's for sure. Thanks. I just wish there was a way to find out. So. All right, friend. Das heißt, wir reden mal kurz mit, mit, jetzt mit ihr. Ich kann jetzt einfach so rein, ne? Don't mind me. Ich gehe jetzt einfach nur zu deiner Frau, die du in, da, in diesem Zimmer da eingesperrt hast und ruiniere dein Leben. into my villa and offer me wine. I'd have you thrown out, but it just so happens that is exactly what I need. The question is, what do you want for it? Ah, it seems Bacchus smiles on me once again. And I believe I have just the thing you're looking for. Some time ago, he wrote me a letter and signed it Quinctius, apparently by accident. I've kept it ever since, hoping one day I'd find out what it meant. I'll happily show it to you, for that wine. Thank you. Here's the letter. So, but das muss ich nicht noch mal machen, ne? Weil den Brief habe ich ja jetzt. Now. Perhaps you can tell me who Quinctius really is. What? He's... Oh no. That's... Um... Quite a lot more serious than I imagined. I only wanted some leverage over him, not to destroy him. Give me that immediately. Nobody else must know. What? No. You... you tricked me, you mendacious little Sturkus. 
It was a lie of a mission. You were planning this all along and you deliberately concealed it. May Jupiter cut you down. I curse you. I curse your life and mind and memory. May you be unable to walk or eat or drink. May this drag you to the depths. This is outrageous. Wow, und das, das ist alles okay, was die, was die sagt, oder? Das triggert auch nicht die goldene Regel, dass sie mir droht. Oder zumindest so tut. Demetrius doesn't usually let anyone in here without a hefty tribute, so. <lacht> Are you in. I. Uh, so. It finally caught up with me. I suppose that makes you what? One of Nero's assassins? Nein, aber ihr könnt euch plötzlich lassen, dass ich das nicht bin. So you're not going to kill me. Oh, so much work and money. Oh, and well if I do it, you'll let me live. Okay, dann brauche ich das Zirkus das mit dem Geld nicht mehr. Fine. Ruling this cesspit of a city would have been beneath me anyway. Ja, die sind schon frei, glaube ich, aber ich glaube, für zukünftige bräuchte ich es dann nicht mehr. And release those two from debt bondage. There. You got what you wanted. Now, please, leave my villa and never speak to me again. So, das heißt, jetzt würde ja Jetzt würde ja Galerius äh, wäre ja jetzt offen dafür. Wo auch immer er ist. Ah, a fellow traveler from a far away land. Besucht er jetzt gerade hier Duli? Nein. Habe ich ihn schon verpasst? Wo ist er jetzt? Don't believe a word they tell you. Okay, wo will sie hin? Don't Die Wahl ist noch nicht, oder? Citizens, I have an announcement. Maliolus has withdrawn his candidacy from today's election. Unless any new challengers are nominated by nightfall, Sentius will be re-elected magistrate by default. That is all. Sie hat das jetzt einfach mit der Luft erzählt. A new face, are they? Ähm, okay. Wir können nicht ihr was vorschlagen, wir müssen... Äh, sie, äh, also er muss sich selber dafür entscheiden. Was okay wäre, wenn wir ihn finden könnten. Citizen. Ich glaube nicht, dass es einen Unterschied macht, weil er wahrscheinlich dann eh einfach das, äh, die goldene Regel brechen wird. Also zumindest bei manchen Charakteren wäre es vielleicht sinnvoll, wenn man da auch einen Tracking-Marker hätte.
Hängt der hier vielleicht irgendwo rum? Nee, noch nicht. Dafür ist es noch zu früh. Ganz ehrlich, wo ist der Bro? Wo ist der Typ? Also sie interakt hätten euch ein bisschen ein bisschen großzügiger sein können von der Größe her. Isn't the great temple majestic? On your best behavior, I trust. So, stimmt, er, äh, das, der Typ war, war Bauer, ne? Das war das Ding. Da vorne ist er. Salve again, friend. I How is it possible that you... Uh, you're toying with me, right? Wait, you're not kidding, are you? That's the only way you could have known. You're a bit like... Oh, what was his name? Sisyphus. Yeah, that's the one. Old King Sisyphus. Sisyphus was a Greek king a long time ago. For daring to think he could outsmart the gods, he was given a terrible punishment. He was forced to push a great boulder up to the top of a hill. Only, just as it reached the top, it would roll all the way back down to the bottom, forcing him to start over and over and over again, for all eternity. Just like you. Actually, now that I think about it, there are a bunch of old stories about the gods punishing people by making them do the same futile task over and over. Tantalus was made to grasp at fruit on a tree he could never quite reach. The Pelides had to keep fetching water in a sieve. Oh, and Ixion was strapped to a wheel going round and round forever. But, on the bright side, at least you're not stuck in the underworld like they all were. Anyway, I don't know which god you managed to upset to get yourself into this position, friend, but you seem all right to me. So, I'll tell you what. I'll keep doing whatever I can to help you. And you just focus on finding a way to break the cycle you're in. Jo, oh, das ist sehr freundlich von dir. Now, I'm going to keep your secret. Although, it's not as if I'll remember this next time we talk anyway, right? <laughs> oh, and if our conversations ever start to annoy you, just tell me you're busy. I know when I'm not wanted. May fortune smile on you, friend. Salve again, my Sisyphean friend. Now, what's on your mind? I've bounced the idea around once or twice, but and maybe... He did? Oh, that was unexpected. I wonder what could have possessed him to do that. Well, I guess it's time for me to step up then. I'll let Equitia know I'll be running. Alright, friend. So, 
Don't believe a word they tell you. Shalom. Sentius, I suppose. I'd have to be insane to vote for Maliolus after what he did to me. Galerius, the farmer, he's a good man, but I think he's more valuable on the farm than as magistrate. All right, friend. Okay, das hilft uns nicht. Wen können wir alles überzeugen? Wir hatten vorhin nur eine Stimme für Sentius. Jetzt müssten es zwei sein. Name's Rufius. Galerius. Sorted out my rheumatism. Fuck. Okay, ja, er wird automatisch. Sehr gut. Welcome to my humble greetings. Ma Galerius. Did you. Okay, ich glaube, er gewinnt praktisch automatisch dann jetzt. Weil im Moment steht es 2 zu 2. A new fit. I... Galerius. Death. All right. Nice to. Ah, okay, die ganzen. Das wird natürlich jetzt alles Galerius zugeschrieben und deswegen dürfte er die Wahl automatisch gewinnen. Also, das will ich jetzt schon sehen. Shiny. Habe ich mit ihr schon gesprochen? Salve and welcome. Need something? Oh, there's not much to tell. I mostly just bake bread and try to help out where I can. Well, ich kann dir die Wahl früher äh, durchziehen lassen. I suppose it all started about eight months ago. I was living in Rome with my family when I got sick. Terrible timing. My pa had just arranged a husband for me. A fisherman's son. I was about to meet him for the first time when I came down with an awful fever. I spent the next week in bed. Pa paid priests to make offerings to Asclepius, a white rooster, then a goat. But nothing worked. In the end, they decided I'd do better outside the city. Clean air in the countryside would do me good, they said. But after about a day in a carriage on the Appian Way, I was getting worse, not better. I remember closing my eyes for a bit, and I guess I must have fell asleep, because when I opened them again, I was in a forest by a river. I suppose the driver took off with his fee and left me for dead. Can't say I blame him. I wouldn't have wanted to catch what I had either. Anyway, I went searching for help, stumbled across the trapdoor temple, and here I am. Oh yeah, I suppose you're right. I hadn't really thought about it. But the gods are mysterious and powerful. Who knows what their plans are for us? Oh, I try not to worry about it. I mean, if people are nice to each other, we won't have anything to worry about, will we? Back on optimismus. Thanks. And I like your teeth. They're so white. And your clothes. Oh, I bet my friend Georgius would like to get a look at you. And I'm sure he'd love to chatter about the golden rule with you too. He'll be just across the forum in his shop. All right. Thanks again. So. Ave again. It must be complete. It'll be between. Why do you? As I said, I'm planning to hold... Hmm, yes. I have overheard some rather unpleasant arguments. The last thing we need here is additional conflict. Very well. I'll get things started right away. Citizens, it is time. Let us meet to elect our magistrate. Election starting. Also das Scripting ist manchmal noch so ein bisschen hakelig, ne? Stimmt. Hä, konnten wir nicht mit... 
Das haben wir bis jetzt auch nur einmal gemacht, ne? Wir konnten doch irgendwie mit einem Key extra einer Person folgen. Scheinbar nicht. Anscheinend ging das nur das eine Mal. Bin ich gespannt. Ich glaube nicht, dass Sentius das einfach akzeptieren wird. Ich frage mich auch gerade, ob ich als, äh, wenn ich als männlicher Charakter gespielt hätte, ob ich dann auch an der Wahl teilnehmen darf. Oder ob die dann irgendwas sagen vom wegen, ähm, bist neu, du darfst noch nicht wählen. Maliolus Gerges withdrew his candidacy earlier today. As agreed, we shall dispense with ballots and candidates will abstain from voting. Let's make this quick. As I say your name, call your vote. I'll start with you, Horatius. Sentius, of course. Georgius. Galerius. He saved the life of my dear friend Fabia. Dacius. Sentius. Virgil. The man who put a stop to the threats I've been receiving. Galerius. Ulpius. Galerius, the man who saved my life. Rufius. The man Hat er nicht gesagt, dass er Sentius wählen will? Galerius. Citizens, you have made your decision. Your new magistrate is Gallus Galerius Helva. What? It has been decided. Magistrate Galerius, would you like to make a brief address? Uh, I just want to say, this isn't something I ever wanted. Now that you put your trust in me, I'm going to do everything I can not to let you down. I'll need some time to put together a list of the changes I want to make around here. But I promise you, there will be changes. My first order is that Dooley is to be freed. Horatius, release him from his cell immediately. Please. Wait, do I need to say please? I suppose not. That's it. You can all get on with your day. Nothing else to see here. Move along. Okay, er muss eigentlich gut, er muss eigentlich nichts machen. Da wird er wahrscheinlich jetzt noch was zu sagen, ne? It's almost as if you're trying to extend my lifespan. Ja, keine Sorge, das das ändern wir bald. Glad Galerius won. He deserved it. Fortune smiles on you today, Julius. Magistrate Galerius here has ordered your release. You're going to let me out of here? I'm sorry it took so long, my friend. And it wouldn't have happened at all if it wasn't for a newcomer. So be sure to offer your thanks when you can. I will. I will. Thank you, Galerius. I'm so happy. I'd love to stay and chat, but I've got a lot of work ahead of me. Why don't you go to the baths, then tell Georges I said you could have some new clothes. Then I want you to go home and rest. I'll speak with you soon, Dooley. Uh, hello? I'm Dooley. Magistrate Galerius said I should thank the newcomer. Are you the newcomer? Oh, it is you. Then, thank you. You're a big helper. I was locked up, but they let me out again. I'm so happy. 
You can have my shiny plaque if you want, and maybe you can help me find my treasure. My friend Hannibal used to look after me, and he said he always would, but then he died. But before that, he told me, if anything ever happened to him, I had to find something very precious. He gave me a key to the cisterns and told me to keep it safe. He said there's something very precious way up high. Please help me find it. Please. I had to keep it a secret until I found someone I could trust. Oh, thank you. Here's the key. So, was war es mit der oberen Zisterne gemeint? Da blicke ich jetzt noch nicht so ganz durch. Unter des großen Tempels. I hope you find it. In the cisterns. Way up high, Hannibal said. Oh, look over there. Something shiny. Is it treasure? Maybe it is treasure. I could see it for myself. So pretty. And it's just lying out here in the open. Oh, no. Maybe nobody wants it anymore. Maybe no one will mind if I just... Take it. Don't you dare. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Genau, die Wahl war für den neuen Magistrat gewesen. Aber in gewisser Weise hatte er wohl recht. Aber wir haben den Schlüssel. So, was können wir jetzt alles machen? Salve, friend. Okay, wir brauchen jetzt so jetzt kein Geld mehr, um... Das heißt, den Spaß kann man sich sogar komplett sparen. So. Jetzt, äh... Das ist so die, die obere Zisterne, aber... Aber was war da? Also, wo war das? You, Sisyphus, attack or pursue the stone. Huh. Boah, ich bin gerade ein bisschen irritiert, weil... Hinweise, ja, aber, ist, aber die Quest... Äh, die Szenenmarkierungen sind doch aktiv. Wieso habe ich keine Questmarkierung mehr seit einiger Zeit? So, die obere Zisterne war es, glaube ich, hier, ne? Also, ist hier irgendwo fließend Wasser. Ich blick das alles gerade nicht mehr. Vor allem finde ich da jetzt überhaupt noch irgendwas, was mir noch fehlt, weil... So, nicht der, der Palast, nicht der Tempel. Es ist... Es, ja, was soll man denn da und groß äußerlich unterscheiden? Also, es ist beides super pompös gebaut. Und... Ja, das ist halt römisch, ne? Oh, das ist der Tempel. Ich 
Ich meine, hier ist das Aquädukt, also muss es ja echt irgendwo auch hier sein. Wow, wait. So, ging es hier rein? Nee, ne? Hier war nur die... Nur die alte Truhe. Hier ist das Portal. Weiß jemand, wo die Zisterne sein soll? Das hier hilft uns nicht weiter. Nicht nur der Tempel, da waren wir ja vorhin. Ich starte mit der, mit der, mit der Kugel. Ja, die, die Sisyphos-Statue, das meinst du. So, hier der Pfad muss das ja dann sein. Genau, hier waren wir vorhin. Also was ist vorhin? Vor ein paar Stunden. Na. Was ist das? Was ist der Deal mit den... Okay, aber hier waren wir ja schon. Also komplett sinnlos. Man muss es nicht so machen. Dann sprechen wir mal mit, äh, mit, hier, mit Dings, mit Equity ja nochmal. Die hat ja, wir haben jetzt die ganzen Hinweise. Na. So. Stimmt, man kommt so auch ohne den Bogen dahin. Das heißt, dass aber auch der Fischer mit von der Partie war. Wer war nochmal der Fischer? Salve. Der meint Hannibal. Jo, den haben wir ja nicht kennengelernt. Sie wird nicht verfügbar sein, sondern Areas. Ja, dann da sollte das vielleicht nicht ewig dauern, Leute. Es ist halb zwei. Oh, well, that's surprising. Thank you for telling me. I'll let everyone know. C 
Citizens, I have an announcement. Maliolus has withdrawn his candidacy from today's election. Unless any new challengers are nominated by nightfall, Sentius will be re-elected magistrate by default. Actually, I'd, uh, I'd like to nominate myself, if that's all right. Of course, Galerius, that's your right. Citizens, the election Genau, Hannibal ist mit der mit den, mit den Elefanten. Salve again, friend. I went and did as you asked, and it worked. How is it possible that you've just a... Oh, uh, of so, jetzt, jetzt haben wir auch wieder einen Questmarker. Jetzt will ich benötigen. A new face. Arve. Interesting. I'm not sure why you're telling me, but you've come to the right person. Did you find a pattern then? What have you noticed? Yes, I suppose that could be something. But then most of us do tend to carry coins on our person, don't we? What else? Yes, I understand many of our friends were carried here by a river current. What else? Ich habe da so eine Vermutung mit, äh, ne, Fährmann und so, Charon. That's true. I know I wasn't entirely sure how I wound up here. Und den hat man mit It's einer Münze bezahlt. I, I think I understand what poor Livia has been going through. Let me ask you this. Did you happen to encounter a stranger in the forest before you arrived here? And did you happen to catch her name? I see. And was this Karen by any chance wearing a hood? Yeah, okay, yeah, Karen, Karen, yeah, okay. Because I've seen her before. There's something I think you should see. I think you'd better follow me to the baths. Es liegt halt direkt vor de äh, deiner Nase. But don't follow too closely. We can't have people thinking we're bathing together. Warte. Jetzt geht das wieder. Das Wasser sieht schon nice aus. All right, you're here. You were asking how I knew the young woman you met by the river was wearing a hood. Here, look down at the bottom of the baths. It's a little hard to make out in this light. If only we could see. Oh, what a marvelous lamp. But do you see it? Somebody waking up by a river, in a forest, to find a hooded figure with a coin. It's just as you described it, only your pronunciation is a little off. The name you heard wasn't Karen. It was C-H-A-R-O-N, as in Charon, the ferryman of the dead. Charon, who in exchange for the right coin, helps the souls of the newly deceased cross the sticks. The river that separates the land of the living from the land of the dead. When I dragged you out of the river, I thought you were never going to wake up. I checked your pockets for ID, but all I found was some loose change. Feels like I've spent my whole life in a dead-end job with an endless commute. Sorry if I sounded cagey, it's just that I don't always get the best reactions when I introduce myself. Oh, that is, my name that is, is genius. Karen. There are a bunch of old stories about the gods punishing people by making them do the same futile task over and over. But on the bright side, 
least you're not stuck in the underworld like they all were. I'm so sorry, my friend. I'm so, so sorry. I take it you know what this means. I'm afraid so. It's all starting to make sense. All these people whose last memory was running from the fires toward the river. It seems none of them escaped with their lives after all. Perhaps we should be grateful they don't remember their final moments. It also tells us that the Golden Rule is the work of Pluto, the god of the underworld, and why his epithet has always been Father of Riches. I know it's a lot to take in, and you look as if you have questions, so I'll try to answer them if I can. Okay, but what do we do now? That was my first thought too. In the old stories, the underworld was where the souls of the deceased were taken. But it was also possible for the living to reach it without dying, if they were particularly fearless. So I'm afraid I don't know. Oh, I'm sorry. I keep forgetting you're not from here. If you were Roman, or even Greek, you would know these stories. Each of them is slightly different, whether the storyteller was Plato, Homer, Virgil, or Ovid. But they always involved the souls of the dead, meeting a grim ferryman named Charon on the bank of a river. It was said that he'd help the new arrival cross, only if they could pay him with a coin, an obol. That's why it was once our custom to bury our loved ones with a coin in their mouths. Charon's obol, we called it. Of course, an obol was a kind of Greek coin, because we inherited this knowledge from the Greeks. To be fair, the ferryman isn't exactly as the poets described. And he, she, they, they seem to appear to different people in different guises. You say you saw a young woman named Karen with a hood. And I once heard Kabash mention a stranger in a ram headdress named Kurti. And Rufius described meeting a stranger named Kamut Tabal wearing an eagle headdress. But whatever form this stranger took, they were always wearing a hood of some sort, and their name always began with a K sound. Oh, it's with Gatsby's meter. I suspect the only way you'll solve this riddle is if your paths cross again. Good question. Let's see. In the stories, Charon would always require a coin as payment for passage across the river, but that never made any sense to me. What does an ancient immortal being need with coins? In our case, it seems Charon didn't take the coins we had. He or she merely checked we had one in our possession. So, maybe there's something special about the coins each of us had on us. That might explain why we wound up here, but so many others did not. No. I mean, I had my suspicions, especially after Livia's ramblings, but I would never have figured it out without your help. I promise you. Now that we know where we are, we have to figure out what to do about it, if we don't want to be cast into gold for eternity. We don't have much to go on, except the old stories. I remember four in particular about heroes in the underworld. Hercules, the demigod and son of Jupiter. Orpheus, a Thracian poet. Sisyphus, a king of Ephyra. And Aeneas, a Trojan hero. Hercules was able to leave the underworld because he cowed its god with his strength. Sisyphus and Orpheus both relied on their wits instead. They persuaded the goddess of the underworld, Proserpina, to help them escape. And finally, Aeneas was able to escape with the help of a spirit guide, who led him through a secret gate. So it seems you have two options. To confront the god of the underworld head on, or find a way to escape with the help of Proserpina or some other guide. Was ist mit dem Fluss des Vergessens? Was ist mit dem Lethe? Na ja, gut, der, ist, der fließt durchs Elysium. Ne? Ich meine, das ist jetzt wahrscheinlich... Ist das hier Elysium? Es ist anscheinend nicht, ha nicht der Tartarus oder ha Hades in dem Fall. Je nachdem. It's a reasonable question. But the problem is, this place is fairly well designed to keep us here. There's no way to climb up the shaft. And even if you could build a ladder big enough, just trying it would break the golden rule. We know that, thanks to the writings left behind by those who've tried. 
all Romans try to avoid saying it, and the reason is quite simple. He might hear us. You may refer to him as Pluto, if you wish, but you'll only be calling attention to yourself. Do so at your own peril. Shh! Is everyone so blunt where you're from? Oh! That option would be the boldest, but also the only way to learn the truth about the Golden Rule, and maybe even put an end to it. As I said, Hercules managed to overpower the god of the underworld, but he was a demigod. Forgive my candor, but you are no Hercules. Are you telling me that you can? I won't pretend to understand exactly what that means, but if that's true, then perhaps you stand a chance. So, if you want to confront him, I'll help you as much as I can. Who knows? Perhaps your name will be uttered in the same sentence as Hercules one day. But first, you'd need an audience with you know who. With Voldemort? After that, you'll need to enter the great temple overlooking the city. The problem is, the door has been sealed shut for as long as I've lived here, and there doesn't even seem to be a keyhole. I suspect the answer lies in the desecrated obelisk in front of it. I'm not sure if you noticed, but there are four plaques missing from its base. It looks as though somebody, or a series of somebodies, forcibly removed them, and in doing so, dishonored and angered our Divine Keeper. If you could recover and replace all four of those missing plaques, I imagine he might be willing well, to receive kind of fetch again. It's the towering stone monument with four sides and a pyramid-shaped head that stands before the great temple, a dedication to the god of this place. You'll find them all over Rome, but of course they were looted from Egypt many years ago. It seems one of them made its way here too, although how is a mystery. However, this one is unusual in that each of the four sides is decorated in a different style. Roman, Greek, Egyptian, and another I don't recognize. That means you'll need to recover four different plaques. Roman, Greek, Egyptian, and a fourth, a mystery plaque. Okay, lass mich raten, wahrscheinlich hat, haben verschiedene Leute die. Good question. To answer that, we first need to ask, who would have defaced the obelisk in the first place? Sentius. It would have had the god's name engraved into it. Oder? Ja, okay, rufen wir es auch Sinn. That whoever desecrated it wanted that name to be forgotten. And there's only one group of people I know of who might want to do that. There's a cult in Rome that often argued there is only one true god. Theirs, of course. They've been known to start fires as well as deface religious monuments whose existence challenged their beliefs. If I were you, I'd go looking for them. Of course, they've all been in hiding since the fire last year, so finding them won't be easy. But I did hear a rumor they have a secret shrine somewhere in the city. Perhaps if you could find that, you might be able to ja, recover the am Anfang was gefunden, aber meinte ich wüsste jetzt nach 5 Stunden noch wo das ist. I don't know. But perhaps you should begin your search with the local Greek fellow, Georgius. His store is in the forum. Perhaps Kabash, our Egyptian resident, would be able to tell us. Unfortunately, he disappeared weeks ago. But I did hear Aurelia is peddling rumors about him at the tavern. So, perhaps you could talk to her. Or just take a look in his room. I'm afraid you're on your own with that one. But perhaps finding the other three will illuminate the way. As I mentioned, both Orpheus and Sisyphus were said to have persuaded Proserpina to help them escape, and Aeneas was guided to the exit. The problem is, those are the stories of a poet, a self-aggrandizing king, and a brawler about their own heroic deeds, so they should be taken with a grain of salt. First, Proserpina. What we do know about her is, well, it's a grim tale. It's said the god of the underworld abducted and dragged her here against her will, forcing her into marriage. If the stories are true, 
Then I suppose so. The problem is, how do we communicate with her without being noticed by her captor? Leaving that aside for a moment, there is also the possibility of a spirit guide. I don't suppose you've come across one of those in your travels? Truly? And you're only bringing this up now? Then again, I suppose you were worried I'd think you were as mad as Navia. Can you tell me more? Is it the same voice? What kinds of thing does it say? Fascinating. Perhaps she is a benevolent spirit. Or perhaps... Hmm... Perhaps you're hearing the voice of Persepina herself. If she has indeed been abducted, it would make sense for her to speak in cryptic whispers to avoid detection. Tell me, has she told you anything that might lead you to the Gut, way die out? Olymp ja, die Olympische Bande ist schon ziemlich krass drauf. Truly? Then why are you still here? Ah, oh, I see. Then it seems you have made a great sacrifice for all of us, friend. I admire your compassion. Truly. Thank you. But unfortunately, I'm afraid your only other option will be to confront you know who. Na gut. All right. I would suggest not discussing this with anyone. The best we can do for them is to let them remain oblivious for as long as possible. As for Livia, it seems she's been shouldering the weight of this terrible secret all this time. Perhaps it would comfort her to know she's not alone. In any case, time is of the essence, so you'd best begin. May Fortuna guide you. Although you may not need her with Proserpina on your side. So, jetzt bin ich mal gespannt, wie viel Zeit wir überhaupt noch haben. Isn't the great temple Ave again? See you again soon. Aber was, was, was soll ich denn sie noch fragen? Also warum wird jetzt sie zugeflüstert? Okay, ja, ich, ich, die Treppen sind überbewertet. Just as the ocean except but it does. Say it. Speak its name. Then it is true. I was right. I thought. I thought I saw it, but when the rest of them could not, I kept thinking I must have gone insane. I had to tell myself it was true over and over again. Until I wasn't sure if I was deceiving myself. I must apologize if my words seem cryptic. I'd found comfort in reciting the metamorphoses by our great poet Ovid. He gives such an uncanny description of this place. I cannot help but wonder if he himself came here. Would you like to hear it? I will do my best to remember the relevant verse. Is there, an there is a downward path, gloomy with fatal yew trees. It leads through dumb silence to the infernal regions. The sluggish Styx exhales vapor, and by that way, the shadows of the newly dead descend, entombed with full rites, and the ghosts of those, at last, given proper burial. The wide, thorny waste is cold and pallid, and the newly arrived shades are ignorant of the road that leads to the Stygian city, where Black Dis has his cruel palace. As the ocean accepts the rivers of all the world, so this place accepts all the souls, and is never too small for any populace, nor notices the crowds that come. There the bloodless shadows wander without flesh or bone. Some crowd the forum, 
some the house of the ruler of the depths. Others follow their trades, imitating their previous lives. And still others incur punishment. I hope I have done it justice, and now we share a secret. It's as if you've lifted a great burden from my shoulders. Thank you, friend. I think I should rest. Na, wenigstens geht's ihr damit besser. Greetings and salut greeting. My and in a city full of Romans, you are asking me, because I am Greek. Let me tell you something about Greeks and Romans. My name is Georgios, yes. But the Romans, they do not care. They hear me say Georgios, and they think, ah, he must mean Georgius. Good Roman name. They do this all the time. They see us worshipping Zeus, they copy us, but call him Jupiter. They take Hades and call him Pluto, Persephone, Proserpina. I am flattered that they copy our ideas, but why must they change the names? Do they want credit for making it all up? Do they want to forget where it came from? <laughs> At first, I pull my hair out. After a while, I give up, and I become Georgius the Roman. I accept the world is Roman. Plus, I have no hair left to pull. But my point is this. If you want to know who stole an old Greek name, look no further than the sticky-fingered Romans. The plague you seek was pilfered from a collection of old Greek relics by none other than Dooley. Uh, he cannot help it. Like a typical Roman, he likes shiny things, especially those that once belonged to my people. And besides, it makes him happy. So I say, let him keep it. I believe he still has it with him, in his cell. Just opposite the Temple of Demeter. Oh je. Yeah. I hope that our paths cross. Weiß nicht, wie wir dann an die rankommen sollen, ohne dass wir ihn befreien. In der Taverne. Oh Gott, bless, wir haben ein paar Questmarker. Uh. Das war jetzt aber eher Zufall. Das ist auf jeden Fall gut. War es, weil ich den Schlüssel aus der Villa hatte? Nee, oder? Wann habe ich denn dafür den Schlüssel aufgehoben? I love your clothes. Ah, oh, you're here. And uh, there's a Well. Ten, but enough. Hmm. Honey, here's a Das war ich nicht das, was ich wollte. Das war ich nicht das, was ich machen wollte. Was heißt nicht, dass wir sie unbedingt fragen müssen, oder? Nein. 
Marius. Wo, wo ist denn hier noch? Da oben. Jetzt bin ich aber gerade überfragt. Da oben? Bürgerverzeichnis. Also er soll im Elendsviertel sein, aber ich habe doch jetzt alles gesehen, oder? Beautiful. Oh, do us all a favor. Ja gut, mit ihr können wir jetzt nicht mehr reden, aber die ist auch irgendwie sehr anstrengend, also ihr kannst halt irgendwie nichts äh, sagen, ohne dass sie halt direkt angepisst ist. muss doch noch einen anderen Weg geben. Beautiful. Warum sind mich beautiful und im nächsten Moment Und im nächsten Moment ist ja halt wieder total pissig, also Muss ich jetzt ernsthaft die Zeit hier neu starten? Äh, dann sollte ich aber vielleicht so machen, dass ich äh, das Ding dann Duli abnehme, oder? Ich Don't believe a word they tell ja, you. Super, das war jetzt sehr hilfreich. Ich glaube, ich muss auch einfach quick saven, bevor ich mit Aurelia spreche. Grundsätzlich. Einfach weil die ist mega anstrengend. Ja, super, dann hat er nicht genau hier gespeichert. Muss ich jetzt ernsthaft die Wahl triggern? Ah, mit you. Oh, and now. I've bounced the but he out. All right. Hello. Hello. Yeah, that's the tough. I see you. Have we? Do you like it? It's shiny, isn't it? 
It makes me happy just looking at it. But if I gave it to you, then I wouldn't have it anymore and I'd be sad. But it's mine and I really like it. I want to keep it. Um, well, if you get me out of here, then I wouldn't need it anymore because I'd already be happy. Then you could have it and you'd be happy too. Like, Galerius, he's nice. I like Galerius. He made me a doll and everything. Yeah. Ja, gut, das haben wir ja schon. Ich meine, so oder so trigger ich das. Hello. Nein, ich wollte nicht mit Hello. dir reden. Kannst du mal auf für mich anzusprechen? Okay, ich komme nicht dran. Ich muss die Wahl triggern. Also ich muss so oder so eine neue noch mal, weil dann, dann klaut er ja äh, das eine Ding und dann äh, triggert das ja die die, die äh, Zeitlinie. So, wo ist sie? Die stand sonst immer hier. Warum, warum sind die NPCs nie da, wo man sie sucht? Oder sind, warte, sind jetzt schon alle zur Wahl gegangen? Ne, es ist noch zu früh. Ganz ehrlich, wo hängt sie rum? Hier. It, it'll what? Hmm, very. Very. Schon immer eher zu spüren. Ja, geh bloß ins Bett. Ich wollte eigentlich auch schon seit zwei Stunden fertig sein. Aber ich sah jetzt hier keinen sinnvollen Punkt, wo man das hätte aufteilen können. So, jetzt wäre es praktisch, wenn man die Zeit vorspulen könnte. Hallo? Ja, auf wen warten wir noch? Wow, ihr lasst euch ja alle echt Zeit. Citizens, we have a quarate body of voters gathered here to elect the city's magistrate. The candidates are. Warte, habe ich nicht vorhin noch eine Option gesehen? Sextus 
Ja, okay, Erzählung abbrechen geht, glaube ich, nur, wenn ich im Dialog mit jemandem bin. Sentius, of course. Georgius. Galerius. He saved the life of my dear friend Fabia. Dacius. Sentius. Virgil. The man who put a stop to the threats I've been receiving. Galerius. Ulpius. Galerius, the man who saved my life. Rufius. The man who treated my rheumatism. Galerius. Citizens, you have made your decision. Your new magistrate is Gallus Galerius Helva. What? It has been decided. Magistrate Galerius, would you like to make a brief address? Uh, um, I just want to say, this isn't something I have... Ja, beeil dich, komm. Wow, der kann laufen und der Rest, äh, ja. Der Rest sieht es vor, extra langsam zu sein. It gladdens my heart Whatever that Galerius set poor Dooley free. I will cherish this moment. Fortune smiles on you today, Julius. Magistrate Galerius here has ordered your release. You're going to let me out of here? I'm sorry it took so long, my friend. And it wouldn't have happened at all if it wasn't for a newcomer. So be sure to offer your thanks when you can. I will. I will. Thank you, Galerius. I'm so happy. I'd love to stay and chat, but I've got a lot of work ahead of me. Why don't you go to the baths, then tell Georges I said you could have some new clothes. Then I want you to go home and rest. I'll speak with you soon, Dooley. Uh. Oh. You had my friend up. What was in there? Um, could... Oh. Oh, look, maybe it is treasure. I can see it for myself. No. So pretty. And it's just lying out here. So, wir gehen schon mal in Position. Ähm. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Ähm. Ich habe gerade total die Orientierung verloren. So, ist das jetzt die letzte Schleife? Das wäre nett. Salve, friend. I'll go. So. Oh, you're here, and uh, there's a lot. What was that? I take let's just forget that ever happened, so we can at least do business. 
So, nee, ich habe Duli noch mal befreit, weil ich die Tafel. Tafel haben wollte und deswegen und dann hat er ja den Diebstahl begangen. Not for a few weeks now. Last time I saw him, he was sitting at a table with Georgius, whispering about some job before he I remember because they kept again. looking over their We've shoulders as if they didn't want anyone else to know. They have lost. So uh, naturally, I hovered. The one word I kept hearing was vanishing. And then, the next day, Kabash just disappeared. Coincidence? I think not. All right, see ya. Super, but, but help me that yet? Yeah, good. We have. Georgios jetzt mit, äh, mit dem Hinweis. Er wird uns definitiv eher helfen. Ah, ich will uns gerettet. Ah, I knew this day would come. I do not wish to lie to you, my friend, but even discussing this matter is dangerous. Please, let us leave the right call safe in the Wow, die, die, die Trümmer sind jedes Mal sehr laut. Very well, but the magistrate would not look kindly upon this, so please keep it to yourself. For several months now, I have been sneaking out at night to worship the gods of my ancestors in the temple of Demeter. Each day, I leave offerings of food in the hope that we may have a bountiful harvest. And yet the next day when I return, the food is missing. The offering, it is symbolic, you see. It is never eaten. So I ask, who or what is devouring the food in this temple? Stranger still. Once I sat in front of my shop like the hundred-eyed Argus until dawn to see if I could spot a thief going in, But do you know what I saw? Was hast du gesehen? Nothing. Nobody entered. And yet when I went to take a look, my offering was gone. It is bizarre, is it not? When I told my friend Kabash of this at the tavern, he offered to help investigate. He went in, and to my dismay, he was never seen again. It is the only Greek temple in the city. Head towards the baths. And it is the last building on your right. I do not think you should pursue this, my friend. It would break my heart to be responsible for two people disappearing. Ja, alles gut. Ich kann die Zeit manipulieren und so. Kind of person to be deterred by such warnings. So just be careful. I beg you. Wow, das ist aber eine sehr unauffällige Tür. Hallo. Okay, ich weiß nicht, glaube ich, auch, wo die eine Tür, die wir vorhin gesehen hatten, mit der äh, goldenen Statue davor hinführt. Wahrscheinlich ist das der andere Weg raus. Schaffe ich nur gerade, wenn er die ganze Zeit die Opfergaben gestohlen hat, das gilt dann nicht als Bruch für den, äh, für die goldene Regel, weil die Opfergaben gehören nicht den Göttern oder so. Come and join me by the fire. Welcome, welcome. May I ask your name? It's a sincere pleasure to meet you. Tell me, what brings you all the way down here? Ah, Kabash. I know this man. He came through here some weeks ago. 
I will tell you everything I know, but first, a request. I have been living down here alone for many years, with nobody to talk to but myself. The one thing I long for above all else before I die is a good philosophical argument with somebody astute. I'm hoping that person is you. Let us find out with this simple question. Have you deduced the name of the god responsible for the Golden Rule? Excellent. I see you are indeed quite astute. Very few come to that realization before their time in the sun is over. Now, will you join me in a friendly Socratic dialogue? Okay. Wonderful. Then let me begin with a question. Would you say you know the difference between right and wrong? And to what extent? In every situation? So, you're not entirely confident. That is quite sensible. Indeed, I'm reminded of something Socrates once said. To paraphrase, better to know that you know nothing than to know nothing and think that you know. It is because knowledgeable people have learned enough to know they know very little in the broader scheme of things. You see, out there in the world, being uncertain about right and wrong was acceptable because our mistakes rarely had consequences. So we would tell lies and bend rules and turn a blind eye and rationalize and yet still find a way to think of ourselves as good people. But under the golden rule, morality matters. The slightest wrongdoing could result in a mass execution. So to navigate this maze, we would have to be certain about the difference between right and wrong. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, ja, but wessen version von richtig und falsch? That is an excellent question, and it leads directly to my next line of inquiry. So let me ask you this. Is there one system of morality which is always perfectly correct, which you could follow in every situation and always do the right thing? Are you sure? Or is it possible that humans simply haven't figured out the right system yet? Hmm. Schwierig. After hundreds of years, and as many great thinkers dedicating their lives to these questions, what hope do we have if our best and brightest haven't been able to answer them? My point is this. I don't think anyone alive truly knows any hard and fast rules about right and wrong. If there is one thing I have observed about rules, it is that virtuous people do not need them, and evil people will always find a way around them. And so we must accept our limitations, and the sad truth that no human society will ever achieve the utopia for which it strives. In mathematics, we would call it an asymptote, a line that can be approached but never reached. Because the only way to create a utopia is with the ever-present threat of force, such as the golden rule. This and no other is the root from which a tyrant springs when he first appears as a protector. And life under tyranny is no utopia at all. Yeah, so far so good. I'm glad to hear that. In any case, thank you for humoring an old man. I would be happy to answer your questions. You mean, how did I end up living alone in this cave with nothing but these relics of the past for company? It's a long story. Oh, I was a quarrelsome young man. At 19, I left Corinth for Rome to study rhetoric at one of her finest academies, so I could argue more forcefully. Back then, I used to enjoy verbally sparring with everyone I could, and I was good. One night, I found myself in a tavern in an argument with a drunken mercenary. It became heated, he drew a gladius, and I won the argument, but... 
lost my life. I woke up on the banks of the Styx at a campfire opposite Karen. Of course, I tried to persuade her to let me return, but even with all my skill, I failed. I settled in, made friends, and learned what I could, quickly realizing our little community faced certain death under the Golden Rule. So I began looking for a place to hide underground. Fortunately, I found this place waiting for me. You see, I was not the first to take refuge here. I returned to my friends above, persuaded them to join me, and twelve of us descended for the last time to live out our days hidden from Hades' tyranny. I fear that if you were to utter my name in the city, even by mistake, that Hades would hear you and know I am still alive. I'm afraid I am the only one left. There were twelve of us in the beginning, but one by one, my friends passed away. Some from malnutrition, others from madness and despair. It has been lonely. Before my unexpected visit from Kabash some weeks ago, I had not seen another person in many, many years. Living in darkness is not without its challenges. The first challenge is diet. Fortunately, I found that eating fresh fish provides most of the nutrients I need. And sometimes, when there are Greek people living up above, I surface at night and salvage the offerings they've left in the temple of Demeter. The greater challenge is the isolation, so I like to imagine arguments, where I argue both sides. But, like so many things in life, arguments are better with a partner. My generation was wiped out, turned to gold, many years ago. My friends and I were able to avoid the same fate by hiding down here. I think it's safest to assume that if I was to return, Hades would realize that his furies hadn't finished the job, and he'd send them after me again. They are one and the same. The Romans call him Pluto. But long before that, my people called him Hades. As you wish. So. You seek the plaque bearing the Egyptian inscription. It is a cursed object, and I would be happy to give it to you if Kabash had not already taken it. I will tell you, but you may find him hostile. To prepare for your encounter, there are certain things you must know. Very few know this, but before the Romans came to this city, it was once entirely Greek. The architecture, the temples, and the people. When the Romans came, in typical fashion, they claimed it as their own, built over everything that could be built over, and renamed the things that could not. Thus, the shrine of Persephone became the shrine of Proserpina. And when they found an obelisk bearing the name Hades, they tore it off and replaced it with Pluto instead. And the city's dwindling Greek residents, witnessing this compulsive Roman conquest, decided to preserve what they could of their heritage. They gathered their art and valuables, secreted them away through the Temple of Demeter, and hid them here, out of reach of the Romans. Was hat das mit Kabash zu tun? I'm getting to that. You see, it was among these old Greek relics that I found the thing you seek. An even older plaque bearing an Egyptian inscription. We had no idea until years later when the first of my friends began to die. As a result of their deaths, we began to dig catacombs branching off from this cavern to lay them to rest. We extended the tunnel so far that we accidentally discovered another, an even older tunnel, which somebody had gone to great lengths to keep hidden. Suddenly it made sense why there was an out-of-place Egyptian plaque among our people's possessions. You see, we proud Greeks had thought the Romans beasts for stealing and corrupting our heritage. But it turns out this game has been going on much longer than any of us imagined. 
I think it is best you head through the catacombs and follow Kabash's trail. There are certain things you must see for yourself. Take this key. You'll need it to open the gate. Okay, ich bin gespannt. I enjoyed our chat, but please keep my presence here a secret. Yes. Der Bogen ist ja, glaube ich, auch optional. Das heißt, wir können ihn, sollten ihn eigentlich nicht brauchen, wenn wir hier sind. So viel zu dem Thema. Ja, das Spiel ist sehr dialog-heavy. Ich bin ehrlich, ich weiß nicht, wie viel Sinn das macht, äh, den Wort überhaupt hochzuladen. Weil einmal ist das halt sowieso ein Spiel, was man halt, äh, also der, das bringt eigentlich, finde ich, nur was für Leute, die das Spiel sowieso schon kennen. Weil die dann nicht gespoilert werden. So, warte, du bist... So. Die Taschenlampe haben wir aus der Gegenwart mitgenommen. Die haben wir noch vom Anfang. Okay, das ist wirklich sehr basic Pathfinding hier. Stop. Do not come any closer. Who are you? I am Kabash. Hmm. And let me guess. Another Greek or Roman come to loot and plunder the resting place of my ancestors. Hmm. hmm. Trousers, boots, curious here. No, I suppose you do not. Then what do you want? Hmm, to what end? Hmm, that is welcome news. You really are not Greek or Roman, are you? I was planning to return it myself, but for now, I must remain. Here, take it and restore the honor of Osiris. That's all. That was too einfach. Now, as for the other plaque. Indeed, I have it right here. I stumbled across a collection of dusty curiosities while searching for a place to hide from the hungry children of Amit, and there it was. You may not. In fact, I am about to destroy it. Because it speaks a treacherous, blasphemous lie. I will tell you, but first, do you know what this place is? 
Indeed. And I see you know our history. This is Das war jetzt genau einmal relevant diese Klasse, die wir genommen haben. Come of it. I have been down here for weeks piecing together its story. And here is what I have learned. As Egypt declined and the Greeks had their turn to flourish, their souls came here in great numbers. But instead of adopting our ways, they copied and corrupted them. When they found the obelisk bearing the name Osiris, the true god of the underworld, they desecrated it, removing his name and replacing it with Hades. Even the ferryman of the dead, known to my people long before as Kerti, they renamed to Keron. As if that desecration was not enough, they built over this place, using it as the foundation for their own underworld, so that ours was forgotten. Hmm, <laughs> my only solace is that the Greeks then suffered the same fate when the Romans rose to power, renaming Hades to Pluto. And the cycle began anew. It is inscribed with a script I do not recognize, but it is ancient, almost as if it is older than the plaque bearing Osiris's name. But if that is so, it would imply the gods of Egypt are mere imitations too, copied and corrupted from an ancient people who prospered even before us. And that my people did to them what the Greeks and Romans did to us. But this I cannot accept. I sense a deception. Perhaps it is the work of Set, the usurper, seeking to undermine Osiris once more. You will never know. This work of sacrilege must be destroyed, thrown into the black abyss below in Osiris' name. You are too late. It is done. You would plunge into the depths of the Duat with no way back up. Madness. If it will help you to see reason, then ask. Oh yeah. I am from Rakotis, which you may know as Alexandria, the name of the city the Greeks built over it. I was a fisherman like my father before me. Since the Romans had taken over from the Greeks, I took the opportunity to learn Latin and eventually traveled to Rome. When the fires broke out last year, I tried to help. I gathered terrified locals into my boat and led many of them to safety farther along the Tiber. On my seventh trip, a passenger demanded I wait for his brother. But we were full to almost sinking and smoke was all around us. I told him his brother would have to save himself and he tried to bribe me by placing a coin into my hand. When I refused, he drew a dagger and thrust it between my ribs. I awoke on the banks of the river to a stranger wearing a ram headdress. He said his name was Kirti, and at the time I simply thought him odd. It did not dawn on me until much later that he was the Kirti, the ram-headed ferryman described in the Book of the Dead. I think if someone is to break the golden rule, it will not be me. For I try to live as I always have by the command of the goddess Ma'at. Do to the doer to make him do. As for the punishment that will come from it, I finally understand why it has long been said among my people that gold is the skin of the gods. I do not know what could possibly lie beneath the underworld. Perhaps it is infinite darkness. Perhaps it is the lair of Amit, the devourer of souls. All I know is, it would be unwise to venture down there. Is everyone so contrary where you are from? Do not even consider it. Ich gehe jetzt. Good. Be gone from this place. Wait. You are planning to go down there. I see it in your eyes. 
you would plunge into the depths of the Duat with no way back up. Madness. Hmm, we shall see. Bye. Eine sumerische Tafel. Okay, ich, ich habe jetzt irgendwie gedacht, das wäre irgendwas anderes. Ähm, ich habe jetzt irgendwie getippt, entweder, dass es äh, auf äh, die Atlantiden hinausläuft oder dass die Tafel beschriftet ist mit, äh, mit Zeichen aus unserer Zeit, weil ne, wir ja aus dieser Zeit, aus der Gegenwart kommen. Und es deshalb unverständlich wäre für eine Römerin. Wow. Warum ist hier... Moment, also... Nee, das ist richtig, was ich gemacht habe. Oder? Also der Kamerashake ist schon ein bisschen krass. When I told you that you would not find a way back up, that was not a prediction. That was a promise. You will die here. I disagree. I warned you against coming down here, against perpetuating this sacrilege, but you persisted. You have undermined and dishonored the true god of the underworld. How did you think this would end, if not with bloodshed? Wenn wir jetzt die Soldatenklasse genommen hätten, hätten wir wirklich so eine Indiana Jones Szene, wo er mit einem Bogen kommt und wir mit einer Pistole. Very well, I will listen. But if I sense deception, or if you further insult my gods, I will carry out my threat. So tell me. Ja, ich habe schon verstanden, was die Kugel meint. After you salvaged this instrument of blasphemy. Why? To what end? But why? What business could you have with Osiris? Blasphemous fool! You have sealed your own fate. Ha, good. I welcome it. You see, the philosopher told me that each time it breaks, Osiris bellows with rage, and his voice shakes the very foundations of the earth. I can only hope one more tremor will lay waste to this fragile place once and for all, and you along with it. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one.
Sorry, aber das war... Das hast du dir selber eingehandelt. Okay, wir sind anscheinend nicht weit entfernt. Aber da muss man ja ihn auch perfekt überzeugen, damit man da nichts triggert. Also ein perfekter Run stelle ich mir gerade nicht so einfach vor. Dieser Filter stört aber gerade richtig stark. Wo kam ich jetzt her? Hier wollte ich nicht sein. Komme ich hier wieder raus? Hier. Also ich finde es manchmal sehr schwer zu erkennen, welche Türen sich öffnen sollen und welche nicht. Von hier kam ich... Hä? Leute! Das hier wirkt vertraut. Wo ist unser Philosophenfreund? Ich sollte später mit ihm reden. Es gibt kein Später, es gibt nur Vorher. Salve, friend. Well, oh, 
Jo. So. You, Tantalus, cannot catch the drops of water. Greetings and salutations. Die Ladezeiten sind zum Teil echt ein bisschen abrupt. Okay, er will nicht. Okay, er nimmt seinen neuesten Namen. Warte, ich muss wahrscheinlich nicht durchprobieren, sondern... Das muss doch irgendwo ein Hinweis sein, oder? Welche davon gemeint ist. Okay, das ist jetzt ägyptisch. Okay, what? Excuse me? As you have already gathered, I've been known by many names. Nergal to the Sumerians, Osiris to the Egyptians, Hades to the Greeks, and Pluto to the Romans. But the one constant through it all has been my title, God of the Underworld. And I've been watching you with curiosity, mortal, ever since your arrival. You are unlike the others, aren't you? And what is more, You carry a weapon that was never intended for mortals to wield, and you do it so... brazenly. But there will be time for your reckoning later. First, as a reward for undoing the desecration of my obelisk, I will allow you to satisfy your curiosity. Ask what you will. Ich frage mich gerade, wie er reagiert, wenn man den Bogen nie geholt hat. My story is many thousands of years long. You will need to be more specific. What do you wish to know? It is a matter of perspective. God is a label I was given by you mortals, not one I gave myself. Your ancestors revered me because to them, my knowledge and technology made me incomprehensibly powerful, just as you might seem so to an insect. But despite all that, There are rules even I must obey. My kin and I all adopted this form long ago, so that we might better understand and communicate with your kind. In time, we grew fond of the sensory delights it affords. Desire, joy, ecstasy, even rage and sorrow 
while an acquired taste can be addictive. No. Long ago I swore to Persephone that I would remain in this form for as long as we remained among your kind. I must honor that. This is my beloved. Like me, she has been known by many names. Eresh Kigel to the Sumerians, Isis to the Egyptians, Persephone to the Greeks, and Proserpina to the Romans. Or perhaps you might know her as the goddess of springtime, the cycle of life and renewal. Your gaze lingers too long. That is my servant. You would have met by the river, though she wears many faces and goes by many names. Kumu Tabal to the Sumerians, Kurti to the Egyptians, Charon to the Greeks, and Charon to the Romans. Her role is to ferry souls between the mortal world and this one, and to make their transition as seamless as possible. For that, she earned herself the infamous, if erroneous, moniker, the Ferryman. You will talk more later. For now, ask your questions. As you wish. It has come to be known simply as the Underworld, and it exists because of a wager I made long ago. Okay, what? Jetzt wird's wild. That is a long story. One that began over 3,000 years ago and continues to this day. You see, long ago my kin and I set out from our home on Elysium to search for other forms of life among the stars. We discovered your planet and witnessed your kind evolving from primates into something lawless and barbaric. You all but destroyed yourselves. Your two short lives being extinguished by violence and ignorance and disease. Yet Proserpina saw raw potential in you, and persuaded the rest of us it would be squandered without our intervention and stewardship. So we revealed ourselves to your people in a place called Sumer. We offered guidance in agriculture, tool craft and law, and you called us gods. For a time you flourished. But soon you were too many for us to oversee. And as you spread from that cradle of civilization, we saw something disturbing. We had sown the seeds of dependency and confusion. And soon you returned to your old ways of violence and ignorance, this time in our name. My kin had seen enough and gave up on your kind, condemning you as barbaric and chaotic, scarcely more than animals. We began preparations to return to Elysium, our home world, a utopia unspoilt by conflict and unimaginable in its beauty. But my Proserpina could not bear to abandon your kind without guidance, and knowing it would force the rest of us to leave her behind, she made an extraordinary sacrifice. She gave up her immortality to descend permanently to the ranks of humankind. And so she began her inescapable trajectory toward death. Horrified, I acted swiftly. I placed her in suspended animation in a deep frozen sleep to prevent age and sickness from claiming her. And then I pleaded with Proserpina's father, who the Romans called Jupiter, to bring her with us to Elysium. It was and is my hope that once there, we might one day learn to undo what she has done. But he refused. I did everything I could to persuade him, but he would not relent. He would rigidly uphold his final pronouncement. Humans were unworthy of ascension to Elysium, and no exceptions would be made. But seeing that I was aggrieved, he proposed a wager, the terms of which were as follows. If even one human city could prove itself capable of living without sin for a single year, then Proserpina and all of humanity would be permitted to join us in Elysium. My part would be to remain behind, the last of my kind, to watch over you, without interfering, and to sit in silent judgment. And so my reward has been to languish here, enduring a 3,000-year winter 
waiting for the day your kind proves itself worthy of her faith in you, so that I might take her with me to Elysium and unthaw my goddess of springtime. And here I am, after all this time, still waiting. Okay. There were also gods who, like me, have been known by many names, but perhaps you knew them by their Roman names. Our leader, Jupiter, as well as Neptune, Saturn, Juno, Minerva, Mars, Venus, Apollo, Diana, Vulcan, Vesta, Ceres, and of course, my beloved Persephone. As the first wave of your kind arrived from Sumer, I had them build a city in their own fashion, so that they might be comfortable and recreate their lives here. I had them build the entrance as a vertical shaft leading to baths, to cleanse them of the sins of their former lives, and to prevent escape. I watched wave after wave of Sumerians arrive, and as their civilization declined over the centuries, they were replaced by Egyptians. Of course, believing themselves to be the superior civilization, the Egyptians promptly built over what had been built before, and made all the same mistakes. After another thousand years, the Greeks began to arrive, and then the Romans, and they all did the same thing. They built upon the underworlds of their predecessors, renamed their gods, and ensured their foundations were forgotten. To ensure the wage was fair, it was important that my subjects were chosen at random. To this end, I had my servant distribute a thousand tokens fashioned from silver, a rare element at the time, across all of Sumer. Whoever died while in possession of one of them would be located by my servant and ferried to this place, with no memory of how they arrived. As the tokens were discovered, they were traded, smelted, and fashioned into trinkets, and eventually coins, spreading to Egypt like seeds on the wind. Later, when they spread to Greece, they would come to be known as Charon's Obol, or as coins for the ferryman. Some placed coins in the mouths of their dead, hoping they would awaken here, though they had no way of knowing which coins were fashioned from the original tokens. In fact, almost all of the tokens are accounted for, only two remain. And so after this wave destroys itself, as it is destined to do, your kind will have squandered the last of its potential to ascend beyond this rock, and Persephone is along with it. It is a regrettable story. One of the first men who came to this place was a king of Sumer, and a troublemaker. To be rid of him, I returned him to his people, on the condition that my servant erased his memories of this place. But the erasure did not take completely, and he told stories of this place as if describing memories of a dream. His tales were committed to writing, which came to be known as the Epic of Gilgamesh, and his words were twisted and distorted over generations. Later, the Egyptians would adapt Sumer's stories of the underworld, making them wildly intricate and labyrinthine. Their Book of the Dead and Book of Gates bore less and less resemblance to this place in their priests' pursuit of profit. Then, when the Greeks began to arrive, they proved far more cunning, and in a series of incidents that will not be repeated, five of them escaped. A warrior named Heracles, two kings named Sisyphus and Theseus, a poet named Orpheus, and a Trojan named Aeneas. They each told embellished tales of this place, how to get here, and how to escape. And so from Sumer to Egypt, Greece to Rome, your kind has always told each other stories about this place, though each story contained only a seed of truth. Also er ist, er ist nicht nur Hades, er ist alle Götter der Unterwelt, die die Menschen je verehrt haben, sozusagen. Of course. That is merely the name your people have given to it, but yes, it is my doing. That is a story dating back to the very first wave. After the Sumerians finished building their city, 
a self-declared ruler through a banquet to celebrate. Now this man was unmarried, and many women were vying to become his wife, a prestigious position of power and influence in a new world. Of all the women, two were particularly ambitious. Both were beautiful, and both arrived at the banquet wearing eye-catching dresses and painted faces, their hair woven in elaborate fashion. The first woman, recognizing that she would require an advantage to win the ruler's affection, draped herself in jewelry, ornate necklaces, bracelets and rings fashioned from gold. Seeing this ostentatious display, the second woman grew envious, for she had no such jewelry at her disposal. She prayed aloud to any gods that would listen to cover her in gold, and when her prayer went unanswered, she took matters into her own hands. While the others indulged at the banquet, the second woman summoned the first for a discussion in a quiet place. She checked that nobody was watching and pushed her rival from the top of the ziggurat where she broke her neck on the rocks below. But I was watching, and I decided to answer her prayer. I took the golden bow left behind by Diana, and I shot that woman in the heart covering her from head to toe in a layer of molten gold. And I left her to stand there, that she might serve as a grim reminder of what befalls those who sin in my domain. But that was not enough, for the entire city was tainted by her sin, and the wager could no longer be won. So I had no choice but to wipe the slate clean. I gilded them all to make way for a new way began the wager again. And to this day, each of them, and all who came after, line the halls of this city, inanimate but conscious, suspended in time with only their sight and hearing preserved, so they may bear witness to and lament the folly of your kind for eternity, the silent golden sentinels. I give your kind a second chance of life, as well as ample warning about my law. And when you disobey, and you always disobey, you force my hand, bringing terrible suffering upon yourselves. And so you ask if I am the one destroying your lives. And I say, no, you destroy yourselves. I am merely the means by which you do it. When my kin departed, they left behind many relics which I inherited. A consolation prize of sorts. The golden bow originally belonged to one of my kin, who the Romans called Diana. As my collection of golden statues grew, I chose the most ferocious among them and equipped them each with a duplicate of her bow and tasked them with hunting down the forsaken at my behest. They became known simply as Furies. I've always considered that the cornerstone of morality is the ability to determine right from wrong on one's own. No attempt to lay out rules like your Code of Hammurabi or your Twelve Tables of the Roman Republic can ever cover all possible scenarios. This should come as no surprise to you, since the core principle has been expressed in many forms by many of your civilizations. The Egyptians made a rudimentary attempt with do to the doer to make him do. The Greeks refined it with avoid doing what you would blame others for doing. The Roman Stoics added, treat your inferior as you would wish your superior to treat you. Even the so-called cultists hiding among you often say, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. It is the simplest of concepts, and each one of you is born with the faculties required to apply it to any situation. Yet none of the peoples who expressed this rule were able to uphold it. Curious, is it not? Enough. You clearly know nothing. I am able to commune with all of the statues in the city. Their ears are my ears, and their eyes are my eyes. If she was still conscious, I suppose she could, but she's not. Why do you ask?
then what an odd question. Oh, jetzt wird's lustig. Do you plan to speak in sweeping generalizations, or are you going to give me an example? The merchant. How is that inconsistent with the rule I've outlined? I disagree. Having watched this merchant, that is precisely what he would expect from others, and he would be quite capable of paying the price anyway. Applying this rule always requires speculation to some degree. It requires us to ask what another person would want if they found themselves in another situation. Not if we're wise enough to know the mind of man. Hmm. Supposing you are right, then my law has been broken, and I should turn you all to gold immediately. Is that what you want? Then your desire to be right outweighs your desire to survive. You will make a fine statue. <laughs> Do you really think you can wound me, a god, with that primitive weapon? How dare you threaten her? This ends now. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. So, wo ist ihr Gemach? Wir müssen jetzt einfach ausnutzen, dass wir die Zeit manipulieren können. Okay, warte, das bringt nichts. Aber ich meine, irgendwie muss man ihn ja wahrscheinlich überzeugen können. Ich hätte auch einfach ein anderes Szenario auswählen können, aber... Dann machen wir wohl die Runde, wo wir ihn in seinen Kopf bringen müssen, wie was es in der Mod war. nichts, was er hat. You, Tantalus, cannot catch the drops of water. Ich glaube, ich gehe gerade den langen Weg, ne? Ich will gerne wissen, was er zu den anderen Szenarien noch zu sagen hat. Vielleicht muss ich hier den Philosophen um Hilfe bitten, what? I have to hide. 
What? What? Warte, er muss abgefangen werden. Das hätte ich vielleicht doch machen sollen. Stop. Thank you. Join me by the f welcome. Uh, I was indeed. Oh, that. I assume you're asking me this as some kind of amusing hypothetical. Extraordinary. Then let me see if I can help you. I suppose first I'd want to gather information. I'd want to know about his reasons for imposing the golden rule and what he considers a sin. If I could expose some internal inconsistency in his reasoning, some degree of hypocrisy, I might be able to compel him to change his position. But as a philosopher, the saddest truth I ever learned is that all but the most enlightened opponents are more easily swayed by appeals to emotion than by reason. So the easiest path would be to find his emotional susceptibility and exploit it. If he was vain, I might try to flatter him. If he was merciful, I would try to evoke pity. As a last resort, I might figure out what he fears losing above all else, and, if I could, threaten to take it away. Though, of course, that could easily go awry. Now, go quickly while my words are still fresh in your memory. Yeah, okay. Das ist jetzt noch nicht so der Game Changer. Hallo, lass mich durch. Lass mich Arzt. I'm so Warte, ich help. Your life's in danger. Are you really? I see. I am out. Wherever you are, Sentilla, my love. I'm sorry. Opius, no! I. I'll have to let everyone know what happened, and I'd best. Pre so, das ist jetzt aber gerade nicht so. Okay, der Obelisk ist tatsächlich sogar noch... Äh, der war noch so, wie er sein soll. So.
And here you are. Allow me to... But the one... And I have the dead fur. That is... Do you plan to speak? Ah, the tavern keeper, yes. How is that inconsistent with the rule? I disagree. Having watched that tavern keeper, that is precisely what she would expect from others. She would view it as a game, one she intends to win. Now tell me, what other sins do you believe I have overlooked? You speak of the moneylender. How is that inconsistent with the rule? And he would never have signed a contract pledging his labor for 30 years. All he did was enforce the terms of a contract signed voluntarily by others. Ignoring your irritating sense of moral superiority, this is interesting. I'm curious, how do people escape poverty where you're from? I see. And how long might it take such a person to repay their debt? I fail to see how your system of loans is significantly different to a debt bond that oh, jetzt, signed jetzt, over jetzt his labor for 30 years. Now tell me, what other sins do you believe I have overlooked? The midwife and the palace, yes. How is that inconsistent with the rule? The rule is do unto others, meaning other people. Those statues are something else now. Bloodless shadows, mere shapes of their former selves. They are forsaken. What happens to them is no concern of mine. Applying this rule always requires us to interpret the meaning of the words. The literal interpretation helps to minimize the ambiguities of your primitive language. Hmm. Supposing you are right, then my law has been broken, and I should turn you all to gold immediately. Is that what you want? Hmm. Now tell me, what other sins do you believe I have overlooked? Abduction. You mean the magistrate imprisoning his daughter in the cistern, I take it. He did so because she sought to escape. A sin I take particularly seriously. Better that he stops her from escaping, albeit brutishly, than I have to wipe out this entire city to punish her. Wouldn't you agree? Muss man den Gott töten? So war es. Also, es war eine Möglichkeit, wie man es im Original machen konnte, aber im Original war es auch so, dass dass die Regel gebrochen wurde, ohne dass es der Gott wusste. Die goldene Regel ist im Prinzip jetzt eigentlich die Version, du kannst alles tun, was womit du fein bist, dass es andere mit dir machen. Hm. Supposing you're... Hm. Now to... Do you honestly think you could do better? I should strike you down for that. Huh. Now, did you have any other questions before your reckoning? Very well. Good. Then now it is time for your reckoning. Only, it seems, something is wrong. It has long been within my power to see into the hearts of mortals and weigh their deeds in life. But when I peer into you, I see only a blank slate, as if you did not exist until you appeared in this city. How is this possible? Charon, where did you find this one? I do not remember ferrying you. How did you come here? You would have us believe that my servant merely forgot bringing you here. If that is true, then I sense the intervention of someone powerful. How did you come to be in this time, mortal? Who brought you here? He cannot know. I do not know. My kin departed long ago. 
and Proserpina slumbered for 3,000 years. Tread lightly, mortal. Enough of this. It seems I will need to put your reckoning on hold for now. But answer this. Why have you come here? What is it you seek? <laughs> your hubris is amusing, so I will allow you to make your case. But I warn you, if you anger me or waste my time with lies or wrong-headed arguments, you face death here. So, tell me, why should I put an end to the so-called Golden Rule? How so? And be specific. You have made a grave allegation, and I expect you to back it up. Pass mit dem Hammer auf mit mit deiner Tastatur, ja. He is a volatile and confused fellow, that one. I admit, I have grown disturbed watching him. True. I have witnessed him doing that. His cruelty does seem to grow greater by the day. Hmm. If you are right, my involvement has corrupted the very thing I sought to observe impartially. But if I were to accept that, are you telling me these humans could coexist peacefully, without theft or violence, without my law? How so? And how is that working for you? So you say, and yet your world is still imperfect. Uh, beides. You have spoken eloquently, and yet, if what you say is true, it follows that my wager was fatally flawed from the beginning. But that would mean Jupiter, Preservator's father, who knew more about you than anyone, proposed a wager I could never win. Why would he do that? Perhaps. But if that was so, surely I would have sensed his deception. How could I have been so blind for so long? Ugh. Your words sting me, mortal. But perhaps it is what I deserve. As difficult as this is to admit, I have suspected as much for a long time now. And I cannot deny it any longer. I've been so fixated on taking my beloved to Elysium but every time one of you sinned, it wore away my hope of being with her again. In time, I began to despise your kind for making her believe that you could ever be better than you are. But my rage was not born of malice. Quite the opposite. Everything I have done, I did because I loved her. Who knew this empathy of yours, which you celebrate so much, could have such a dark underside? This has gone on too long. It is time for me to let go of this form, of her, of all of you. But know this, if I abandon the way Jernli for Elysium, neither she nor your kind may ever ascend. Because doing so would violate the rules of my sacred agreement with Jupiter, and you would receive a hostile reception. The best I can do is return you to the land of the living. I will have Charon make arrangements to ferry the others. But as for you, be aware you will be separated from the rest. Once this exodus begins, the events that brought you to this moment will never have taken place, and you will have created a paradox. What will become of you is difficult to predict. But that is the risk you have taken by interfering in the natural flow of time. Now, are you ready? Ich weiß zwar nicht, was wir mit der Krone von Prosapina hätten machen können, aber okay. Farewell, mortal.
Oh. Uh, hi there. Gave me a bit of a fright. Thought I was in here alone. I'm Al. Well, here I am. I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. Know who you are? I barely remember how I got here myself. Oh, did that lady in the forest send you in here after me? I guess I lost track of time, learning about the history of this place, and it is extraordinary. I'm fairly certain you and I are the first people to set foot in this city for about 2,000 years. Fortunately for us, the last person in here was a Roman man named Galerius, who inscribed an account into a tablet. Apparently there was a community of 20-something people trapped in here, and living in fear of a curse they called the Golden Rule. They believed that if even one person sinned, an unknown god would cast them all into gold, like the thousand people who'd lived here before them. Then, one day, just as Galerius had finished praying for a good harvest at the Shrine of Proserpina, an oracle appeared and went around solving the ills of the city, like foiling an assassination attempt, and so on. Then, the oracle walked up to the temple of the mysterious god, this one right here, and demanded an audience, and the doors just opened up to her. Nobody knows what went on in there, but Galerius wrote the oracle must have been more persuasive than Odysseus, because the next thing he knew, the ground shook, and the voice of that god rang out over the city. The many have suffered long enough. Unfortunately, Galerius' account just sort of stops after that, leaving a lot of questions unanswered. What became of him, and the other people who lived here? What happened to all the golden statues? And did this mysterious oracle single-handedly undo the curse that had terrorized people for hundreds of years? Uh, what? Oh, I see. For a moment there, I thought you were serious. Anyway, I think I found a way out through the aqueduct that brought water into the city. Follow me. Okay, ich weiß nicht, ob, ob ich jetzt das perfekte Ende bekommen habe. Ich bezweifle es ehrlich gesagt. Ich meine, im Original gab es ja dadurch wirklich praktisch so ein, ein goldenes Ende. I'm gonna pause here for a moment and make sure nobody else is ever lured into this temple. You go on ahead. I'll be there soon. You're back! But... You're alone. Does that mean you didn't find Al? Oh, what a relief. Thank you so much. I was beginning to think you'd both become trapped in there. Why don't you tell me what you discovered? While we wait. Ah, I see. I thought you might. Well, now you know. Okay, Zeitschleife. Aber Doppelzeitschleife in dem Sinne. You can just call me Charon, if you like. I am sorry I was not completely honest with you when we first met. I do not enjoy deceiving people. Believe me, I do not. But I have learned, from 5,000 years of experience, that most people find comfort in familiarity, in gradual change, and coming to see the truth in their own time. That you died. Of course. You were dead when I brought you here. My role, as the servant of the god of the underworld, has always been to assist the chosen to cross the threshold from the land of the living to the land of the dead. Hmm. Usually, when people do not remember how they died, it is because they suffered a terrible trauma. Most souls would rather not remember. Ask yourself honestly, do you really want to know? As you wish. You were murdered. You were exploring an old tomb when you discovered a cache of forgotten relics, including two silver coins of ancient origin. 
Unfortunately, as you emerged into daylight, you were set upon by two thieves. A nearby hiker saw the scuffle break out, and leapt to your aid, trying to help you recover your bounty. You both fought bravely, but your assailants were armed, and you were not. There was nothing you or your ally could have done. He died instantly at the scene, and you followed a few hours later. That man's name was Al Worth. You were each in possession of a sacred coin, called Charon's Opal by some. And so it was my duty to bring you here. Okay, aber das waren die letzten. Was passiert da mit dir? It means I am now bereft of purpose. There is nobody else to ferry here. Nobody to keep you company. After 5000 years, the underworld has finally run its course. I see no point in keeping you here. But I have to ask one thing that you keep this to yourself. Look! Here comes Al now! Al! It's so good to see you! You were gone so long I thought I'd never see you again! Kinda lost track of time in there. You wouldn't believe what we found. The ruins of a long-forgotten city. And there was a tablet describing an oracle who confronted a god and undid an ancient curse. Sounds like quite a story. And I look forward to hearing all about it. But... You two look exhausted. Why don't you hop in my boat and rest while I ferry you back to civilization? Sounds good to me. And you? Are you ready to go home? Ja. Es ist halb vier. Hey, you made it. It's great to see you again. I read your book, and what the critics said about it. I guess they weren't ready for your theories about the underworld. Anyway, after everything you've been through, I thought you might appreciate some good news. So after we got back to the real world, I started doing some research into the people mentioned in Galerius's tablet, and I found something strange. I'm sorry I've been so cryptic. I've been dying to tell you, I just really wanted you to see this for yourself. Why don't you head on down there? I'll catch up with you at the other end. So, weil ich habe aber vorhin ja nicht mehr äh, die Sachen erledigt, deswegen You're finally here. Remember me? It's a crazy story. After you disappeared, Karen appeared and told us she was returning us to the world. Even gave us some coins to help us start our lives over. Only for some reason, she returned us to your world instead of ours. Anyway, I know we only ever had that one conversation, and I wasn't even sure if you'd remember me, but I wanted to say thanks for freeing us from the underworld and giving us a second chance at life. Okay, das ergibt, das ist natürlich, äh, ich hatte so eine Vermutung, dass es doch das sein würde. Also, dass er sie nicht in ihre Zeit zurückbringt, sondern in unsere. Das entspricht natürlich schon ein bisschen mehr dem aus dem Original. I know. I can't believe my luck either. But we're engaged and living together. We're planning to get married next spring. If you're going to be around, we'd love to see you there. Oh, I used Karen's gift to buy a farm in Umbria. Got a villa on it too, with enough room for Dooley, of course. It's hard work. But I sleep soundly every night. I'm finally my own man, and I... I wouldn't change it for the world. Of course, there's a whole museum full of people waiting for a chance to thank you. So you better keep moving. We'll speak again soon, my friend. Oh, hello. You're here. It's lovely to finally meet you. Galerius told me all about you. So, you're the hero who somehow vanquished the last of the Roman gods. As I'm a priestess, you realize you've put me out of work. 
I'm just teasing. Actually, and it still feels a little sacrilegious to say this, I'm finding life after religion quite enjoyable. Oh, it's sweet of you to ask. She recovered nicely. In fact, she's here somewhere, if you'd like to ask her yourself. See you at the wedding, I hope. Hello. Hello. I'm Dooley. Galerius said you're very nice and a big helper. Thank you for getting us out of the bad place. I didn't like it. Treasure? Oh, I forgot about that. I like my box now. Galerius got me a box that tells stories. It's my favourite thing. Bye-bye. You are here. It's nice to finally meet you. Lucy is fine. I'm making an effort to blend in, as you can see. We are all trying to keep a low profile. If the world knew we died 2,000 years ago and were suddenly brought back to life 12 months ago, they'd never leave us alone. Speaking of True. which... I wanted to say thank you in person. I'd say the gods smile on you, but I hear you drove the last of them off. So... Oh. Ah, she didn't make okay, it. Okay, not... She died from poison while you were in the great temple. Weil wir das it nicht was gemacht very haben. sad. She was a good woman and a friend. It wasn't your fault. Decius is to blame. He's here somewhere too. Not that anyone would talk to him. I'm not even sure how he got invited. You too. Don't be a stranger. Hey. Hi there. I'm Horatius. I understand we have you to thank for giving us a second chance at life. And reuniting Santilla with us as well. So, thank you. He's not my... Oh, I see what you did there. Good one. He had more trouble adapting than most. He got himself disqualified from the UFC. So he started some kind of underground blood sport tournament. Like we had in Rome. Suppose it appealed to people's baser instincts. And they say he made some good coin, killing a bunch of men like that. But his luck finally ran out. And his life along with it. You know what they say. Live by the sword, die by the sword. Hmm, perhaps. See you at drinks later, I hope. So, where's noch here? Some soiree, innit? Ah, that's clear. What is up? It is an honor to finally meet you, Oracle. Ja, wir haben uns schon mal getroffen. You es lief nicht so gut. Oh, of course. You are an Oracle. You know many things. I too would like to offer my thanks for releasing us from that place and for your role in bringing us here. This world is truly wondrous. Thank you, Oracle. Hello there. Okay, that's what she just initiated. Oh, I go by Gabriella now. I didn't want to be reminded of that monster every time I heard my own name. After you drove Pluto off, Proserpina came and released me. And that monster got what was coming to him. Mm hmm Thanks. You too. It's so nice to finally meet you. I've heard so much about you. I wanted to thank you personally for getting us out of there. Ein Schnell wird's eh wieder her, da kannst du auch gleich wach bleiben. Ja, das wahrscheinlich war. You too. 
If you're ever in the Netherlands, I'd be happy to show you around. It's the least I could do. There you are. I hope you enjoyed that. Now, there's one more person I wanted to introduce you to. I think you know her. <laughs> Sorry if I frightened you. Just a little joke I've been saving for a long, long time. Allow me to introduce myself properly. I am Proserpina, former goddess of the cycle of life and renewal. And now, a regular mortal. I wanted to meet you in person. And thank you for freeing all these people, and me. I hate to think what would have happened to us without your intervention. Indeed. Suffice it to say that while Pluto was controlling the eyes and ears of each golden statue, I was able to control their tongues and whisper to you when he was distracted. I am sorry my messages were so cryptic. There were only ever brief windows in which I could speak to you without being detected. I did. I may have given up my immortality, but I still retain my gifts as the goddess of the cycle of life and renewal. After witnessing Pluto punish countless poor souls over thousands of years, I knew this generation, the final wave, would not survive. So I tried to give them a way to buy more time. A second chance. Rather as many second chances as they needed to avoid his wrath. So I whispered to Sentius in secret telling him the prayer required to create a portal in my shrine. I knew the danger of humans being corrupted by godly power, and so I put a safeguard in place. I required the creator of the portal to sacrifice their own life, so that it could only be used selflessly to help others. What I did not anticipate is that Sentius would retain his accumulated memories from each previous day, and as a veteran soldier he had long since shed his fear of death. He quickly discovered that he could, in effect, prolong his own life indefinitely by exploiting the cycle. Of course, once I had taught him the prayer, I could not unteach him. And there was little I could do but wait for someone like you to come along and see him for what he was. We were all fortunate you came along when you did. I don't know what happened to him. I haven't heard from him, and I rather hope it stays that way. Oh. Oh, she inherited dominion over the underworld. Last time we spoke, she was working on a new world of some kind. She wouldn't say what it was, but I'd be surprised if you don't run into her again. I imagine we all will, one day. Das klingt so halb nach sequel bait. And you, although it feels like I've known you forever. Oh, and one last thing. Do you remember all those golden statues scattered throughout the city? Good. Because they remember you. Well done, my friend. Of all the heroes who ever journeyed to the underworld in return, none came close to achieving what you did. Hercules, Orpheus, Theseus, and Aeneas would be proud. The canon ending. Also, it's gerade das Achievement, was ich kriege. Ende 4 von 4. Gut, eins ist wahrscheinlich, dass wir Sentius töten. Bei den anderen zwei bin ich gerade überfragt. Also ich weiß, dass es original drei oder vier Enden hatte. Anyway. Das war's. Hat nur doppelt so lange gedauert, wie ich äh, eigentlich geplant hatte. Ja. Yeah. Also es, es ist schon... Es ist schon sehr nice. Kann man nicht anders sagen. Also die Mod war schon, war schon super und äh, ja, das ist halt nochmal. Es hat nochmal das Thema einfach nochmal ein bisschen vertieft. Also. Ja, ich finde, so müssen Spiele sein oder sollten Spiele sein. Anyway, jetzt ist aber auch langsam echt durch. Ich glaube auch, also ich bin mir echt unsicher, ob ich den Wort überhaupt hochladen soll. Das guckt sich doch kein Mensch an. Das ist acht Stunden lang. Oder, ja, 7 Minuten 40 minus den Starting Screen. Ja. 
Ich danke fürs dabei sein und wir sehen uns dann beim nächsten Mal wieder. Bis dahin.